had Taco Bell. <laughs> that was even for the show. <laughs> Same. Our previous Taco Bell episode was released March 30th, 2021, Isn't where we ate the Taco Bell quesalupa. It received an average score of 74. It did Whoa, pretty what well. An, what an interesting innovation. Yeah. yeah. They took a quesadilla and a chalupa? No, no. It, well, yeah, sort I just of. Ate half they, of that. they put cheese. They just put cheese inside the chalupa shell. And you're supposed to be able to like pull it apart and you know. I remember oh, that. I remember that. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. 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 Like, it didn't really the, work though. The cheese. Yeah. <laughs> I think I did we pull it apart and we went, nope. I think so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What a mess. But when's the first time we went there? Was it when we went to the place that was supposed to have drinks and they didn't? Yeah, the cantina. Yeah. Oh, God, that was do forever have, ago. Why do, have, do we always end up in that part of town and we don't get the thing? Do you have or a drinks? Yeah. <laughs> it is always that part it's of town. That, yeah. The drag is a hellhole. Yeah, it's fucking <laughs> shit. I think that's the only yeah. explanation. Wow. Um, Nick couldn't believe you said that. I, I don't know if this is in the facts, uh-huh. but I have it on good authority that that Taco Bell cantina is not just closed, uh-huh. but it has been leveled to the ground. Oh, they like demolished it. To build a new one? <laughs> a better one. I think they did it to build parking for the Taco Bell cantina. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> Desperately needed. Oh, fuck. Um, it's funny. I thought of you guys. I could fire right into the second fact here, uh-huh. and I will. In a second. Yeah. Okay. But I thought of you guys. It made me laugh. And it went, oh, they'll get a kick out of this. Guess where I went on Memorial Day? Where'd you go? Chili's. Did you really? By choice. Wow. It was, where do you want to go for lunch? And Lindsay said, Chili's. And wow. I went, what an idea. And then we got the Southwest egg rolls. Oh. And they were just wet. Yeah. Oh, so sliding yeah. down Here my throat. And, is, went, my and I went, this is some wet ass food. Are you it's an just, adult mm, baby? Mm, mm, Fucking. For the troops. Choke yep. this down. That's Never what it forget. was. God it damn. Was, it was good. The Doritos Locos Taco, which was dreamed up in 2012 during Taco Bell's 50th anniversary, went through 30 pitches and 40 rounds of testing before being released. After the two years of total time it took to create, tasters marveled that they finally made something that tastes like Taco Bell at Taco Bell. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> what did they think they did? Do you think somebody puts that on their resume as like, oh, uh, one of my biggest achievements, the two-year uh, project <laughs> cycle on the Doritos the Loco Taco? project cycle. <laughs> the amount of Slack conversations that went through it and meetings. That's on- what it had to be. It had to be oh, Slack yeah. conversations, meetings, bureaucracy, yeah. red tape. And then, they, and then they didn't even keep Cool Ranch. No. It, yeah. Like, why? Arguably the, the better yeah. one. And it's, I don't know, when when people talk about, like, I, I've been working overtime to provide for my family, it's like, you should take time for your family because uh, you when you really look back at what the work that you've done, you're no better or worse than the people who have created the Doritos Locos Taco. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing lasts forever. Nothing's Doritos forever, Loco dude. Taco. Yep. Except um, nacho cheese. Right. That has so far lasted forever. So far. Of the flavors, mm-hmm. the one that they offer. They will keep doing it. I just, I'm not happy about it. Mm-hmm. It's, I don't even get it usually. Yep. Next. The Taco Bell dog's mom, this is a dog, I the, assume. I assume the, the chihuahua? The, the Taco Bell dog. No, no, no. But the Taco Bell dog's mom, as in its dog mom or the mom that owned the dog? No, no, the dog mom. Like okay. the mom that, the that is the dog. Yeah, dog the physical mom. dog mom. <laughs> because there's probably yes. a human yeah, mom yeah, in yeah, there yeah. somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. just making sure. The Taco Bell dog's dog mom yes. was mm-hmm. in Legally Blonde 2 and Geico commercials, which makes us think that Geico's mom eat the quesalupa <laughs> on TV or die. <laughs> The what? gecko's mom from oh, Geico sorry, sorry. should eat the quesalupa on okay. TV or die. What's the problem? If we're doing crossovers, if the Taco Bell dog's mom go on Geico, then go Geico on. gecko mom go on Taco Bell, eat quesalupa. <laughs> or, die. The, gecko's or die. Or die. The gecko's mom eat the quesalupa on TV. Yeah. Or die. <laughs> What's the problem? Little known fact, that's what funnier die was known as yeah. before, before they were shocked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, damn or die. God damn you, son of a bitch. What? I think Gecko, no, just... Gecko Mommy, Quesalupa on TV. I, I started reading the next oh, one. Oh, no, what's the problem? Okay, then okay. let's get into it. Wow. I hope someone's about to get upset. Here we go talking about it. Uh-oh. And what can only be described as an Arby situation. Oh, no. A manager of a Dallas Taco Bell attacked two customers <laughs> by soaking them with scalding hot water. The customers complained about an incomplete order, which led to the manager attempting to melt their dicks off like they were in an Arby's bathroom. Oh, no. 
We gotta stop. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Damn, dude. Why do they keep bringing it up? <laughs> they gotta stop <laughs> melting each other. Quit did he, it. Did he, did he yell that? Or yeah. did he just imply? Was he yelling, I'm gonna melt your dick. I'm gonna melt your dick like they did in Arby's. Or we stand, don't know. Stand yeah. back from the counter so I have a good <laughs> shot. I tried to find recordings and I couldn't do it. Damn. You're crazy, man. Also just scrubbing them off the internet. <laughs> Also, I, I I don't know. I have it right in front of me, uh-huh. but I I did I did see it as soon as it, oh I popped up on the news and I went oh no and sent it to you guys. RB sued after manager found dead in yeah, freezer. Yep, yep, yeah. yep. And oh, it's out, yep. dude. It's word the pe- is the out. People know. It is developing yep. the story. Yep. Apparently, it was a known issue with that freezer. Holy <gasps> shit! No way. And the manager was visiting from another store. No! Temporarily. Holy fuck. And they didn't tell her. Dude. Oh, no. That's crazy. Wow. It's utterly tragic. That's wow. fucking insane. That's fucking crazy. Dude, Arby's nuts, bro. Can't trust him. If only they had that Taco Bell manager. <laughs> Arby's Spray some hot is, water. Yeah, dude, Arby's is dangerous. Arby's I does all saying. kind of temperatures. That's very hot, very cold, Jesus not much in between. Christ. Not much in between and always with negative effects. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, he's telling the weather. Oh, okay. It's cool. 89 degrees. Oh, good. It's actually really nice right now. Yeah. All right. On May fact. 16th of this year. What was that? Last fact? And Guys, please. On stop May stepping 16th, on each other. One. This year, Taco Ball announced... <laughs> They are attempting to cancel the Taco Tuesday trademark owned by the Wyoming-based Taco John's and Gregory's Restaurant and Bar in New Jersey. I don't know where the name ended. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure what the name of the restaurant is. <laughs> restaurant and Bar in New Jersey is all part of the name. <laughs> Quote, nobody should have exclusive rights in a common phrase, the petition said. Quote, can you imagine if we weren't allowed to say, what's up, or brunch chaos? I know that sounds like a joke I wrote, but it's in the real petition. What the fuck? <laughs> Eric, could you write legal briefs? <laughs> can you believe it? I'm a lawyer. <laughs> we can't. They wrote. Can you believe what would happen if we couldn't say what's up? You know what I'm thinking though. Uh huh. This would be me if I went lawyer instead of president. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh I'd be, yeah. I'd be saying like, "Come on, dog. Let's think about this, <laughs> homie. Cut it out." <laughs> Yo, what's up, pimp? Listen. <laughs> Hey, Playboy, not guilty. <laughs> <laughs> these are all good. Use these yeah. in court. And judges will love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you need to. They just, love being called Big Pimp. Yeah, cut cut that part out and play it for your lawyer. I also like anything going to court over trademark yeah. and someone being found guilty. Yeah. <laughs> right. Guilty. Yeah. <laughs> You're guilty of trademark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Taco Bell doesn't. So that Taco Tuesday thing for promotions for a bunch of different stuff, it's like under... This big trademark from yep. those two restaurants. Taco Bell can't do anything with it. And they are, they wrote this petition like it's such a common phrase. You should be able to use it. Like everyone can use it. And then it's How these other it, restaurants though? going, Yeah, this is like a mega corporation going, that was a good idea. Give it to us. <laughs> right. Oh boy. So, you yeah. know what? They have a they have a good argument. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really was like, well, Taco Tuesday is a specific thing for a restaurant, and that's why we started it in 1989. And right. Taco Bell and you is haven't going, started doing it until recently. Yeah, in, in 2023, Taco Bell's like, no, but we want it. So but what if we well, did it? What if we big guys did I'm it? I'm inclined to hear Taco Bell out. Oh, yeah? Uh, I mean, like, Taco Tuesdays and they're mm-hmm. like Taco Bell. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? What about ta- I, but what about Taco what, John's? Yeah, but like Taco John? I like Taco it's John's just, and makes Gregory's. Me sound Taco John? Restaurant yeah. for and some bar. reason it makes me say John weird. Yeah, it makes you weird. Yeah. It may, if, and if that's happening weird, what happens with this trademark? I, I also I mean. like the idea of, of Taco Bell going, we need this. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Beyond, beyond. <laughs> it would be chaos if not. What? What is that going to do for you? <laughs> Kate, could you imagine if you couldn't say brunch? Do you think what is you're talking about is the same as that but do you think they're gonna get this and get more sales because they can say yeah. taco tuesday they, like I don't, you're already want... taco bell yeah why not just go with taco thursday yeah go it's, with taco it's wednesday it's make a, it your own fucking it's like, a slant yeah it'd be, it'd be like taco thursday there yeah. you go so like, have somebody with like a lisp do it yeah what's yeah. the like just do that get, Get, bring the dog back. Yeah, bring, what's bring it? The, bring somebody the dog back. And bring back the, gecko the dog's mom, mom again. Yeah, I really, bring back the dog's mom. Bring back I the really, gecko mom. I really like their argument, the uh-huh. little guy's argument, and I also like 
as sound as that is, Taco Bell's response being, come on. That's Oh, that's all this is. Come on. It's Taco Bell going, what but, if Gecko's but, mom eats the yeah. Kisalupa? <laughs> yeah. Or die. Or die. <laughs> Uh, let's learn about Starbucks since we've never done this, uh, restaurant before restaurant food establishment. I mean, I would say it's a coffee shop. Coffee shop. By the way, the current CEO is a man named Lakshman Narim. Bro, that's Han. the same guy. Yeah. That's hard, that's Howard Schultz, right? Yeah. Right. It's an anagram in, in disguise. <laughs> <It's> an anagram. <laughs> is he interim or current? It says current. Okay, current so, so Howard it says, says current until Howard wants it, to come it, back. It, no, Howard yeah. giving it, well, it following Howard. another failed bid at failed the White House presidential bid. Twenty twelve. He's gonna Connor Roy it one more time. Twenty twelve. People were like, "Are you gonna run?" And he's like, "Oh, I'm not gonna run. I'm not gonna run." And then he finally didn't. Twenty sixteen, he tried and it, it fucked it up. Didn't do it. Twenty twenty, he tried, fucked it up, didn't do it. And it's like, all right, so good luck this time. So real quick, it says here that. Last year, Schultz met olive oil producer Tommaso Asaro, who introduced him to the practice of consuming a tablespoon of olive oil each day. That's not in your, but that that's not that that's that's what stupid like people Fucking who fancy themselves them as, as thought leaders do. Yes. Who are just like one, like my morning out. routine is wake up at four a.m. and absorb the sunrise. <laughs> you then I eat a tablespoon today? of olive oil. Yes. Did you drink your olive oil? Yeah. So it still says it says Schultz picked up the habit himself. Wondered if he could combine it with his daily coffee this, routine. This guy and asked Starbucks' sucks. beverage team to see if they could pull it off. This is uh unfortunate. I'm adding I'm adding this for flavor. Unfortunately, they had no choice. <laughs> I also like the That's idea, like, straight up, by definition, no, you didn't combine it. It's just sitting on top. Yes, you literally can't combine it. Also, them. can you figure it out? Well, we can put it in the cup. Wow. <laughs> what do you want us to do from there? I don't know. Can you make it, like, sink or something? Can you like, shoot it with a laser beam? <laughs> can we make the coffee can more we, dense? Can we make the water hug it? I don't. <laughs> well, that's right. You, you, they got a new Pixar movie coming out. Can, can they get along? That's a prefact. Wow, way to go, scientist. You, put the, you put the oil with the coffee? You're genius. You're not union, are you? <laughs> Just kidding. I don't care, buddy. <laughs> On to the I'm Starbucks fact. Okay. We call the Starbucks facts the fucks. In 2004, <laughs> Starbucks and Concord Records teamed up to co-produce, market, and distribute a groundbreaking album with Ray Charles. Quote, genius love company. At a time when duet, uh, duet albums were not commonplace, Charles was paired with legendary guest artists including Nora Jones, Diana Krall, James Taylor, Elton John, Willie Nelson, and Bonnie Riot. The landmark album, right? I don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah. Uh, Riot would have been cooler. The landmark album went on to receive eight Grammy Awards. Fact from Starbucks.com. <laughs> that was just, I don't think I've ever fumbled through just a series of words afterwards and going like, that's a guy, they're 90. <laughs> what the fuck is Starbucks talking about? Also, the part that throws me, it's at a time when duet albums were not commonplace. What? That is the time when duet albums were the most commonplace. <laughs> Clive Davis said, Santana, team up with Rob Thomas and make smooth and then do a whole album of duets. And then everyone did it. At that time, and they all won more than eight Grammys. Like what? This is the only <laughs> time that, yeah, but that do an album Starbucks they didn't make it to facts at Starbucks.com. No, that's true. No. That's true. That's true. That's no. Starbucks got to make himself sound good. Mm -hmm. Remember when they would they used to sell CDs like right there at yep. the cash register? Yep. They don't do that no. anymore. And then, well, where did all they the, sell CDs? Where did all the CDs go? Uh, landfill. <laughs> oh, with the ET game. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Next fact. Originally started as a coffee company. Don't you dare cut that out. Originally started as a coffee company, Starbucks has ventured into small bites and even features other drinks such as Tess, refreshers, and hot chocolate. But you'll still be behind the person who wants the tall, skinny, sugar-free decaf soy vanilla latte, extra hot whipped cream, double sleeve, no cup. Oh, brother. You'll These Starbucks drinks. Starbucks orders, am well, I right? What I do appreciate is Starbucks is so... Like, Starbucks, was, it, to me at least, like, being a dumb dumb, like, it's the it, first, like, commercial bougie, like, this is Starbucks. Like, it's coffee, but it's, like, it's fucking fancy, bitch. Mm -hmm. Get your shit together. And just that alone, like, oh, you don't order it in regular, large, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. You say... Tall. Venti. Mm -hmm. Venti. Right? So what I appreciate is, like, 
they were very early on in the like apps and shit like that. Oh, yeah. And 99% of their customers do that. So when I do go into Starbucks, nobody's in line ever. Mm -hmm. And people walk in, they grab their shit and they leave. It's like the, it's like the people that wouldn't use the app don't go to Starbucks. Yep. The people that are like, I don't know what I want. And stand there, that person what do you still got here? will never use an app. <laughs> right. What and is so, this? so fortunately, <laughs> Did, did, did Starbucks always looks empty. Every time I go in there, I was like, there's nobody here. But Genius Invention, now they have the alphabet at the fucking checkout. Yep. And they put your little bag right next to your letter of your name. Mm -hmm. No more confusion. Don't touch my bag. You start with an M, motherfucker. <laughs> Don't touch. Oh, you do? No. Sorry. Mm. Sorry, Malcolm. Oh, you're... <laughs> we're friends now, but it was heated. Yeah, we were enemies anyway. for a minute. With a robust menu and a full secret menu, Starbucks features over 87,000 drink combinations, all of them burnt. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, you like Starbucks, right? No. What? No, no. Well, but you're a real coffee guy. Yeah, how can that be? You, you, <laughs> hang on, the, I'm not putting these pieces together. How can that yeah. be? Hang on, you like coffee. Why come you don't like Starbucks? I thought Starbucks good. How many, Starbucks is coffee. You are a real coffee guy, right? How many pumps? <laughs> <laughs> uh, my favorite part about the coffee, the syrups. <laughs> Yum. That's my favorite part of water. That's pump, <laughs> pump. Oops, I used mustard again. Oh, 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 oh. I forgot. Oh. Well, that's fine. Tell Howard Schultz, and maybe that's a new coffee. Okay. Right. On, I mean, he... One. He's got to get his daily input of mustard. Yep. He just needs to combine it with his coffee. <laughs> Truly. Just one little piece of shit a day. Mm -hmm. Can we put it in the coffee? <laughs> <laughs> For real, though, in a 21 four episode 2014 episode what i that one i just jordan people would be too confused they never were gonna get it it's true it would have hung confused. up people for so long yeah. i just said it's 2014 yeah <laughs> <laughs> in a 2014 episode of nathan for you nathan fielder opened a starbucks parody store called dumb starbuck the real coffee shop sold drinks like dumb chai tea latte and drew long lines in Los Angeles. Starbucks, not happy with the stunt, threatened legal action, but Comedy Central got away clean, which brings us to our announcement that we are opening actually good Burger King where we'll sell Wendy's disguised as a Burger King. <laughs> that is genius. That's pretty good. That's it's, the move right there. It's really smart. And now it's just that... like that lady who was taking the Popeye's chicken uh -huh. and selling it at her restaurant. So now yep. we can, can we point that to... And when that gets brought up legally, we can point to Comedy Central yep. or like Starbucks v. Comedy yeah, Central. Yeah, there's precedent. And we'll end we'll, and then a note at the bottom, fuck you. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it'll say. Yeah. And then we'll stamp it actually good Burger King. Mm -hmm. I'm we'll down. Send it away. This is good. Nick, do you have the can you do you have the startup money? All right. He can <laughs> He said, "Give him three hours." I thought I thought you were gonna ask him if he was gonna be like the mascot for it, but no. I like no, no, we need. A I like that. Roller. I appreciate that you're looking to him to be your venture capitalist. Well, hour. Oh, that's good. No, I agree. You He's already have the stamp. How are you not part of this? I don't understand. I just thought the stamp looked nice. He's got <laughs> he's got enough stars, but he doesn't <laughs> got enough bucks. <laughs> And the final Starbucks fact, besides that long pre-fact where we really hammered that guy that may or may not be CEO, Eric said he was, and then he wasn't, but he might be, and then Jordan said, no way. Mm -hmm. The original Starbucks logo featured a topless mermaid until yeah. she was covered up by her hair in 1987. This is similar to how Michael originally envisioned the sauce monkey, but we would never cover him up. Saucy. I no, I kept saying, if you remember... Uh. They kept saying, we got to cover him up. And I said, cover up his top all you want. I will not compromise. <laughs> they cover up his top. Right. Put a different shirt on exactly. him. I don't give up. Yeah. But Everything above the waist is fair play. I don't <laughs> care. He's got the mask on and you can cover up the I top. I told you, you, you have his top and mm. you can do whatever you want with his T-zone. But <laughs> below the waist, that monkey is ours. Yeah. And but everyone was, was like, but, you know, things changed. And then obviously right. the design yeah. changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, everyone, everyone was saying how difficult you were being. Yeah. <laughs> That's a little one for us. <laughs> oh, man. Did you guys learn a lot about Starbucks? Yeah. I mean, I feel like um, those are all really good. Where, oh, wait, what did it look like back, in 1986? Bud? Show me a picture. Yeah.
Wingstop facts. Our previous Wingstop episode was released March 2nd, 2021, where we ate, Nick's blown away, where we ate the Wingstop hot lemon Bayou barbecue and lemon garlic wings. It received an average score of 74. That's high. Very high, that especially high. for a newer score. For yeah. last year. Isn't that crazy? Last yeah, year? with scoreflation, that's like... Last year? It's two, two years. Hold it on. Is, it's 2019? When are, where are we? <laughs> <laughs> In two years, we'll have gone to Wingstop? It's March 2020. <laughs> yeah. Still. Guys, Nine, it's 10, March 2020. 20. Hey, you. this thing's going to blow over. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm going on vacation. Yeah. It's 9 10, 2001. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah. Have you seen McMillions yet? I'll s- now I will say, I'll, this might be controversial. I'm going to put this out there. I wish 9 11 never happened. No. <laughs> I, I apologize. <laughs> I, think it's ever, I don't think it's ever been that quiet for that long. <laughs> we both had tears in our eyes just staring at each other. <laughs> That's really what made it hard. I could see you guys fighting it. Uh, <laughs> It was great because it reached a certain point where it was like, we have crossed the yeah, threshold. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. No, I felt it. Yeah, it and went, we, uh, I felt it. And it's like, we're it being recorded. It. <laughs> it, became, it, it became, how long can this go? It, it became like, we're going to get out there. And then when you go through the portal, yep. you're just floating in the space and you're going, oh, fuck. Um, when, when that's not edited, it's going to have so many people going, they're driving and they're going, what happened? <laughs> and it's, it, it's true. That's, aw- that's awesome. Uh uh, if if oh. we if we got you just by being quiet and you thought the episode fucked up, uh, tweet at us hashtag got me. Ooh, yeah. And but uh, you know what? I stand with Eric. <laughs> now that I've thought about it, <laughs> I stand with Eric. I'm just gonna say it. I'm gonna leave it. Don't I don't, you know what? Thank you. Don't try to persuade yep. me. Don't talk me out of it. I don't want to hear your arguments. I don't want to hear your debates. This is a closed conversation. <laughs> That's it. The end. That's it. I'm sorry. The I'm end. moving on. Yep. I don't think we need a devil's advocate for this nope. one, guys. No, no well, but, I but don't. surely they'll they're leave a there. comment. I don't care who you saw in the smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I remember that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so on to the second <laughs> fact. God. <laughs> Diamond episode. In order to protect themselves from liability, Wingstop has an online FAQ. That's a, that's a page of frequently asked mm-hmm. questions. That states that you are not allowed to send them ideas for flavor combinations or new food ideas. Wingstop and Face Jam are very similar and would get along. (laughs) (laughs) I think it's awesome that that a multinational corporation just goes, keep it to your fucking self. (laughs) That rule, and you're going like, what if you mix the Parmesan? Shut up. Perfect. (laughs) Yeah. Because then they'll have to give that guy like a million dollars. So it's it's a liability thing, right? It's. It's sending you didn't a open screenplay. It, did it? You didn't yeah. open email, mm-hmm. did you? Mm-hmm. It's sending a screenplay to someone, and then they have a similar idea years exactly. later. Exactly. And you go, look, I sent you that. We run into that here. Yep. God. It happens all the time everywhere with creative. And so Wingstop is saying, this happens with chicken wings. Yeah. Wingstop, Don't send us Wingstop fancies themselves the MGM. Yeah. Wings. Well, I, I think <laughs> Wingstop. Wingstop send us your movie well, ideas. Rick Ross is that roaring lion, so I, I, I like it. I think it's also... I mean, they're they're probably smart too because it's not like Wingstop is reinventing the wheel here. No, they're, they're oh going, yeah. Hey, a new flavor came out. Let's put it on the chicken. Hope mm-hmm. to God no one recommended it. <laughs> <laughs> and also, just by the sheer number that they pump yep. out, yep. yeah. Eventually, it's just gonna line up. Mm-hmm. You know, they're gonna copyright on themselves. Yeah, eventually. So don't send us anything. Do you right. think? Do you think? Uh, where do we eat? Do you think Wingstop? <laughs> It's because the logo is so memorable, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. Oh my I, god! I thought we were at a Wegman's. Yeah. No, Wegman's <laughs> isn't too nice. Uh, uh, stop and shop. There you go. It looked like a small grocery store. Yeah, and I went. This, so this is the sign. Just, just very time, confusing. Just, Times New Roman twelve point font. Yeah, just no text. green, and no logo. No, that was in plastered all inside the building. Michael saw it and then went, "Is this their actual signage, or <laughs> is this for the mall?" Yeah. <laughs> Wing stop. Oh, great. And, and, and even though the text is like, I don't know if it's the same, 
or similar. They didn't bend it. No, no and, bend. Uh, that costs money. I, I, I mean, I will say at a sit down restaurant like that, <laughs> they don't have the money. I will say it was written in all caps in green, but in my head, it's all lowercase and white. It, it, it was the most like wing stop. Like, it was like, <laughs> they might as well have just said, like, food here. Yeah. <laughs> it was one of those things, you know? Like, it's just like, real, come in and see. Like, an it, early yeah. 2000s video game, it just says restaurant. Right. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. I mean, basically. <laughs> except, except like, your, like, your brain, you know, if some shit's, like, uh, misspelled, yep. if you really quickly, like, fix it for you. Yep. It's like that. I thought it said restaurant. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because it's like, oh, well, that's obviously just some... Uh, you pass in a video game and you go, you can't go in that door. Yep. Right. That's and a it, back row. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this door isn't open. Oh, it's two dimensional. Yep. <laughs> it's flat. That door's flat. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for playing Vice City. <sighs> Third fact for every 10 wings you order, Wingstop will throw in an extra one. So if you order 10, you should receive 11. Here we go. 20 would be 22. 30 is 33, and so on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now that we've posed this as a happening, the monkey is already working on what he is calling wing singularity, or, quote, wingularity, so he can achieve free wing nirvana. Little freak. <laughs> I mean, okay. For, I, again, I'm always met with, you typed it. Right? <laughs> Second of all, I look up and see this guy writing yeah, something. Doing, Let's, let's go. Hang on, wait. He, also, he also looked like he was angry while he was writing yeah. it. Yeah. And I was shocked. Not angry. Determined. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, he is going to college. <laughs> Man, he did get grown up. We might have to get him, like, a little stash or something. Wow. Like oh, something. a little, yeah. Make him a proper. Yeah, or a, like a face proper tattoo. Mid, oh, he should get. Early 20s guy. What if we do, what if we give him, like, a soul patch? Monkey soul patch. <laughs> Sounds like he's, he's like not it. sold on it. Yeah. yeah he, right, which makes me think that yeah. we should do it. He made that same sound when we just, when we took him to get his shots. Too, right. but you gotta go. You gotta go. It's for your own good. <laughs> <laughs> he's scared of needles, you guys. <laughs> Oh my god. <clears throat> uh, good. I don't have any on me today. 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 Watch your back. Mm -hmm. Put a needle in it. <laughs> <laughs> this, guy, this guy stabbed you in the back and he needled me. Uh -huh. In 2021, former employees in Mississippi brought a lawsuit against Wingstop claiming the restaurant forced them to pay for background checks, any cash register shortages, safety training, and uniforms. Rick Ross, owner of Wingstop, recorded a video on his patio saying that mistakes happen but he doesn't make them twice, stating, quote, let's be great, a toast to the hustlers. That's us. <laughs> what? 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 The hustlers? Is every, did, did I, did you guys hear what I read? Is <laughs> that right? Was, was that, was Wait, that hold sentences? on. Hold on a second. <laughs> I'm starting to think, I'm starting to think this Rick Ross is a different Rick Ross than oh. I was picturing. This is Rick Ross. Is he really the owner? Yes. Of so I saw this earlier and uh -huh. I was like, oh, a fact about Rick Ross is going to pop up. Uh -huh. And then it, Michael read that he was the owner and uh -huh. I was like, it's some other guy named Rick Ross. Nope, it is Rick Ross. And there is a video of him on the patio going, yeah. And then he pays the fines or whatever. And then he goes, mistakes happen, but I'll make them twice. And then you go, cool. And then he's just on his patio and he's got like food and shit. And you go, Rick Ross. Okay. A toast to the hustlers. What? Is he, refer what? Is he referring to the... I don't the employees as hustlers. I don't because I don't think that's great. Is it him? Who is the hustlers? <laughs> that's why I wrote that's us. A toast to the hustlers. Right. It was end, it was end quote. It, that's us. Yeah, yeah. It must be us who is the hustlers. <laughs> right. Us. Hustlers. Face jam. Yeah. Or us just not. No, just not face jam. like us people. Well, this also Wingstop. happened in 2021, so he's probably listening to Face Jam. Mm -hmm. The Rick episode Ross about is seeing that Wingstop. Wingstop is getting reviewed by Face Jam. Dude, and 74. He, he must be thrilled. Yeah. Yeah, great score. Yeah, yeah, but he's gotta be nervous because who knows? What about today? Yeah, who scoreflation, secret invasion, think about it. Michael's thinking about it. Could be, cool. Yeah. Could be a scroll among us. Is it is it Eric? Is you it, can tell us if it is. I'm not I don't know. I don't oh, know. Oh, he can tell us. Yeah. <laughs> you can No, you can tell us. Is it us. Eric? Michael, you're allowed to tell us. We I mean we might be scrolls too. You guys are, hmm? but we're not, maybe some of us are. Uh, we're just trying to get to the bottom of Earlier it. this year, a former employee in California brought a lawsuit against Wingstop, claiming the restaurant forced them to pay for background checks, any cash register shortages. Hey, wait, hey, wait, hey, 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 wait a minute. 
Get to yeah. <laughs> right, right, right after <clears throat> uniforms. <clears throat> <clears throat> a former Wingstop employee <laughs> for a lawsuit against Wingstop claiming the restaurant forced him to pay for background checks and he cash registered shortages, safety training, and uniforms. Whoops, a toast to the hustlers, I guess. <laughs> Here we go. On to the IHOP facts. You've yep. been waiting for them. Eric's been dreading writing them. Here we go. Our previous Did you IHOP... also wake up at 4.30 to write these? No, no. These these were these were done at you did probably not 9 a.m. style, these. Oh, yeah. These, well, these were a.m. style, but not 4 a.m. style. 8 a.m. style. Oh. Had a cup of coffee. Oh, yeah. Woke up late. <laughs> Is that the first spit and silly then that the fact sheet? Or did we <laughs> yeah, probably. No, must be. Yeah. <laughs> probably. So if yeah. you want to hear our RTX episode, it'll be it. out next week. Okay. It'll be out next week. Might as well. Yeah. Our previous I can't own this, son. <laughs> you, you, you oh, the I got facts. so mad. <laughs> was not. He got so mad. Yeah. Because it was the second time that happened. <laughs> right. Our previous IHOP episode was released March 2nd, 2021, where we ate the IHOP. Halloween menu and received an average score of 44.5. That date might be wrong. No, are you sure? March about 2nd, that? 2021, <laughs> where we ate the IHOP Halloween menu. No, it was Halloween in Australia. Tr yeah, trick or treat. I don't even know which one is wrong. The date. Is it the it's date? Definitely yeah. got to be the date. Because the, the Halloween menu we did, so wait, but we did. Because this is only our Christmas Christmas style yes. and a Halloween style. Yes. Yeah. But technically, this is our first taco style. Technically, <laughs> if you count all the times we've done it, even not on like the regular show, yeah. it's fourth because remember when we did the post show for off topic, Absolutely. That, and oh, it that's was right. the, the that was Adam's family menu, <laughs> the fucking oh burrito God, and right. everything. <laughs> that was that was I think technically like the second episode we ever did. Or yep, something. that yeah, was that's true because we made one and we were like, let's do that thing we did again. Yeah, right. we ate. Food. That was let's us. See if we get people behind this yeah, idea because that was us going. We want to make this show, so we're going to ram jam it into everything. Right. Until it was we're a lot of Michael show. talking so, about it a whole lot yeah, and being like, check it out, Tyler. We. We need yep. food uh -huh. to eat on the show uh -huh. like the other show we just made. And he went, I get the food. Yep. And yep. I just remember cutting into the tins. Yeah. Like the, the food trays. Yeah. Right. So that is the right score. We didn't anyway, eat the that Halloween was in menu, March but it was in 2021. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Different day. Uh, hey. Yep. Go with the flow. Okay. Period. Texting is no match for actual talking, especially when it's over a cup of coffee. We'll keep the conversation flowing so you can keep the conversation going. Fact. Lot of just a lot of uh, brackets uh -huh. and, and parentheses here. Fact question mark taken from the IHOP website. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that is that like on the main page? Did you dig around for that? Was that I searched was... IHOP crazy facts and then <laughs> and, this, this and guy's then, a producer and then found the IHOP fact page. And it was like, why is this on here? Yeah, man, we'll keep giving you coffee. Was it was it strewn about with mixed in with a bunch of other actual facts? Yeah, or were yeah, yeah. They no, there, it was kind of weird. It, they were all kind of about this tempo, uh huh. Mm. Where it's like this isn't really these sound anything. more like marketing features. Yes, of uh huh. But it was their the F, like it was like their FAQ section. You'd go around and find these in like it like an AR style <laughs> yeah. IHOP contest. Yes, yeah. Like, oh, did you find our sweet message? On right. in the filthy bathroom. This sounds like, this sounds like <laughs> if like, John Hamm were to record this uh -huh. over footage of a Mercedes Benz, Absolutely. it sounds like it'd be a car uh, but commercial. It, but I like the idea of having an AR sort of IHOP thing, but instead you do it in VR chat so that way Kermit the Frog is fighting Hank Hill inside of like an IHOP sponsored VR chat sort of like situation. And like Courage the Cowardly Dog is like slinging pancakes or whatever. Dude. Like that sounds like the kind of thing. That sounds cool. That sounds awesome. I want to do that now. See? It's a great idea. Do, do they have servers? Can we make a face jam server okay. where like, oh, Grimace dude, shows if up? You are... <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> if you are naughty, if you are a jammer and you know how to do that, let us know because I wonder if that's if something you we know can do. How to do. Yeah, I'm not gonna that, fucking learn. Is that Fred, Michael? Yeah, I think that's what his name was. With love, who? Fred. If you could pick anything that you naughty. could be in a VR chat thing, what would you pick? 
as my avatar? Yeah, yeah. Like, well, I know you could choose. I would like, be, as much I as you would want, be an avatar. <laughs> oh wow! From the movie Which Avatar. One? Wow, a big Which old blue one, person. Oh. Uh Everyone's favorite, Sam Worthington. <laughs> The white guy one, Jake, Jake Scully, Jake, Jake Sully, Sully, Jake Sully. What uh, would you pick? What what avatar? No, would you I pick would for be. VR um, chat? Never mind. No, go ahead. I buy me. <laughs> yeah, time. I want to know. I'm thinking of a real answer. Mm -hmm. What's uh? What's Ripley's name? Believe it or not, no. The actress. There we go. Sigourney Weaver. Be Sigourney you would Weaver. be Sigourney Weaver from as Ripley Avatar? or from Avatar. <laughs> from Avatar. <laughs> I Her like. I version. like. I like that you would do that, but you call I'm Ripley. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, any wait, any wait. other aliens around yeah, here? Man, Better watch out. People going, what up? <laughs> what happened? What would you But also we, I'm the clone one from yeah. like Alien oh, 3. Absolutely. <laughs> um he would have to be the sauce monkey. There's no other Oh yeah, we can custom yeah. make a model yeah, yeah. for him 100 percent I want to be a falcon, but like a man, a man like falcon. a man falcon like, kind of situation. Yeah. Like, like I can sit on his shoulders, but also oh, wow. I'm bigger than him. Oh, that's oh that's pretty cool. And so he's kind of just going like like, like you could take off, like and I could take off with him yeah. if I wanted. If you wanted to. to, yeah. Does I don't know anything about VR chat. Does it have little pets and um, I summonables? I mean, yeah, probably. Can I summon I a grackle? Know. Yeah, sure. Is it, is it as good as Diablo? Yeah, I was just gonna say. Yeah, it's, it's not gonna. It's a complicated way to just play Diablo. <laughs> <laughs> so let us know who's, if you know how to do that. Who's banging around on what? That's uh, Nick. There's lots of banging going on. Yeah, it's him. I don't know if this date is right. In okay. May of 2021. A Charlotte, North Carolina IHOP cook was fired after having his religious exemption revoked by a new general manager who expressed hostility over the cook having Sundays off. The EEOC is suing IHOP and the general manager said the cook, quote, thinks it's more important to go to church than to pay his bills. We at Face Jam respect this religious observance and also we need the other six days off for religious reasons too. We're going to be rich. <laughs> We shouldn't technically even be recording this right now. Whoa. Whoa. Does this count as screen acting? Yeah. <laughs> we got to figure out what religious exemption we could get to have like Wednesdays off. You know I what wanna, I mean? I want a God. Like wacky Wednesdays? I want a God mm -hmm. that turns, that smites my enemies to gold. <gasps> Whoa. And then I get rich quick. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, what religion is Hell that? Hell yeah, thanks God. Who's out here thundering people <laughs> into gold? Who's doing gold kind of stuff? Gold and then God giving style. it to me. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Give me that. That's what I want. That's good. Then you don't have to work Wednesdays. I'll take off every day of the week. For hell that. yeah. Okay. I don't know what the hell he's talking about, okay. but <laughs> we are still chasing the elusive I hopple bees somehow, despite God's best effort. God again? <laughs> or whoever's making people in the gold mm -hmm. is still <laughs> open in Detroit. Do you think God stays in heaven because he too lives in fear of what he has created? <laughs> you go down to IHOP in Detroit, you start making golden pancakes, golden pancakes. Golden pancakes at the IHOPLEBEES. It's a combination IHOP and Applebee's. I've heard that line so many times on like TikTok and stuff. Yeah. It's Steve Buscemi. It is. And I was like, what movie is this from? It's from S fucking Spy Kids 2? Spy Kids 2. <laughs> Spy Kids 2. Well, that line has no business being <laughs> yeah. in a movie like that. <laughs> Steve Buscemi says it in a Spy Kids movie, and it's such a good think, line. Do you think it's Steve Buscemi just had it written, and he was like, I'm using it. Don't the worry, next I got this one. Movie I'm in. I don't give a shit. <laughs> what? And, next on the and he just had a bunch <laughs> of hits kid. lined up. And he was like, oh, fuck. I wrote this one. Do you think we can fit it in the next movie? Yeah, yeah, whatever. And then he's on oh. set and he goes, uh-oh. <laughs> Might be wasting this oh, one. Oh, hell yeah, dude. It's a Robert Rodriguez movie? This is going to be so sick for like El Mariachi or whatever? Oh, <laughs> uh, this is Spy Kids. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Spy Kids too, though. I guess Shark Boy can say it. Um, <laughs> I can say it, I guess. <laughs> I Hopplebees. We got to go. Okay. Okay. Detroit I hop -a I wanted to go to uh, Knott's Berry Farm. Uh -huh. Yeah. And you wouldn't let it happen. That's not exactly the way it happened. Well, it was him. You were definitely the reason. It was definitely you. He had, his his excuse was just as valid. I didn't have an excuse. I was jumping through hoops to go. Yeah, he was making it I work. was like, okay. Okay, I, I will give that there was, there was a three-day window. There's a three-day window. Window. Right. 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 Three right. window. She's stranded, doesn't know what's going on. It's, it's fine. It's <laughs> usual. It really was. I'll <laughs> just get back a little bit after she gets here. After <laughs> yeah. my mother yeah, yeah. goes. <laughs> it's it's like, fine. Just She'll later that day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five hours is the limit before she starts screaming. She'll talk to people at the airport for nine hours. 
hour. Get a, get a yeah, taco. You got, that, there's a four hour window for mm. you to actually I'll, get her. I'll get back and she'll she'll not be done yet. Yeah. She'll be like, I'm not <laughs> done at the airport yet. Hang on. Four hour. Did you get my Diet Coke? Yep. Sorry, Coke Zero. <laughs> Last fact. Last fact. In a 2018, who knows if that year's right. In 2018, a Staten Island boy suffered second degree burns from hot water after an IHOP server, quote, raised the vessel holding the liquid over the child's head. When reached what? for comment, Stella Liebeck, the New Mexico woman who received third degree burns from McDonald's coffee, said, fucking pussy, get on my level and hung up. He's too, lady. Come on. WTF. I believe everything I I read, and that's <laughs> fucked up. I believe everything I read. That's pretty fucked up. <laughs> Don't be dripping coffee on babies. Uh, it, so she was bringing water over for tea oh. to the table. Oh. I don't know why she raised the vessel of liquid over the child's head. What? Ha what? How did it? How did she it? must have gone like. Oh, uh -huh. drip? I get it. I get it. So it's like. She's probably reaching around the table. Uh, yeah. The baby's head is just there. And yeah. either baby was probably on the end. Yep. Yep. I'm picturing it. Probably T at an IHOP. I don't, I don't even. Hang okay. On. Hold it up one more time. I, you're against this, I guess? Well, I think he's saying if they had ordered coffee, this never would have happened. Yeah. But, but it was. You're wrong. Yeah. You just would have got burned with the coffee part. Yeah. I don't know what's worse, to be honest, being burned by coffee or being burned by just hot water. I don't yeah. think there's a difference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess I you smell know. a little different I, well, if it's I coffee. Mean, I, I will say that Stella Liebeck got burned by coffee, and it was way, 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 way hotter because she got third-degree burns. Right. So I guess there is a difference, you know. Think about it. Coffee is, stays hotter longer? I mean, no. They just keep it hot. I don't think it stays well, yeah. was, I think that's could the you. Heat. She was the one who she had it in her cup. Yes, and then and it, it was like, in her lap, and, and it, it fell. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. It so like, it had time to cool. Yeah, but it didn't. The only like way two we could seconds. The yeah. only way we could know for sure, Michael, uh -huh. is if we get this kid uh -huh. and we just recreate the ex the same the kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We well, burn well, him he's again. the only that one that can give us the data. If it was worse or not, he's the only one who will know the data. But he can't be two again. He could be. He could crouch. I'm just saying, we either need the same kid or we need another two year old. And we could do way, both. I'm not really happy about either scenario. What? Nick is, though, we could do both. He's smiling, saying, let's do it. Yeah. I don't know. Well, Nick's, Nick's forced like, my hand. Let's Nick's like, it. I got a two year old. Let's go. No. <laughs> he's 23 months. <laughs> no. At least he stopped pig oinking. I don't know. He's like, how nine. many hours he's old like is your kid, Nick? <laughs> 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 he had a very panicked look. He doesn't like any of this. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is the I mean, only time in the history of Face Jam Nick is not on board. Right. <laughs> Strangely, for a man who doesn't talk, speechless. Yep. Those are the facts. Those are the facts. Did you guys learn a lot about IHOP? I didn't learn much about dates. I'll tell you that. Okay. <laughs> the other dates are all right. Any of them right? How the do I know? All dates are all right. Are they all right, right or are they just no, all right? the, the one is just right. wrong. Don't worry about it. The other ones How are wrong. How wrong is right. it? Like real wrong? Um, do you think it was it the wrong? Do you year? think it was 2022 when we had it? No. Do you I think so? I don't. I don't think so. Because that would have been too recent. Yeah. It, 23. Mm -hmm. I didn't have it. It's a whole thing. This is like a, just a non Joe G sauce. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Anyways. <laughs> let's, let's learn about Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> okay. Our previous Outback Steakhouse episode was released December 7th, 2021, where we ate the espresso butter steak. It received an average score of 59. There was some chortles back there. Yeah. I, don't know he was <laughs> I, I remember that one. Uh -huh. I remember that one was like a very low score for me. It, yeah. Uh, so 59 is pretty high. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, was it? Do you remember <laughs> the es too high? I don't wow. remember it at Christ, all. Come on. What's uh, do you remember the espresso butter <laughs> steak? At, like, no. It was just no, a, I, it was I a remember, steak with butter on top. I remember eating it outside because it was the COVID times. And I remember it having no flavor. We ate it inside. Yeah. We ate it at the restaurant. You're talking yeah, about outside, inside. You're room. talking what? about the previous one, which was the short rib. Oh, the you're last right. time we went to Outback, we you're ate right, there. Right. It was cat or gun. It's <laughs> December seventh. <7th. laughs> <laughs> I just thought, hey man, it all blurs together. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, I just you're keep right. saying, let's go back to his car. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, but <laughs> right. to the top of it. Not I inside don't want no. So yeah, fifty nine was not the one that I no. okay. That so I did maybe well. maybe you. Maybe mildly that one, yeah. enjoyed this yeah, one. Yeah, maybe that one was like a third. All right. <laughs> <laughs>
In 2016, Outback Steak was forced to pay employees three million. Steak what? To settle a class action lawsuit where employees were asked to, quote, donate unpaid hours to the company in a practice referred to as Outback Time. What? If the sauce monkey approaches you for a similar practice that he refers to as monkey time, contact the authorities and God himself. <laughs> herself, please. I wrote herself and I went, no, I have to give Jordan an opportunity to say it. <laughs> Did you also write Outback State? I wrote Outback State. <laughs> yeah. God can't save you. He I says. will say. <laughs> oh my God, hang on. <laughs> Oh, Gotta no. take a picture yeah, of that that's, one. Yeah, that's a real out of context one. <laughs> awesome. The fact uh, that they're in context is what makes yeah. them funnier. Um, he could just write anything all willy nilly, but I don't think we should let that pass. What no. are they supposed? To, what are the employees supposed to get out of Outback Time? In exactly. This scenario? Yeah. Is there, what? What's what's the what's the follow up there? They're they're donating to who? The company. But they're not even going to veil it as something like obviously no, but, that's the end result. But right. that is the but end that, result is you don't get paid, uh -huh. and the company likes that. Two thumbs up. Yes. What do they get out of it? Like, what? Are, how are they being enticed to do this? I think if out, you're by calling it Outback Time. I think if you're the, if you don't donate to Outback Time, we're going to take you out, <laughs> <laughs> and it will be your time. I think if, if you're you like see the seventeen, out back with a hole in the ground. <laughs> I think if you're seventeen, there is a fear of getting taken out back to outback time and then it turning into monkey time and like it's not and then you gotta call god him or herself yeah 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 i i just think that i think that it's probably people getting tricked by managers like it's not sure. like outback steakhouse is saying hey do this i think it's managers who are so dumb going like right just do it for free and right and well they're probably also going, being oh, okay. handed down a mandate yep. as well mm -hmm. so it's good it's just a, it's like i said man it always goes straight to the top mm-hmm no way on the I, don't, I don't know. Isn't I don't Eric know where the top? the top is. It's Eric here. <laughs> right, everything's right. his fault. Jordan keeps talking about how he's sure there's a top and it's going to the top. I just don't know where the top is yet. He's not. Nope. Don't point at me. Yeah. If he's this is charge. the top, it's oh, it's not good. <laughs> if it's the top, we're short. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For real. Normal, regular size. Not normal. Mm -hmm. uh, in. 2009, which I guess existed at some point, mm -hmm. Outback Steakhouse was forced to pay $19 million due to gender bias that did, a, did not allow women the same opportunities as men to elevate their position. The suit also forced the company to employ a human resources executive, which they named the vice president of people, a term used loosely based on the caliber of people working at the steakhouse. Also a term used <laughs> loosely. Well, they could have got vice president of mutants. <laughs> I think, I think that's, just, we're the people team. Uh, you look around, you go, people, huh? <laughs> Do you think Pence You're, would fit in there? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he would just kind of be there? Not in the front row, maybe not even right. in the, in the uh -huh. second row, but He's there. a person. Uh-huh. This is also another, filler. I don't remember if this is conversation in the car or not. It was, oh, it was. It was, it was on the, the way car. there. Yep. What's he doing? Talking about <laughs> Pence and just going, doing? what well, are you? Talking we're about, we're talking ta about the huge field of Republican candidates, and then we remembered Mike Pence exists. Yeah, <laughs> but also, but also it came up as talking about Pence, da -da 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 -da, long pause, and Eric going, they were going to hang him. <laughs> like, that was the plan. And now he's back asking and like, for their vote. And he's like, hey, I'm here to vote for me. <laughs> what? They were going, they had rope. <laughs> they had it. There were people who were there. And also, the guy who was president was like, if it happens. Yeah. <laughs> Mike Pence, that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. <laughs> and we also said that in that scenario, if they had done it, uh -huh. Mike Pence would then be dead and <laughs> Donald Trump would still not be president. <laughs> so it would be all for nothing. <laughs> so dumb. I was talking about his I was talking about his head and his hair. Yeah. Right. And it's far from like the worst. It's mm -hmm. not like it's bad. It's just so plain. It's and nothing. It, it also it looks like I said his head looks like Cisco's head <laughs> from the thong song when it's silver. Uh -huh. right. And and then Jordan was like, it looks like a Lego piece. Yeah, he does. That's exactly. He could be a Lego guy. Yeah. He's just some Lego guy. He's a Lego guy. man, yeah. He's just a he's Lego a guy. He's, just a, he's a guy in a suit, but not the first or second guy in no, a suit. Right. Just a guy in a suit. Yep. 
And then and then you said he'd be president in, in like a movie. And I went, he wouldn't. <laughs> he, he, he and would. then we I named everyone else that's been a president. And it's like they're a million said, times more of a person than like, Mike said. He'd be, he'd be, he would be vice president. Right. In a movie. <laughs> right. Because, because when have you ever seen a vice president in a movie? That's so you so don't funny. see him at all. That's so funny. I love that. Mike, he wouldn't even be president in a movie. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, he's going to get the votes. Yeah, dude. Way to go. He's not going to make it to the debate. Yeah, he's not even making <laughs> he, it to well, the debate. Well, yeah, he can't afford to. Anyway, now that I'm woke, uh -huh. in 2022, a lawsuit was brought against Outback Steakhouse. How declaring. Many, how many of these are lawsuit based? The, this is the last one. Okay. Let's see how he gets out of the next one. <laughs> right. Not being a lawsuit, but being real close. <laughs> In 2022, a lawsuit was brought against Outback Steakhouse declaring that male managers are paid more than female managers for the Jeez. same work. This vice president of people didn't do fucking shit. Oh, no. Mike, Mike Pence. That's 13 years later. <laughs> Mike Pence, everybody. <laughs> Dude, wait, I mean, again, I'm not, you not even talk sides. You want to know who was like an embodiment of a vice president? Cheney. He yeah. was out there shooting people in the <laughs> face, starting wars, getting into it, grappling. <laughs> I think that's more than he he's surpassed vice president duties in that regard, though. Mm -hmm. Like a vice president is someone you want, you know, just kind I don't of know if wants doing it. I'm stuff, just saying, I'm but just he saying. was going above and beyond in his role, I think. I think everyone knew that was going to happen. though. Right. Mm -hmm. and I think even he told George Bush that was going to happen. I mean, look at what it did. Who for do you think gave him the pretzels? <laughs> wow. wow. I told you, man, it goes yep. all the way to the top. What, who do you like? <laughs> Look at what it did for Joe Biden. He put on sunglasses and now he's president because he it's was true. vice because yeah. no one gave a fuck about that guy. Yeah. And then he was vice president. He put on sunglasses Dark and he said, Brandon. Brandon. <laughs> Dark Brandon strikes again. <laughs> Dude, the dark brand is so I, fucking. It's I'll like see, so insane. I honestly, I don't. I don't, I don't use brand. this term lightly. Uh -huh. It's cringe. It, I, <laughs> I see it and I go, "Come on, guys! It's Joe, it's Joe Biden." Dark, dark brand. What are we doing? <laughs> fucking got him again. Dude, take that corn pop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the last one. Last fact. That's not a lawsuit. Not a lawsuit. In 2018, an electrical contractor's van crashed through an outback kitchen. Kapow! Injuring five workers. When questioned, the driver of the van changed his story several times, stating first that there was a mechanical issue, then recanting and saying he lost consciousness. We at Face Jam can't confirm what really happened, but our inside sources, Nick, said that the driver was, quote, fiending and going nutso for a blooming onion, end quote. Crikey. Again, this guy talking about the onion. He doesn't give a <laughs> shit about Outback and Outback, man. He loves it. It's all he talks about. He I'm knows a, one I'm a, thing. I'm a trained... Right, so, so we're going to get the onion, right? I'm just going to put that out of the way. We're going to get the onion. So let's just go ahead and get the onion out of the way. I know they're going to want it. They won't stop talking about it. Big <laughs> deal. <laughs> hey, should we get to the back? Yeah, I mean, I guess. <clears throat> wow, we just did this thing, huh? Mm-hmm. Our previous Culver's episode was released July 5. 2022, where we ate the Big Cheese Pup Burger. It received an average score of 84.5. That's very did? high. Yes. Oh, my yes, God. It, did. That's, it was very high. Huge. Yeah. Jordan's still making his mind you up. must have liked that. Jordan is. I mean, Jordan's that? I mean, you must have given it a good Unless it's like 100 no, for me. It, it no. is both like, no, right? It's like, both good. it's like 80 and 88. It's like really wow. close. I also can't. Jordan. I have no comment. I, I have no memory of this. Jordan was so He's shocked kind of looking the around the room. Yep. That there it is. It's it looks identical. It, it, yeah, it looks it's like the <laughs> fucking thing we just ate. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Cool. I thought you accidentally <laughs> brought up the no. pepper. Okay, but look, they say. got cheese curds <laughs> in the picture. I will Maybe say, that's I, what it was. I like uh <laughs> I like Jordan couldn't believe the score. You said it out loud and he went, What? And looked yeah. at his format. And sheet. then and then even Typo? there wasn't even any like kind of quip or anything. He was just kind of shaking his head, you going, I don't know what I was thinking. Yep. I just don't Kenergy. Anywho. Let's get on to the next fact. I like that, by the way, when we do a, a, like anything we've done before, which is everything at this point, gets <laughs> right. him a free fact. Oh, it's the best. Oh, yeah. Here's when a free we have fact, to go we to already a new place things. and I just go, oh, oh no, oh, my freebie. <laughs> no, that was my free bingo. No, no, five. <laughs> Culver's claims to serve over 150 million scoops of ice cream a Custard. year and have 5,400 dairy cows working full time to keep up with demand. 
We're not sure what a cow working full time is exactly, but we at Face Jam believes the cows should unionize to grind the dairy industry to a halt only to have Joe Biden <laughs> tell them to get back to work, rail worker style, get back to work, comma, rail worker style, stupid cows. <laughs> Hey, he's the most pro labor <laughs> president. It's the funniest thing. And the thing. most pro cow now. It is the funniest thing he's ever tweeted. From like, <laughs> that's, uh, oh, Joe Biden loves labor unions. And then Except it's just immediately one. fact check. <laughs> <laughs> like, whoops. I think that's great. We gotta get these cows like vacation Dude, time. Dude, it's it's hot strike summer, you know? That's like get the cows about. to do it as well. Yeah. Like, especially you deny people their their frozen custard. Mm -hmm. People are going to be on the right side of the, the cows. They did right in the fact sheet. Didn't even mention it. Yep. Yeah, they're going to be on the side of the cows immediately. Oh, like, I get I them with the cows. Get them a free, a, a fair deal, mm -hmm. so we can get back to eating ice cream. Mm -hmm. What about who's getting chopped up? That's a different cow. Yeah, that's a different kind of cow. Uh, that's, that's a different. That, these are dairy cows. cows. You're talking about meaty, rights. You're talking want, about meaty cows. Yeah, the cows, meaty no. cows, don't have rights. The yeah, dairy cows are in UAW. Yeah, the beefy cows are in IATSE. Yeah, definitely. Different unions. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way over my head. <laughs> Craig Culver, founder of Culver's. Oh, that makes sense. Said that when the office got too stressful, he would head down to the local Culver's to flip burgers and get, quote, a little grill time. That would be like Nick going down to the Chuck E. Cheese, throwing a rat head over his monkey mask and dancing around because audio got too overwhelming. Actually, he should do that. Nick, you should do that. <laughs> I wonder if you walked into a Chuck E. Cheese monkey head style, could you blend in? Could you kind of <laughs> just start kids, dancing? Would the kids kind of like gather around? Oh, you? I don't think that. I mean, with the employees, right? Like the kids wouldn't say anything. Uh, <laughs> hey, when we I, hire, we know he worked there, but so everyone knows he worked there. He held yeah. up a sign. When we get a monkey, great. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then he's just well, like dancing around. Well, that's how back. he gets into the back room and stuff. He knows yeah. the lingo. Yeah, you know, he'll be oh, like, "Oh, yeah. I'm here to jiggle the arcade <laughs> machine." Right. <laughs> He knows I'm, all the lingo. I'm Rapolo. Is that one of their names? What What's the name of the pizza guy? Pizza Nucci or something? What's the? That's the what's that's the name the of the quarterback of the Cowboys. He doesn't oh, that's know right. shit. He's a no shit. Ben How come Danucci? you don't know what his name is? I don't what? think I don't think that guy's is this why you were let anymore? go? I'm telling this guy. Show the showbiz pizza. Show him. Fucking... He doesn't know his fucking friends' names. His name is Pie Plate. What? All right. well, you, I don't that. think it is. This is crazy. This is the vibes oh, are so Pasquale. off. Remember, you can order Pasquale. You can order. Remember, they were tricking people yeah. on DoorDash to order Chuck E. Cheese pizzas. Oh, that. With That's Pasquale. what you were talking about. What did you order? You Didn't you order Hooters? Yeah. And it wasn't called that. Yeah, it was. It was, called, a, like, it was a burger place. It, I don't yeah. remember what it was. It was like uh, Owlies or something. Yeah, but it was good. <laughs> I kept ordering it. <laughs> it was. <laughs> After I got it, I went, this is Hooters. <laughs> Fuck, this is Hooters? <laughs> and then I guess it's so I ordered good. it like three more times knowing it was Hooters. And I go, it's a really good burger. It's so funny, too. <laughs> Ordering Hooters and not going there is maybe the funniest way to experience Hooters. <laughs> 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 they, got, they got a whole thing going on, and you're like, no, 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 no. Have you had the burger, I would though? never go there, but no. I'll order the burger to my house. Yep. How long did it take? About 95 minutes <laughs> to get delivered. So I, I order it before I get hungry. Yeah. <laughs> just so that it shows up right on time. I want to, I don't want to get too far away from, quote, a little grill time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? Is that, this is happy place? Yes. I just got to go down and uh, relieve the fry now, cook of his duty so I can do he, some grill time. He also said, now, there's no, there's no, like, date on this, right? Mm. It's his, you know, founder of Culver said, when he gets too stressful. Now, this is like. After he opened the first Culver's, or this is now. No, no, no. I he just walks like, in. He goes, so "Boom, he, Daddy's here." Yeah, I he just feel like he's into tired. Any Culver's there is, and he's like, "Give me the spatula." He's, he's in his <laughs> ivory tower in downtown <laughs> Madison or Milwaukee. He and he's just like, "Oh man, this is not why I started. I need to get back to my roots." Gets a little grill time, and he goes, "Oh yeah, this fucking sucks." Oh, and he leaves and go goes back, back to his ivory tower. Office. Oh no, yeah. no fucking shit. We pay these guys nine fifty an hour. All right, bye, idiots. Uh, he retired in twenty fifteen, but he was doing this up until he was retiring. Great, yeah. So I mean, definitely, I bet, I bet that didn't fuck everyone in the kitchen for right. the that, he yeah. showed up. <laughs> that is one hundred percent what happened. The yep. owner likes to do a thing for one second. Uh -huh. I just fucked everyone yeah. here. I just don't worry. I'm getting some grill time. He says yeah. like back to the the, the drive through. He's got a hundred <laughs> yeah. cars piled up. There's a fighter behind him <laughs> as he's like, "Don't worry, I'm just doing some grill time." You see, if you go to that Culver's and you see a Maserati in the parking lot, you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> to go later. Turn around. <laughs> oh fuck, he's here. <laughs> Oh, no, he's getting grill time. <laughs> Goddamn it. <laughs> Fuck this guy. That's, 
That's crazy. <laughs> I forgot we were in the middle of facts. Oh right, yeah, yeah. We should we should go to the next. In the May of this in May of this year, that's 2023. The EEOC filed charges against a Minnesota Culver's for discrimination based on race, sex, disability, and more. Managers harassed employees with slurs, and the franchise exposed female employees as young as 14 years old to sexual harassment. Hey, that's terrible. But can we slow down? Why are there 14 year olds working at Culver's? We're gonna get so sick. <laughs> That that just that snowballed <laughs> horribly. Right. Right. It was that like, whole thing was just horrible. Was like, first, first <laughs> discrimination, uh-huh. and then uh, the slurs. Yeah, and then whoa, uh, it, the sexual harassment, and then what? Fourteen year olds. <laughs> yeah. How many problems does this one Culver's have? A lot. And they just keep going deeper and deeper. The thing about the article that I read, and there are a lot of articles about this. Reading them and them going like, yeah, and. Uh, these employees, some as young as 14, were uh, sexually harassed. And it just was like, and they didn't talk about how employees were 14 years old. What the is, fuck? Is that even allowed? Are, are you in eighth probably, grade? Like, probably what? Minnesota. That sucks. That's even weirder That's insane. To me. Yeah. What? Like, they've made laws that, like... Recently, they've just like rolled back child labor yeah. laws in certain states so that well, they could get 14 year old. Yeah. But I don't think Minnesota was one of them. Well, well, so they, 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 well they, were already already re- they were already rolled back. Yeah, they, never got, they never got That's rolled in. Yeah. That That's what's what's so in 1903, confusing. when they said, get these kids out of the coal mines, Minnesota went, hang on. My 12 year old the <laughs> other day Culver. was telling me that the price of cigarettes went up again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these fucking Pall Mall extra longs are getting an arm and a leg. <laughs> All right, well, I have freshman year by. <laughs> and the final fact in this hell. In 2011, the city of Madison, Wisconsin, paid $10,000 to quote the Culver's Five, five dorks who open carried guns into a Culver's and had the police called on them. Their group, Wisconsin Carry, claims to be a quote, nonprofit organization dedicated to the preservation and reclamation of the basic human rights critical to a free society, end quote. Hopefully these guys had a good time at January 6th and are enjoying the treason charges that will surely, that were surely leveled against them. (laughs) I honestly, uh-huh. if we can find their names, we can look up if they. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, like, these guys carried guns to a Culver's. The, uh, it was the reason for it is so somebody would call the cops. Yeah. Clearly to demonstrate. A hundred percent. And then they're like, yeah. And then they got our rights they, of being in friends. They didn't even get arrested. The cops, like, let me see ID. And then they're like, three of them gave ID, two of them didn't. So then oh, two well, of they're them, sovereign citizens. Yeah, exactly. And then two of them were charged with disorderly conduct. And then all five of them were charged. And then all of the charges were dropped because they didn't they didn't break any laws. They were just yeah. shitheads. Like mm-hmm. they were just shitty dork guys. Right. They're not who wrong. Carried they're just to a cold with dorks. So when they, when they when yeah. they talk about the preservation and reclamation <laughs> reclamation <laughs> of the human, basic human rights yeah, critical to, go to, to a Culver's free society. With your guns. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought they were talking about like health care. No, 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 no. They're going oh. they're talking no, they about said human rights, you dumb shit. Yeah. Oh, they're sure. talking about go uh, to hamburger guns? store with gun. Guns. Oh. Guns. The woman, I, thought, I thought these were unrelated. What things. if one of the meat cows escaped and charged them? <laughs> oh, no. exactly. I'll put it down. Yeah. I'll take care of the, him. The uh, the woman who called nine one one was interviewed later, and she they were like, "Why'd you call nine one one? You know, how did you feel? Whatever." And she was like, "Well, I don't know the law about open carry in Minnesota, so I just saw five guys with guns, and I didn't want to be the person who didn't call nine one one when five guys with guns went to a Culver's. Yeah, because and what, I went, what else could you assume? Right." <laughs> Right. I, I imagine the scenario was, man, what do you, you call 911 every time with five guys with guns walked in? Yeah. Like, yes, I have. Yeah. Yes. This is uh, the, yeah, be, this is uh, the yeah. first. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say, Something I'm like, this happens every day yeah. when people are out reclaiming their basic human rights. Right. You don't get it. We're the good guys with these. Yeah, that's right. Look, and you're trying to yeah. eat a hammer. As they're like waving yeah, their gun at you. Wait, you're eating a concrete, they're dipping it in. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was just free society. This is Sorry. me reclaiming. This is a basic right, idiot. You put it in I use a concrete like a silencer. I put, I put, I put it in the mint shake and pull the trigger. <laughs> I don't think it'd come out as concrete. Yeah, think oh. about it. Oh my God. I think that's how they do test ballistics. They shoot them in they, the concrete. The concrete <laughs> is what saved uh, the jelly. Saved uh, Teddy Roosevelt when he got got shot. That's right. Yeah. What he was- had a concrete in his breast pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Teddy Roosevelt, cold still cold. <laughs> Thank God. 
Uh, those are the facts, though. Would you, you feel like we learned about God, it? it was terrible. What? That, <laughs> some, man. Some fucked up stuff. I, it's, I was all fucked up. <laughs> it was all fucked up and then just weird sure, about Wendy's stuff. Right into something it. we know very little about. I hope there's some lawsuits in here. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> our, previous to Wendy's, see. our previous Wendy's episode was released September 2022, where we ate the Pretzel Pub for a second time. It received an average score of 84.49993. Whose whose fault was that? You gave it a you gave our first iteration a sixty eight, uh, and then score. the next iteration, like when we went back and we're like we review it, you went it's definitely better sixty nine, and <laughs> I was furious. I was, a higher score. I was I was score. mad listening to it again, and then I was mad in the episode, <laughs> and, then, and then Michael and gave then it. Er Eric's talking to the the phone that's playing it going he yeah. gets it yeah. <laughs> yeah this fucking guy well eric kept talking he was listening to the episode and he was talking he thought it was me <laughs> right was very confused. So confused michael gave it like a 99.9998 something whatever and so it ended up being an a, insane a nice number. solid number yeah mm -hmm. um, yeah i think as all things it evens out and 84 go. is fair um next fact yeah Wendy's has once again removed the pretzel pub from the menu. It's gone. Look, now, when it's does been, that go it's into been effect? A, it's been about a year. I, I mean, I think... It has been I, phased out, and it is not... In some places, it's still orderable. They're not right. replenishing previous but supplies. I, I think I that's see. what it is. It's like they're there yeah. until they're they run drags. out. So you got to go out. Yep. You got to well, go out to like the, the outskirts yep. to a Wendy's that still has it. I will say, not getting as it's many been orders. around long enough. I, I think I absorbed my my ravenous craving for it after about 40 or 50 of them. Uh -huh. uh, but I still go back. Uh -huh. I saw the the message of like, oh, they're doing it again. Yep. Immediately went out and ate one. It is, and they still had it then. It is not on the online menu. Whoa. The, so I got it. Last time I got it is when, not bode well. when word was sent. And yeah. it was, and I went, and I went, I'll see you again one day. Mm -hmm. You'll be back. Do you think there's a Wendy's out in like, Elgin or outside Bastrop, we could go to that would have it. I feel like one they'd last be ride, least likely to have it. One last ride, right? Like, would it be? I mean, they probably have enough for like five, but I don't think people are going over there to yeah, order five I, of they, them. Yeah, exactly. They probably get like the least inventory, but also right. the least traffic for. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I exactly. imagine like the middle of Austin, they were probably slinging them. Yeah. You know how it's, it's, we've been to the restaurants where they can't even get their Cheeto dust delivered. Yes, that exactly. is that shit gets backed yeah. up. Mm -hmm. well, <laughs> mm -hmm. Round Rock is technically outskirts, right? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Oh, you, know, yeah. you know how in Breaking Bad, there's that there's that point they reach where uh, Jesse has to go out like two hours outside Albuquerque to get Sudafed and. Mm -hmm. And matches and stuff. Oh, yeah. It's like, that's what we got to do. We yeah, got to drive. Go we got to drive in the middle of nowhere. To get Sudafed. Yeah, we have to get Sudafed. Our Sudafed, Sudafed yeah. equals. No, it's just Sudafed. Pumper. I've been buying Sudafed because that's. People keep asking where the van went. You know where it went. Went to my front yard and I make meth in it <laughs> with all the Sudafed. <laughs> A Louisiana woman is suing Wendy's for $150,000 after eating a double cheeseburger and being hospitalized for a month for possible E. coli infection. Continue. The Acute E stands for entertainment. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. Possible entertainment <laughs> coli infection, comma, acute gastrointestinal bleeding, comma, septic shock, comma, cerebral hemorrhage, and severe sepsis. She's also suing for, quote, loss of enjoyment of life and, quote, loss of consortium, which means not being able to have sex with her husband. Quote, and I'm, this is a quote from Eric, I can't fuck because of fast food, end quote, is now acceptable for this woman and the Arby's dick melt guy. <laughs> I'm, I'm that sorry. That guy surely can fuck by now, though. He right? has to, right? I mean, in any to. way that he can, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. whatever it takes, <laughs> whatever it takes. I was on board with like the feasibility of, this, of uh -huh. this lawsuit when it's like, oh, it was probably E. coli. And then it just, it kept, just going. kept going. There's no when it get to cerebral hemorrhage. I was like, and maybe, it was, maybe, maybe it's, it's not double cheeseburger. Yeah. Well, yeah, it, it <laughs> sounds maybe like something else happened to you on the way. Like you were Wendy's. you were hanging by a thread and then went to Wendy's and it all came crashing. Well, yeah, it was too. it was really the straw that broke the camel's back. <laughs> Let me ask this too: is it, like it starts with being hospitalized for a month for possible possible? E is it possible all this? Yes. So you don't even know if you had it? Correct. I don't even understand. 
Now, look, we're not sure what you have, but uh-huh. whatever it is, it was probably from Wendy's. Yeah, that's right. That is, <laughs> she was in the hospital for a month with possibly these things from possibly eating a cheeseburger. Yes. And then I also, mean, even what if, other medical reason could there be? And right. then I'm going to be honest with you. Even if that were the case, even if you possibly got all of this, mm-hmm. what? A hundred fifty thousand dollars. That That's going to cover two days in the hospital. I was going to say, what the fuck are you going to do with that? <laughs> yeah. Well, she's call, certainly call not, a lawyer. She's <laughs> not going to pay the hospital back. <laughs> <laughs> Like I'm pretty sure a, a that's a, a person, million dollar hospital mm, stay. A person with this many problems definitely has health insurance. Da- right. and it's probably low. For sure. it's probably yeah. low. So cost. cheap. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, the the idea of suing that's Wendy's crazy. because you possibly had all those afflictions and then you also went. By the way, uh, loss of life and I can't fuck is <laughs> crazy. Yeah. Crazy. I mean, I mean, can't fuck because. Double cheeseburger. There's something wrong uh-huh. with her or can't fuck because I'm in the hospital and I just can't fuck in the hospital. Like, got to make, gotta make up for lost time. Got to right? make up. I mean, hey, yeah. and that's and that's the loss of enjoyment. That's of like, life. can you yeah. sue your employer for loss of fuck while you're driving to work? <laughs> let's just call it. Let's just streamline it. I'm suing for loss of fuck. Can <laughs> we? That's why I work from home. Could we? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> that, hey. These these employees very litigious. Not returning to the office. <laughs> uh, could we sue Wendy's for loss of enjoyment of life because they got rid of the pretzel pub? Oh, well, you couldn't. You gave it a sixty nine. Yeah, that's I true. Could. Yeah, Michael could. Sixty nine. Sixty nine. I also can't. I also can't say loss of consortium with that. Yeah, score. Exactly. <laughs> am I right or am I right? Nice. Hey, look, another lawsuit. <laughs> A Las Vegas woman is suing Wendy's for feeding her glass, period. Possibly. No, it just says there's no possible there. And I'm not saying she's suing for Wendy's feeding her glass something. Uh -uh. She doesn't have something made of glass that they're feeding. Uh -uh. They fed her the glass. The suit alleges, quote, she experienced a tremendous sense of shock and fear as her hamburger was not juicy and tender, as expected, but instead consisted of hard and clear glass-like particles that not only created loud crunching and breaking sounds, but, in fact, these hard and clear glass-like particles actually broke many of Miss Haston's teeth. What the fuck is going on at Wendy's? Did this lady sue for not fucking do? My question, Imagine eating glass! Yeah. My question, That's the last thing you want to be doing. Well... Imagine taking a bite and going, is this glass? And going, I better take a couple more bites just <laughs> to be sure. Keep, I better like, keep mashing all my teeth. Yeah. Hang on. It's and me. Unless, uh-huh. unless, you, unless the thought was, I sense an opportunity here. Let me mash as hard as possible and just sue the crap out of them. It's me picking up the hamburger from Wendy's and going, mm, I can't wait to take a bite of this juicy and tender hamburger <laughs> as I am expecting it to be. Don't. Order the cinnamon sticks. <laughs> <laughs> French bread. If you get the French toast. <laughs> oh! aim, yeah. Aim, Were you expecting it to be juicy and tender? Yeah. And, and, yeah, and instead they it fed me glass. <laughs> um, yeah. Here's the thing, though. Mm-hmm. I will say in in like counter to suing for not fucking. Mm-hmm. You're knocking all our teeth out. You can make something <laughs> easier. I'm just saying, just saying. that could be a like a counter in the claim. Like, <laughs> yes, but I think I think I would, defense, li- I would like to hear Wendy's from your husband, yeah. Your Honor. <laughs> I call Mr. So and so to the stand. Mr. Haston to the stand. <laughs> I love Wendy! I love Wendy! <laughs> You, you, you said knocked all her teeth out and made something easier, and Gracie went, oh, my God. <laughs> I can't believe Wendy's is doing it either, Gracie. It's <laughs> sick. It's running, right? It's because there's more, yeah. there's more she can breathe. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, she can get more air. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. He's all around us. An, investig- an investigation. An investi- Last fact. An investigation is still underway after a South Carolina Wendy's employee started shooting out the drive-through window at a car, then chased the car and continued firing as it sped away. The employee was arrested for aggravated breach of peace and unlawful <laughs> carrying of a firearm, but 
We have to consider how long his shift was, how many hamburgers he made while having a gun on him, and if he brandished it at any of the hamburgers in case I get sick. Just thinking about it making me... <laughs> just thinking about it is making me not want to fuck. <laughs> if he brandished it <laughs> at, at the, any at of the hamburgers. <laughs> they bring it as, like, stress... A stress relief kind of thing where it's like the the, the burger's not right. <laughs> Get it together. What's what's off the paper on that story? What do you mean? Well, so what was what's the follow? Who was he shooting at? <laughs> there was a car come. They came into the drive thru He started shooting at him and then chased him down. I got that part. Yeah. What's the other details? Then the cops came and arrested him. And he wasn't like. He was a guy who just fucking worked there and had a gun on him the whole time. What the fuck is aggravated breach of peace? I don't know. I guess <laughs> it's shooting at someone through a drive through I wouldn't window. call it. Do we need to downplay like, hey, that guy, that guy's a shooter. Hey, that's a derogatory term. Hey, right. he's an aggravated breach of peace. Hey, he had, he was, he what had unlawful it? carrying of a firearm. <laughs> that's fucking crazy. Uh, imagine going to Wendy's and somebody just starts shooting at you through the window and you're just like, I just didn't like the French toast sticks. And then they <laughs> keep fucking yeah, chasing you, you, you down shooting careful, at you man. god damn that's I, that's all it was south it, carolina yep that they, could happen here big they, time <laughs> absolutely it's a real oh, texas yeah, style yeah you could story. you can carry a gun at a wendy's in texas right can you probably I don't know, not. probably i don't know i, I mean, you, I mean you can legally it depends on the store mm -hmm. everywhere everywhere in austin be, it's it's funny because like i never saw them growing up yeah everywhere in austin has like can't bring a gun in here yeah, right and you have to have that sign up mm -hmm. and i go wow would it be great if it just was the rule yeah <laughs> right <laughs> wouldn't it be great if that was implied <laughs> the first time intrinsically I saw, uh, uh uh leave it in your car yeah. <laughs> the first time i saw that sign was in chicago like 10 or 11 years ago and I went that's crazy and then I moved here and I went oh it's here too it's on like Walmart yeah you know uh -huh. like, yeah. Uh, 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 no gun don't take the gun inside they need like a little rhyming mnemonic device that mm -hmm. that's the only way people in Texas really get it you yeah. have to make something right turn around don't drown type shit exactly <laughs> bring and, a gun and, no more fun and in, in oh. Phoenix yeah, yeah dude. it wasn't even just about Wendy's Wendy's was included via pub however that was face jam encapsulated 100 episodes. It makes me wonder what the fact sheet would be like if he tried half as that. Like, <laughs> I hard. wrote it this morning. Like, I so chicken. I thought about what, what, time what, score. What, yeah, one thing I thought of was like, well, Eric won't have to look very far back to know the last time we had <laughs> Glancing at it, this has to be the freebie. best previous date ever. I, well, I, okay. <laughs> Our previous Wendy's episode was released August 29th, 2023, <laughs> where we ate the English muffin sandwiches. It received an average score of 37.5. <laughs> Terrible. Hey, this came out about a week ago. I was so excited because I went, oh, you have to really have to I go search still, this, yeah. Yeah. I still I don't you know, know the specific numbers, but I know I went way lower than Jordan. You did. You were I like, probably it, was like 25. Yeah, you were. Something. You were like 26. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They really pissed me off. Yeah, but those, those, English, English, like like for those English muffins just they were not the, good. The more I think about them, the angrier I get. Gracie picked up the food. Okay. <laughs> yeah, at whose behest? Yeah. Come on now. This <laughs> that's just that's just flailing wildly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm, well, yeah, I'm taking you're, swings, baby. You're, you're with Nick. Like, the <laughs> third, third fries yeah, situation. The third fries? That was um. <laughs> Why did you get him third fries? <laughs> most of the comments, most of the comments were either about about. How to spell Gracie's name? Uh -huh. That we didn't eat the yes. nacho sandwich, mm -hmm. or how soft the English muffin looked. Yo, oh, yeah, yeah. And now, like and then when you're so. right. Yeah, it's it was no, so soft. No nooks, no crannies. None. Yeah. Neither, hey, neither a eat, nook nor cranny. You eat with no. your eyes first. Yep. You know, and Sad. people could just tell. What if you eat with your eyes only, first and last? Just kind of open right up. A little and, crunchies. Yeah. We'll do a little. I don't know that the. This. I don't know the pieces of corn would fit in there, Jordan. Oh, that would be unpleasant. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Weirdest thing to have on a hamburger. Anyway, go ahead. Quick updates. Yep. This is a new section to oh, the fact okay. sheet. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this, not, is episode, this is episode no, 100. Fact. That's a fact. Oh. Wendy's discontinued the pretzel pub. Mm -hmm. That one woman is still in the hospital and still can't fuck. Sad. <laughs> She's still in the hospital from something? Yep. What could be anything from anything? Potentially E. coli or litany of other things. Did she Potentially go back? anything. No, she was. Uh, she's she there. just hasn't left. Yep. Uh huh. Do you think that's it's only been a week? <laughs> do you think that's going to strengthen her case? Or she's like, if I the more the longer I'm here, the more credible it'll be. I think that's or, definitely. Yeah. I think that's definitely what she's thinking. Classic dumb guy logic. If I if I'm in the hospital, 
longer. That means I'm sicker and everyone has to believe me. And I'll get so much attention. Uh, <laughs> That's all this is. Oh, the, 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 the newspaper wrote about me. Oh, I don't have E. coli. I meant um, Dude, it's an intestine. She's not uh, bragging about the newspaper. She's bragging about, about two yep. episodes in a row. Whoa. This lady's face jam. Uh, She's tradition like, now. She's, she's up there she's, like RV stick melt guy. Tradition. Yeah, and Ariel. Well, she's down at the bottom of the stairs, if I recall. <laughs> isn't, that what, isn't that what we decided? What was that like? Didn't she fall down the stairs? 75 episodes ago. Probably, that was like, it was like within the first yep. 10, I yep. think. <laughs> Truly. It's a very different show. I <laughs> hope she's okay. It doesn't sound that different, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? Oh, you, before that, maybe. Maybe yeah. the first five. Yeah, the first. Yeah. If you listen, gotcha. to the first one, listen to the first episode, weird one. Gotcha. Really weird one. Really about the food. Face Jam Unfuckable is what Nick has written. <laughs> hang on. I, hang on. I, I wasn't sure that real sure what that means. I wasn't, How long was that up there? I wasn't looking up, and so I Got thought it. that was one continuous thought that he had <laughs> when he was talking about <laughs> the listen show. To the first episode. Listen to the Face first Jam episode. Unfuckable. Totally different. Face Jam Unfuckable. And I was about to go, what does that yeah. mean? And then I. <laughs> <laughs> Do we call it the Michael Jordan podcast in the first one? No, we did that in the pilot. That's why, like, yeah. like yeah. I don't even think no, it wasn't. I consider the pilot station. episode one, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is, mm -hmm. but it's not. Is that on? It's is like a, that it's, on like the RSS feed. And it's shit? up there, but it's totally different. Like the well, we definitely weird call it though, the Michael Jordan, Jordan podcast. podcast. Yeah, yeah, As dude. Remember been. that? Remember we had to make our own logo. Oh yeah, because like the show well, was coming well, out I mean, and we logos didn't have to, were. But you did, yeah. <laughs> you were like, I'll make this. logos uh -huh. were not getting made. No, nope. well, podcasts <laughs> were not getting made, looks, so we just had to do something. Why it looks so bad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you know, if you make something bad enough, that really wakes up. Uh, oh yeah, the people oh, who, who once need to you fix start it, hanging and they start flags. People start paying attention. Well, when, yeah, when you start... Where is our flag? <laughs> is, hey, is episode 100 a good time to reveal our flag? No. Uh, no, it's not. Anyway, next fact. No, it's like not <laughs> revealing it. It makes it sound way worse. <laughs> yeah. It's true. <laughs> Third fact. A class action lawsuit against Burger King over the size of its advertised Whopper is able to go ahead after a judge refused to throw out the case. With this ruling, every fast food restaurant, including Wendy's, may be pulled into a class action suit and could be forced to advertise what they actually serve, which, judging by the look of what we ate today, is going to cost them fucking billions. <laughs> imagine uh, if what, true. Imagine if Jordan's burger was the thing they had to advertise with. Yeah, they're just like, just don't fuck it up. Here's like, the we, thing, gotta, we get one picture, we uh, get one shot at this, and then the bun just slides off. It's like, oh, uh, we gotta put this everywhere yeah. now. I feel like you'd lose some Jordans, but you wouldn't lose a lot of Michaels. No, 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 you no. You know no, what I mean? No. But but the thing but you'd is, lose, you'd lose some for sure. Yeah. They don't want to lose the Jordans, though, because that's all they're gripping onto, because the Michaels are coming no matter what. Right. I mean, they can't, uh, and I'll they tell can't you, keep me away. I'll tell you, with Wendy's, the Jordans are going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I go to Wendy's like. That's true. You know, every other week. That's uh -huh. true. A Wendy's Jordan loss is much heavier than say yeah. like another more because I always slop a dilly restaurant. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. This isn't your this isn't your grandpa's slop fest. <laughs> you know? This is more refined slop fest, which is why like <laughs> seeing the picture of this burger made me question whether or not I still like Wendy's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I was like Wendy's, you're like you're supposed to be a little bit like above this. Little, why are you higher, going? Right? Why yeah. are you going slop fest? Uh, uh, yeah, Wendy's, I don't think slop. Yeah. Except with this their slop beneath, fries. This seems beneath them. Except their slop fries, mm -hmm. but I'll give you that. Even then, they put their slop fries in a plastic container. It's a with nice a lid. little container. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. that's like about as contained as a slop like that can be. Mm -hmm. the, the thing I think about having to advertise what you actually sell, which they should be doing, is that it, it affects a whole industry of commercial yeah. like advertisers who hire companies that do like. Crazy tricky shit. Yeah, they like put gloss on the food yeah. and like uh, other things that like just make the the cheese look different mm -hmm. as you do the cheese pull and stuff. Yeah. But I also think that they should absolutely be advertising what they're selling. Yeah, because if people, I think it will finally affect people in the right way where they'll stop going to Burger King because well, they'll go, yeah, man, I think I want to eat Burger King. And they'll see a commercial where the guy's going Whopper, Whopper, you know Whopper, say, but it's actually yeah. a Whopper. And they go, these Whoppers are so sad. Oh, I don't if, think I want that. If this wasn't, it was so early in the fact, I didn't want to, mm -hmm. I didn't want to go off track and not be able to pull it back. But yeah. when I got to the part where 
uh, you wrote that a judge refused to throw out the case. Yeah. I was going to say something, but he did throw out his Burger King. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and he he, well, he encourages he realized, you to do the same. Yeah, he realized the Whopper wasn't He doesn't have big. legal authority to make you do it, but mm-hmm. it is the right decision to throw your trash Burger King <laughs> in the fucking I, garbage. I do want to point out that we also are operating under the correct assumption that holding them accountable in this way yeah. doesn't mean they will make the food look better no. to meet the, the standards right. of the advertising. They re- they'll just go, They oh, won't no. have to lower the standard of the advertising. That, that's all it'll because be. They yeah, will they're not, not going to change. They will not be trying harder. No, no, no. 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 Uh, Why would they? I, I Why really would like, they? The Michaels are still coming. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the uh, the thing I liked about this court case was Burger King tried to get it uh, thrown out. So it's a, uh, one guy just went like, this isn't what the fuck the Whopper looks like. And, and he's suing mm-hmm. them. Burger King went, well, Americans know that what's being advertised and what they receive. What? Like, they're not expecting that. And then the judge went, we'll let a jury of Americans let us know what Americans think. Yeah. And uh, Burger King went, fuck. (laughs) (laughs) It's uh, it's going to be bad. I think it's it's, it's going to affect like an industry. It's going to be a thing in 10 years where we talk about it and we go, remember how commercials used to look? There's going to be a... um, a Vox media oh, yeah. yep. video about like uh, ten. Why do <laughs> why do adver- uh, fast food advertisements look like this? Yeah. Well, ten years ago mm-hmm. there was like like it's gonna be weird. Yeah. But that's why the spung monkeys can do whatever they want because you don't. I don't even know what a Quiznos sandwich hey, looks like. They, but in my head yeah. it's fine. Those spung monkeys are yeah. as advertised. Yep. Absolutely. I know what the fuck they are. <laughs> now this is this could be bad news for any fast food chain, mm-hmm. but man. It's Burger King. Yeah, Burger King's yeah. Put Burger- me on that yeah. jury. Because here's the thing. <laughs> Send me jury duty. <laughs> I, think, I will I, make them pay. I think Taco Bell's also in trouble. I think, I think it, their shit's so small and ugly. That yeah. Taco Bell is fucking heinous. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, for I, think, sure. I think McDonald's is going to skate because it mm-hmm. doesn't matter. Like, as long McDonald's as... McDonald's can do a pretty good job, though. If you yeah. put like, a, like, a Mac lot of down, times McDonald's gives you food that looks like shit, mm-hmm. but they can make it... You can make yeah. a Big Mac look pretty close to yeah. a Big Mac. Yep. Yeah. They kind of thought it... They kind of future-proofed yep. on that shit. Yeah. And I feel like... And, and in, in, like they do all the... Uh, every time, they're ahead of Burger King in yep. that regard. They will be fine. Burger King will suffer. Again, the fact that it's McDonald's and McDonald's and someone's suing Burger King. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Why is there McDonald's? <laughs> It's like, on us. it's like some motherfucker in Mario Kart is just fucking up the guy in third place, and you're like, asshole! Get a fucking blue shell! This guy is, you're just helping him! <laughs> They're getting away! <laughs> <laughs> That's burger. Uh, who, else do you, who, who else do you think is going to be fi- I think Popeyes will probably be fine. Oh, yeah, Popeyes their, will be fine. I mean, chicken's, chicken's hard, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Just like straight chicken. If you just fry it, so it's dark okay. and crispy, yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. KFC will be fine, I think, and... Um, I mean, maybe not Ar- Arby's. Honestly, they will be fine. I, yeah, I think mostly because they're, 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 just, they're just way flatter than I think about. I guess like, that's true. It's like, very flat. All their photos are like the meats are piled up. Yeah, high. yeah, and it's definitely and like, not. You, yeah, at least you get a pile of meat though. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a Burger King frequenter, but. I do think Taco Bell's probably the worst hands. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Here's the thing. It's I like true. Taco Bell's food way better than Burger King. Mm-hmm. But I mean, it it looks like shit and is like 30% less. Yeah. 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 Or, or like uh, 30% of what the picture is. How it's often, microscopic. How often are you looking at what you're eating from Taco Bell before you're just fucking <laughs> covering it in sauce and scarfing it down? Yeah. I don't look I don't look at the potato soft taco. It's gone in two bites. Like that, that's it. I try to cover it up anyway. I don't even want. It. I don't even, couldn't even know if I wanted to because it's loaded with fucking extra cheese and sour cream. Hell so yeah! I can't even yeah. see what's under That's there. It. That's, That's probably it right something there. in there. Supreme style. Yep. Well, no tomatoes. Oh, oh. Sorry. there you go. Michael was also very adamant about removing the yes. tomato on this burger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but I didn't. I, I wasn't going to go through the problem. We were looking. Of, like, we were getting, looking at like, that like, big picture. Mm-hmm. We were looking at that big picture uh-huh. and talking about what a mess it's going to be. And you went. I'm gonna have to take that tomato off too. The whole thing's gonna fall apart. Yep. Yeah, and I was like, all that whatever that sauce shit that's all over that picture is coming off with the tomato, and it did. <laughs> I kind of wiped a little bit back on, but look, we're ordering four chicken sandwiches, an extra burger, maybe secret fries. I'm not gonna go changing it <laughs> by adding or removing toppings, but I will pick them off myself. I can't yeah. wait for the end of this episode when the secret fries come out and <laughs> yeah. <Nick is> justified. <laughs> it's gonna be so. And mad. fucking Nick bought them. Yeah, <laughs> and he was like, I thought hey, you were on hey, to me. You pull them out of his pocket. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, I saw you buying something, so I bought something. <laughs> I, I self-prophesized the fries that I bought. And <laughs> yeah, now he's thinking. Yeah. All right, right that was a fun is. detour in the Let's middle of the All right. Down, yeah. In Topeka, Kansas, yesterday. Whoa. 
That's not the location. That's the time. Yep. A semi truck jumped the curb and got stuck in a Wendy's drive through. This is what qualifies for news in Kansas and what qualifies for Wendy's news for Face Jam when we do the same restaurant <laughs> twice in a row. <laughs> Dude, did you see that headline and just go, finally, something? Oh, I, it was. <laughs> It was on the like the third page of news. I I I went deep trying to find anything that was interesting, and it was like semi truck uh, tried to go through the drive through, jump the curb, an oasis, <laughs> and it was just like I, there was a picture, and then it was an article that said semi uh, semi truck jumped the curb at the Wendy's, and then you scroll down, and it said we asked why and what happened. Don't know yet. More news to come, and it was like I. Breaking news, turns out they was hungry, yeah. but too big. <laughs> There's the story. That's um, all it was. Would you believe that something like this happened to me very recently? What? Not in the truck, but it oh. caused a Wendy's-related problem what? for me. What happened? So I was trying to go to the Wendy's on airport that's there by the 290... Oh, yeah. Um, There's this airport boulevard, not at an airport. Yeah, just yeah. airport people. boulevard. Next to Panda um, Express. Yep. And so there's a there's a highway that ends like right there, and it like all these lanes converge, and an uh, an overpass kind of ends. And there's also a car dealership right there across mm. the street. And I guess one of those big trucks that like haul all the cars was coming out of there and fucked up somehow and ended up blocking every no. lane. People couldn't get off the freeway. People couldn't go down Koenig. Um, and so everyone was being diverted into the Wendy's Panda no Express way. parking lot. So when I drive up from the other direction, uh -huh. and I'm like, I'm going to go into Wendy's. And then <laughs> here and comes then I, a Jordan. And then I'm into Wendy's. <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> and all these cars, all these cars are in in the in the parking lot. Like, Jordan's going, look at all these Michaels. <laughs> <laughs> that's a little weird. That's a little weird. It's like it's past the lunch rush a little bit. Um, I don't know why everyone's leaving the Wendy's. They must and, really want these English muffins. And then I couldn't even oh, like, yeah. I couldn't even like, I was like, I cannot eat at this one. Yeah. Um, I need to get out of here, but I couldn't go out of like on right, Katig because right. that's where the truck was. That's where I saw it. So then I had to back out and I was like, I really want Wendy's though. Like, <laughs> what am I going to do? And then I was like, oh, there's one. There's one down the street, so you just go down airport to the one at the Hancock. You Center. went to the one that we went to, yeah, and I went to that one instead. <laughs> that was really that's a Jordan. I mean, like he was determined to get that Wendy's. Yeah, I like that. I mean, what'd yeah. you get? Spicy chicken. Yeah, oh. hell yeah. And they got a freestyle there, and they were out of vanilla Coke, so I tried peach Sprite. What was that? What the fuck? It was pretty there. good, actually. Oh. Really? Yeah. Oh, weird. It was so orange, though, yeah. like unsettlingly orange. My wife ordered McDonald's this morning, and they didn't. She have, had a breakfast order. A giant. She'd Coke she, or what was she it? ordered? It was uh, it's a large Coke, her sausage biscuit, and a uh, hash brown. Uh, the she was getting it delivered. Uh, McDonald's they'll, they'll to always, my home, yeah. and the person like messaged and went like, "Their soda doesn't work for you." Well, she, wait, wait, she went, what is that and, she, and she read it out loud, and I just went. Like you specifically? Yeah, <laughs> they knew who it was. It's like we're <laughs> no, done. no, no. We're not. We're, we're not done. doing this anymore. <laughs> they did. They did the, the Ken thing from the Barbie movie. Yep. Where they were just like, nope. nope. <laughs> <laughs> so they sent her an orange juice, thing. and she's like, "Wow, that's not a replacement oh, for no." Does she have heartburn? No. <laughs> I told her to save <laughs> it for to. when we weren't feeling good later. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's got calcium. So sad. I should have told her to get peach sprite. What? So so. Now again, uh -huh. none of the soda worked. None. You don't okay because you don't replace soda with an orange. No, juice. no. I think it, the yeah. orange juice was a, just a separate thing, and because yeah. they also didn't have it coffee. I told when she was tea? no when she would wow because I ordered. They're all different machines. Yeah. When she gets curious, when she gets McDonald's like that, <laughs> I'll just tell her like, give me like a large coffee because I can just drink McDonald's coffee black and it just kind of like keeps mm -hmm. me going. They didn't uh -huh. even get the coffee. Like they're, they're I think they were just out of. Liquids. Wet. They're yeah. all wet. Yeah, unless Dang. they wanted to make the coffee with orange juice, which they shouldn't. Could you? You shouldn't. We I should try. Um... <laughs> hey, if you can dip a vanilla Oreo in root beer. Face your pot at roosterteeth.com. Let us know if we're food court. <laughs> hey, right before we ate Wendy's, I had oatmeal with chocolate milk. Ooh. Did you really? We didn't have milk. That's a food court. Well, that's what I ate. How was it? How'd that turn out? It was fine. Would you email a podcast about it? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. I Here's the other problem, too. Because it was chocolate milk, I didn't want to overdo it. I underdid it. 
Oh no! And so I was eating so you just oatmeal. Had the thick as <laughs> it was it was thick enough, but then like I could really kinda... tell it wasn't enough liquid because yeah. when I got to the bottom, it wasn't no. chocolate colored. Oh, no. It was still like dry oatmeal. <laughs> well, you could have mixed that with some brown sugar and just well, then, eaten it like trail mix. Well, then I added water. Oh, we're crossing oh, the go. streams, guys. Yeah, we're crossing yeah, the we're streams. Really... It wasn't nearly as heinous as you'd think. Yeah, it was just you know chocolate milk. Mm -hmm. But as I poured it in, because there was no regular milk in the fridge, I was like, oh, it was oat milk. Oat milk uh, probably would have went good with oat, oatmeal. Oat milk probably would have worked pretty good. <laughs> as it was, that is what it came from. Milk. Yeah. But I was like, I got to suck this down fast yeah. before I get my extra food from Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't eaten all day, wink. <laughs> oh, you'll notice I didn't say that. No, nope, didn't say it. I assumed that's what happened. Was apparently was not the case. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, last fact. Oh, there's more. Uh -huh. Why yeah, didn't we're you still... wait? Yours was so good. This is going to be a piece of shit. What do you mean? Sorry. His fact was awesome. <laughs> it, was, your, it was a very good Your fact. last one was a truck got stuck at the drive-thru, <laughs> and then he told a way better story that happened to him in real life, yep. uh -huh. and now we're going back These to These are your the order fact. in which they were procured, unfortunately. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> fact. All right. One more fact. The final fact. We're going all the way to Jupiter. Uh, a Florida man Jupiter, from Jupiter. A Jupiter, Florida man. <laughs> a man from Jupiter, okay. now residing in Florida. Could be Ron DeSantis. <laughs> was arrested this week for exposing himself to two teenagers inside a Wendy's. Whoa. The same man was kicked out of the same Wendy's a year prior and told he could not enter unless he was wearing pants. Reports say that even though he was in Jupiter, he was just trying to show everyone Uranus. Boo. Or Uranus. 100 episodes. 100 Wait, episodes. Remember when I said yours should have been live? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, he was wrong. Would you believe it? Something like this. <laughs> Whoa. So Jordan was in the Wendy's. So after he got there, he kept saying, Jupiter's here. Jupiter's here. <laughs> no. Our previous episode of Quiznos episode. <laughs> was released August 18th, 2020, wow. where we ate the Cubano sandwich. Oh, yes. It received an average score of 47.5. That tracks. That score sounds good. I can't believe it was August. Yeah. When did we start doing car episodes? I think right around there or later. We didn't do maybe, it until after that? Maybe it was an outlier. Yeah. Maybe we, yeah, maybe we did, because we did start car episodes and a couple not doing the car. Mm -hmm. Like, I remember. Yeah, it was a back and forth thing. Because yeah. yeah. I really hated those. Yeah. And we're like, look, the car sucks, but this really sucks. Yeah. The Man. car sucked in setup. Once we got but there, once we got it was there, great. It was, yeah, it was a lot of fun. We all took guesses yeah. to when the last Quiznos episode yeah. was, and I said May of 2020. And so. I, think, I think Nick said June, and then Michael just said 2020. So Michael was right. Yeah. <laughs> I was the least wrong. Yeah, absolutely. I should have just said time. Yep. Uh, for, <laughs> for the time, 47.5 on a Cubano. All right. That must have been a really bad Cubano. I think it was just Quiznos. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It was a really good Quiznos. Yeah. <laughs> we are eating at Quiznos because they brought back the Spung Monkeys. Make no mistake that this marketing effort worked <laughs> on us. And we're letting them know. Thinking about opening a Quiznos 2 and making a commercial where the Spung Monkeys and Sauce Monkey do something together, something twisted. Maybe with the two hot guys from Sonic Burger. Whoa. That's, that's a marketing campaign. Bring all of them Every in. Every time you say Spung Monkey, it just sounds like spunk. <laughs> it does. I mean, that's it just... It sounds gross, yeah. but it's okay. They look gross. I want to yeah, say They look like monkey. things that would be spunking all over yeah. the place. <laughs> we, uh... So Get we got... Them under control. Sniffing it. They'd when spunk I spunk on each other and sniff each other. <laughs> When I think of Spung Monkeys now, it was showing them to Gracie for the first time and her going, what the <laughs> fuck is this? And we got her the sub and she started eating it and went, I'm going to go see who else wants to eat. <laughs> yeah. And you know who fucking wanted it and got it? Cat. Cat. So before he loved the spunk. That's what he wrote. Okay. He's oh. dancing. Oh. Christ. Don't she mentioned that. that she loves Quiznos. So because they have all of <laughs> We recorded a thing that maybe we'll put out as like a separate piece or whatever. But when you were out and getting ready we grabbed cat and sat her down to get her take on the sandwich when was this when you were running around when you had a phone call oh. and then uh i was like getting ready i assure you i did not prepare for this no. anyway <laughs> because <laughs> for she, some reason he was trying to be nice yeah, you're getting ready was it me yep <laughs> she messaged i know you're lying <laughs> So Gracie gave Cat her sandwich because okay. we said Cat fucking loves Quiznos, and and she yelled it. Yeah, as we yeah. walked she by, was yeah. screaming That's how we knew. about screaming about Quiznos. So Cat got it and then took two bites and sent me a Slack message that said, 
what kind of meat is this supposed to be? Yeah, I had the same question. <laughs> she kept saying Euro meat. I went, what's Euro meat? So we grabbed Cat. I think maybe we'll put it out later this week, but we uh, we just sat down with Cat to get her honest impressions of this Quizno sandwich and how she was not thrilled with it. It was really funny. Yeah. And she also tried a tater tot and was not impressed either. No. Cat wasn't thrilled with it? No. But she loves Quiznos. Yes. This is, this is quality this is Quiznos. Quiznos. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we said. Yeah. You take a bite and go, what? Do you love? (laughs) And don't tell me what they did wrong, because this is what they do every time. She said when she was explaining to us when we were out, uh, when we first got back from the restaurant, she was explaining that the first time she tried Quiznos, it was a sample of Barton Creek Mall, and they had black olives on their sandwich, and that clinched it for her. That really made the difference. What the fuck are you talking about? (laughs) Black olives? What? Was she like 10? Is this yeah, the first time uh, she I mean, had? Yeah, probably. I was, I was saying over. this before we started, but it really like genuinely surprises me how many freaks this show attracted yes. of people that are here naturally, yeah. like unrelated to Face In Jam. different ways. Yeah, because and, and seem normal otherwise. Yes. We, we started the show and it was very much like Michael's a slob and Jordan is not. And uh-huh. that was basically the show. Yeah. And then Eric's wormed his way in after, uh-huh. you know, two mm-hmm. episodes. <laughs> and he's sort of the, well, it's nice because as Jordan and I leveled out, we had a we had a, a common foe yeah. right. that we can attack. <laughs> it really great. worked out in and the longevity then, of the coming show. coming out of left field was Nick being an actual freak. Like, yeah. a, like legitimate. And I think we we're talking about it because he had mentioned that he forgot to put the sauce in his backpack. Yes. Right. And I'm like, me being like a fast food freak, that's real. Uh-huh. But in the sense of like, I'll go at 2 a.m. I'll go at 3 a.m. Whatever. Uh-huh. I just kind of go and I eat it and I move on. And I know about the place. I know about the menu. Yeah. This guy is like an encyclopedia with just like locations and sauces and flavors. Bringing his own syrups. Like it's an actual, it's, it's like if we knew that, like he should have started a show. Wouldn't yeah. be this show? I don't know what the hell <laughs> yeah. it would be. Yeah, yeah. It'd be but much more food positive. It's I so think. it's just so insane to me that it's only the four of us. Uh-huh. And he was kind of like, "Oh, I know everything you're talking about." Yeah, yeah. Like, wait, wait, <laughs> right? what? Like, how did we get? Huh? How did we luck out? And then, and then we, and then we have um, Kat and Gracie, you know, come through both when they they were interns. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was like, I was like, Kat. Cat's more, it, it just like my perspective, is more like normal. Like, ah, mm-hmm. uh, you guys are old. Yeah. I'm here. Yeah, I'm yeah. in college. I don't know. Does she need credit or something? <laughs> is that how that works? I don't know. She's uh-huh. like, I really need this A. Mm-hmm. I'll be whatever. If she wants to be in my show, yeah, I'll hop on mic. Gracie's a lot more just kind of like, she'll be here and say nothing. She's very quiet. Like, way more so uh-huh. than Kat says nothing. And then she'll chime in and she's just as much of a freak <laughs> as Nick. Where I'm like, how, you? <laughs> Wait, this is crazy. It's, it's, two, it's Gracie? nothing, it's nothing, nothing, nothing. What if you dipped an Oreo in root beer? And it's like, what? And, like, and, what? and, and not like, I'm just going to throw it out there, but like, and I'm going to fight for it. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm going right. to defend this. I'm going to make it happen. Yep. She was so excited to do so, that too. And oh so we gosh. just saw, you know, the we just saw that natural interaction of like leaving the kitchen with Kat yelling about yep. black olives, yeah. coming to Gracie. And she's like, I'm gonna go see if I can hand this out. And we're, and we're all like, go to Kat. Yeah. Take it to Kat. <laughs> and I'm just like, what are the odds of that? <laughs> like, there's that's only between six people. Insane. Right. Yeah. Six people. Most people that roll through here should be like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Sit there and say nothing. <laughs> but it's also like, I don't know if it was just today, but we got so many like looky loos as we were eating the food. It's like you guys got you guys got quiz. Dude, there are a lot of people yeah, going. Quiz- oh, I like quiz. Who likes quiz? Who? That's Who? why they're all closed. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> eats there. No one goes. You guys stopped going. We never went. We, you yeah. guys stopped going. Yeah. Jesus Christ. We talked about in the ride along where it's like. Uh, it's just comfort that I know Quiznos is out there. I'll never go there, <laughs> but it needs blankie. to be open. Yeah, yeah, it's just fast food location hoarding. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I'll never go, but I, it makes me feel good that it exists. Yep. <laughs> on, on to the next fact. Between our previous Quiznos episode and today, the original location in Denver has closed due to unpaid taxes, bringing to the end a long legacy of sandwiches in Colorado. And here we thought they loved the subs, but instead they love the tax fraud. SMDH. <laughs> Shaking my damn head. <laughs> How do you, how do you, I don't know. How do you as like a business not pay your taxes? I mean, I guess easily. Yeah, I, right, right, yeah, yeah. you kind of just yeah, don't, Yeah, I guess. you just, you know, all the money, you I just don't know. keep it. It's just like, so much of that stuff's automatic. Yep. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Right, Like, yeah. Like, you can like hide money from taxes, yeah. right? Like you make money on the side mm-hmm. or quote unquote under the table. Mm-hmm. I just, I don't understand how you're a business open to the I public. I don't get it. Like, your ass is being tracked. Yep. Right. They I mean, know I know how you didn't. You just chose yeah. not yeah. to pay yeah, your yeah, taxes, right. but they're going to get you. Yep. Yeah. They know. 
didn't. They just don't tell you. Isn't that what? Oh no, that it wasn't. Was it taxes? Is that what happened to Frank? Franks? What happened with them? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they also paid the taxes. Pay their yeah. Taxes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was always saying. Frank's kind of like the Quiznos of paying your taxes. No, but they had good food. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, the the original one is closed now in Denver, and that only happened earlier this year. They went. That's enough. Also, of you all the what? reasons, oh, well. of yep. all the reasons for Quiznos to close, that's Tax, it. Right? Tax Not because right. it's Quiznos yep. and no one eats there. <laughs> Did you know that in 2005, Quiznos opened a gym called One Two Three Fitness that nobody oh, went to. Neither did we. It closed in 2008, and we can hardly find any information about it having existed. If you were a 123 Fitness member, let us know so we can make fun of you Spung Monkey style. <laughs> You're working out! <laughs> <laughs> they closed, they opened and closed the gym because Jared Fogle. Oh. That is why they opened the gym. Oh, because they went, oh, we have to get, oh. they went, we, we have to get, get like, oh, it's healthy. People. It's healthy. Well, the the food is not. What does that mean? So yeah. yeah. So they open it. It doesn't make any fucking. Why is you, it called one two three? I don't know. I That's don't. Know. Such a the dumb the name. thing that it offered apparently was like thirty minute workout classes, which and is then like wash it down with Quiznos. Yeah, or, it, which like, is like fine. But when you think about it, like the reason was oh we got to get healthy the Jared the health craze whatever. Jared ate Subway right. and did this walk or whatever, right. and that's how he lost all the weight. I don't understand how opening a gym equates to that. Yeah, that makes no whatsoever. sense at all. And you have no success examples. Well, they know? they knew that they couldn't do it with their food. They couldn't have oh, a yeah. similar story. So yeah. they're like, I don't know. Let's just start a gym and tell no one it's by <laughs> Quiznos and we'll just get health nuts money that way. Insane. Do you think after that fell through, they're like, ah, what's Jared doing next? Let's copy that. Do you think they did that? Yeah, that's, what the, that's why the Spung Monkeys have been gone for, yeah. I think... I, I would, they, well, the spunk monkeys they haven't been gone. They've been incarcerated. Yeah, the, yeah. the spunk monkeys were gone for 14 years, but nine with good behavior. Yeah, and they got beat up a couple times. <laughs> That's why they look like that. they got jumped. Yeah, but you, what you can't see there's one with a pirate hat under that. It's swastikas. He's Aryan. Oh, it's no. fucked. He didn't have a choice. Eastern Promises style he, shit, man. It's yeah. bad. It's not good. He just had to get through it. Yeah. Spung Monkey's not good, man. I feel like I feel like Euro meat is something that's probably traded inside prison. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. You know? Like, yeah. You, you, keep it on, you keep it under your mattress. It's like this thin, thin meat that you're, yeah. like, handing around. Right. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's, it's like, I'll trade you three Euro meats for a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> you can hide it. <laughs> Nick got Nick excited. Yeah, he's yeah. coming over. <laughs> Nick's no, got all the Euro meat. Nick doesn't know which one to trade. Yeah. Oh my God! Jesus Christ! Do you think the spunk monkeys in Woodstock are hanging out now? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they, are, they are now. Yeah, yeah now. Absolutely. Who, who, who do you think brought him into the fold? <laughs> He's in the back seat of the car smoking a cigarette. The final fact: we call it the factening. Mm -hmm. In its attempt to revitalize, Quiznos recently opened a dual branded shop in Florida with Taco Del Mar, a seemingly Baja style but lightly weed themed Mexican food <laughs> restaurant that sells hard shell fish. Tacos. Worst so come egg? on down to Florida, grab a sub sandwich on a tostada, and burn your favorite book, The Sunshine State. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody wants to go back. <laughs> everybody wants to go sweating their ass off in Florida to burn books. I'd never heard of Taco Del Mar. Neither have I. It is. I had to go to the website. I'm like, what the fuck is this? There were none in Florida until they did this. They have a Dual shop where it is the deep fryer and the flat top for uh, Quiznos, uh -huh. but they also have the Taco Del Mar stuff. Hard shell fish tacos and stuff. That sounds like the worst way to eat a fish taco. It's, yes. It's Baja. They keep saying it's Baja style. And then it is like, go to the menu. Burrito. Roll one up. Whoa. Bull. bull pack a bull. Oh, and shit. Like, this is. Cereal. What is this? Well, this Does it is, say Mon? Does it say Mon on the menu? I don't think it did. I'll have to dig around a little bit more. It might um, uh, really fucking something. <laughs> to be weed themed now? Right? I mean, like, at all. In general, yeah, but now? yeah. But also to not have it like in your name, but just to be like, right. burrito, roll it up. That's like the yeah, lamest that's fucking do. thing in the world. They don't even like make some sort of play on it with like Baja style. 
high taste. Yeah, right. Or yeah, something yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You no, know? no, they just they just say like get a hard shell shrimp taco. We also <laughs> live in a Disgusting. world now where you could ju- you could just sell that if you want, right? Yeah, like yeah. you could you could incorporate maybe not marijuana in, in your food. Is it not legal in Florida? I don't Probably know. I could not. see them being backwards well, now enough. at least. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's, like it's legal in Disney World, but you know that's because it's its own entity. <laughs> I, it, it really like I I feel like with the the natural progression of like legalized marijuana, even where it's not legal, mm-hmm. but like as a country, you've kind of erased that entire like. Oh yeah, and there's weird, yeah, uh-huh. like yeah. it just kind of like, falls. Nudge, nudge. It's like oh, it's it's like oh yeah, everyone I know smokes weed yeah. like all the time because they just buy it. Yeah, right. Like, like, that's your reaction of like the whole like we're a weed store. Like yeah, unless you're no actually longer, selling weed, but it's, it's like it's like a whatever. It's d- get some dank tacos. Yeah, yeah it's that's no exactly longer right. like and that's, just that's like it. yeah. Someone could just walk in. Do you run their marketing? Yeah, no shit. It's no longer this underground subculture thing that you can wink, wink, nudge, nudge people. You know? uh, it is it is illegal in Florida to uh, smoke recreational weed. Also, why doesn't Quiznos call itself like a subculture? Wouldn't that seem like a cool like that's like it's 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 better than toasty. What are they, is that what they have right now? It says mm, toasty. I what? think they're live, still doing it that. Says, live toasty, eat toasty. What does live toasty mean? I don't fucking Explain know. Explain it to me, Quiznos. Is that like rolling a rolling a burrito and packing a bowl? Living fucking yeah. toasty? That sucks. Anyway, those are the facts. Do you guys feel like you learned a lot? I hate Quiznos. What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the more I learned about them, the more I hate them. So we had to drive 20 minutes. Yeah, hey, I hated that too. To go to a Quiznos, which is not worth it. <laughs> uh, we drove down a road where a woman drove the wrong way last time we drove on that yeah, road. Yeah, that was where the Dickies barbecue was. Which, again, and if you watch this ride along. block of cheese. Uh, N- Nick was like, yo, Dickies. It's got all the cheese. And we were like, Jesus fucking Christ. Dude. Jesus. Guys. Jesus. It was. Okay. Um, what we- He's about to get a sinus infection. We're so insane. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, my, my bottom teeth hurt. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> no. That's uh, weird. Um, I don't know if you have sinuses down there. Hey, what, what we can't talk about that's not the sandwich. These tater tots. Did you know yeah. that? Did you know that Quiznos has tater tots? I don't know. I've no. ever eaten a tater top that's softer on the outside than the inside. <laughs> <laughs> like it's true. <laughs> wow. And it's the true. inside was soft. <laughs> In fact, it's a marvel of science. Um, <laughs> Culinary science. We ate the tater tots. They were regular tater tots. And then um, we also got the loaded tater tots. Yeah, Nick was thrilled. Nick was eating them with his fucking hands. And he ate his whole sandwich. Oh, it's a foot long. We found out that Nick ate his whole sandwich. Yeah. Does he was hungry? Was does hungry. that does that taste like something you want to eat the whole thing of in one sitting? No. Right. Grant, granted, I, my my appetite is a little suppressed right now mm-hmm. because of my sinus right. infection. Yeah, the yeah. As a normal person, I'll also say no. Oh. <laughs> sinus infection aside, I do oh. not think I would have eaten that. <laughs> yeah. No. I I've been and you can tell even a little bit hungry because I've been eating the you, bread. You've been <laughs> and you know what we were talking about this. Yeah. The bread doesn't taste like anything until you eat it by itself, and then you go. Oh, a little bit cheesy. Also, normally, this would be a crime mm-hmm. to, like, pick off the bread because you've, you've ruined the sandwich. Yes. Yeah, the yeah. sandwich is uneatable now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing that intentionally. Uh-huh. Right. This is saving someone. Yeah. yeah. yeah at, least, at least you're eating the bread. Yeah. Um, at least something's getting done What here. did you think of the tots, George? Opened more dishes. Oh, my God. All right. Are we ready to learn a little bit about Fazoli's? I don't know. We're only 22 minutes into the episode. What else is there to learn? Yeah. What it, do you mean? It, it, it says it right there. Other... Fazoli's facts. Dude, I don't remember this. And then it the says. The last one was not good. Yeah. <laughs> we got to make numbers. Right. Yeah. It says Fazoli's. All right. It does say it facts. Does, it also. It, it also. I can't also wait until the next top, episode when so it you know, also says facts. I don't want to. I don't want to gloss over it. He also wrote a Pinzoli. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think his opinions would have been better there. Mm, yeah. None of it would have been better. <laughs> you know what I say to that? Huh. Nice try, Fazoli. Oh, come on! <laughs> Our previous Fazoli's episode was released May 23rd, 2022, where we participated in Lasagna <laughs> Fest and ate sweet bacon glazed wings. It received an average score of 37.5. Did we have to go somewhere specific for Lasagna Fest? No, was we, it, was no, it like we brought a, it back with us. Was it a time and a place thing? So, Did we need to buy tickets? <laughs> we got the Lasagna Fest lasagnas, brought them back here, 
and then Chris ate so many of them. Shane is going crazy. He smells the fazolis I mean, in the cigarettes. Come take it. The sharks <laughs> are <laughs> circling. They are. They heard about. They heard about the fazolis and, and they can't wait. Water. Yeah. <laughs> You got pasta in here that tastes like cigarettes. I mean, I mean, feel free to take it. Don't let it go cold. <laughs> uh, Honestly, let, uh, just like it of, again. It's kind of food Shane would like. I oh, think. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Don't let the smoke deter you. Mm -hmm. After selling to fat brands, that's it's all capital. Yep. In 2021, Fazoli's president and CEO, all capitals, mm -hmm. Carl Howard, retired just one short year later for quote personal reasons and quote taking time for my health. On his LinkedIn, Carl lists himself as the first ballot Fazoli's Hall of Fame inductee 2023, <laughs> truly making him the Ray Lewis of giving you <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> you gotta... <laughs> on his LinkedIn, I had to see where he was working. Uh, He's on the board of something, whatever. Okay. All but... Right. He lists himself as big tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> he lists himself as a first ballot Hall of Famer for Fazoli's, but he also is a. It says, uh, it, "Gracie, can you read that at the top? It's like the inductee." Is this the right guy? Uh, Carl? No, that is a different Carl Howard. Whoa! Yeah, that's crazy. Um, he also lists himself as like. The Fast Food, Fast Casual Dining Hall of Fame <laughs> inaugural class. A and it's like, I did you make this up? And I think the answer is yes. Uh, but first ballot, Fazoli's Hall of Fame, I think is fucking cool. That is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. So. Ah, and, that was, and, that, and that was just this year. So yeah. Who knows going to get, who knows who's going to get it next I year. think cigarettes is uh, <laughs> 2022, 2024 <laughs> Hall of Fame. I mean, to be in the uh, first ballot. Fazoli's Hall of Famer is pretty impressive. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, also, I'm confused, too, because, like, he retired in 2022? Yeah. So how did he make it in 2023? Well, you have to retire, and then typically... Oh, I see. And then in, like, baseball, you have to I retire, see. and then five years later, you I can see. become... You're eligible... To be in the Hall of Fame. But if, he, but if he doesn't get in, do, do the writers get like a chance yeah, yeah, they to have vote a chance. him in later? Well, it's crazy. He's like unanimous. So it was like, it really, oh. he's the Mariano Rivera wow. of Fazoli's Hall of Fame. Is he the only one who votes? Yeah, absolutely. He went, me? I feel like putting that on your LinkedIn yeah. is a very LinkedIn thing to do. Mm -hmm. I feel like LinkedIn is the most cultish of all social media yes. platforms. Yeah. It's a lot of everyone thinking there's some sort of thought leader mm -hmm. and like business whiz yeah. and everyone kind of agreeing with them or that whoever's posting to be like, Oh, we're on the same wavelength. Would you, can you hire me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> like it's all, it's all the weirdest networking. It is the weirdest networking. It's, uh, I should make it's one. gross. And, uh, I should make a link. You I, make it LinkedIn. You don't I have a LinkedIn. LinkedIn? Then oh. who am I connected to? Oh no. Whoa. Does my LinkedIn mention my LinkedIn or my LinkedIn Abe style? <laughs> Does it mention my taco pass? Because then it's not, not me. Not yet. That well, no, you me. just made like a 5,000 word post about how brilliant it is and a, a great business opportunity mm -hmm. to synergize the taco marketplace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no, that's me. And I was like, I was like, this is Michael. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is definitely Michael. Then, then I, and then someone saw that. One million dollars. They heard me. Wow. See? One million dollars. LinkedIn networking. Yeah. It works. Next fact. In 2022, that was last year. This is yep. before he was inducted. Uh, fat brands acquired Nestle Toll House Cafe and turned them all into Great American Cookies. I assume that's the name of it, not mm -hmm. they turned the cafes into cookies. W correct. Fat brand CEO Blue style. Uh, Andy Widerhorn, mm -hmm. Widerhorn said, we want to grow the brands that we already have. Then we'll continue to acquire strategically if we can find interesting acquisitions that are either easy to onboard to our platform. Uh, what? Yeah. Yeah. What? Uh -huh. There was uh -huh. no other to the either. Nope. <laughs> That's, there's no follow up. Widerhorn nope. is still nope. under SEC investigation for, quote, running fat brands into the ground and, ble and bleeding it of its cash and resigned in disgrace. This guy should run for president. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's truly the, uh, the SBF of, <laughs> of Fazoli's. What was that gibberish I just read? <laughs> well, he was either running fat brands into the ground and bleeding it of its cash. Yes. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Uh, that is, and so he had to resign that in disgrace. Hurt as I was getting through yeah. it. Uh-huh. Yeah, it, it really got to the point where you're like, I am just reading right. words yeah, I, I don't reading. know. <laughs> Either I'll stay. <laughs> well, let's go to the next fact. Uh, here we go. Since Widerhorn stepped down, two CEOs have been appointed to work together to oversee fat brands. While they're working to overcome the previous regime, <laughs> the previous regime actually still owns 55% <laughs> of fat brands while they are being investigated by federal authorities on accusations of securities and wire fraud, money laundering, and attempted tax <laughs> evasion. Cool. <laughs> I, this just seems like... It's prime for some sort of succession style oh, there's gonna be in, dramatization. In, in four years, a Blackberry style movie about yeah. fat browns Whoa. and fazolis. 100%. <laughs> oh my God. This makes a lot of I feel that energy when we were at the fazolis. Right. Yeah. The, right. No the chaos. Chaos. It all trickled down. The chaos truly really okay, does absolutely. trickle down. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm bleeding this dry. Good luck. And that is, uh, that's how it feels walking into that restaurant. Bad. Is he going to continue to own 55% of it when he's in jail? He stepped down and he's like, don't worry, my family still owns this. And it's like, that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> like, yeah, right. I also noticed that fat is always capitalized. Does yep. it stand for something? Fat Burger. It is the oh. original. That is the first brand in that fat brand is Fat Burger. And they own a bunch of other things. They own like Johnny Rockets and shit. Another place that is purely chaos. <laughs> yes. They do yes. the dancing. I hate Johnny Rockets so much. I fucking that place hated sucks. Johnny Rockets. <laughs> Shit. It was does. at the mall. Yeah, yeah it's yes. always at the mall. I've yeah, never yeah, seen yeah, one not like, at a mall. They're dancing. Yep. They got the malts. Yep. Yeah. The hey, I hey, would, slick guy. I would never. Thankfully, I'm jazzed. You're here. Thankfully, <laughs> I, my parents never like would go in there yeah. and take me along with them. Mm-hmm. But we would always walk by because it was like you know, on the thoroughfare of the mall. And boy, was it always loud and I yeah. never wanted to it go in It was like choosing to go into a restaurant where you're guaranteed to get panhandled. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh, you know what I'd love to do while I eat? Have something happen around me that I hate and is in my fucking face and it's super loud and annoying. I would love for that to happen while I'm eating a fucking $20 cheeseburger. Uh, oh, Johnny Rockets. Great. <laughs> I remember Rocco from Mega64. We were talking about Johnny Rockets like years ago. And he just went, Look, it's a restaurant where they do Wop. something. <laughs> <laughs> but he said they do something with the ketchup. I don't know what they do, but the fact that they do anything with the ketchup makes me not want to go. That's why he doesn't want to go. They, are they draw insisting? like they, they will like if you ask for ketchup or whatever. I think okay. like they draw like a rocket on a like a plate uh... and give you the ketchup that way. And he's just like that. Just give me the fact that you have to do. Something with it. Fuck that we'll shit. We'll bring your ketchup right out in about 25 yeah. minutes. <laughs> right. We're Don't teaching the fries new, get cold. We're the, teaching the new guy yeah, how to draw yeah, the yeah, rocket. The guy who draws is taking a shit right now, so we gotta wait for him before we can give you your ketchup. He does not wash his hands. He oh, never. Boy. It's the secret ingredient. Last fact. Despite the negativity from Eric, what? Fazoli's ranks 201 in Franchise Times Top 400 Franchises list, stating that sales are up and quote, Fazoli's restaurants offer unlimited breadsticks, end quote. So if you're looking for a succession style <laughs> opportunity that overlaps with some really middling drive through spaghetti, look no further than Lexington, Kentucky based Italian American eatery Fazoli's. You can't make a Tomlet without breaking some Greg's. Tomlet. Boo. That is succession. Yeah. yeah. Now I see why you brought it up. Yep. Um, that was not on purpose. I did not read ahead. <laughs> no, you that, was quite, that was quite serendipitous. Um, he incepted also, it. He incepted it. it also, Fazoli's yeah. doesn't offer unlimited breadsticks. No, they don't. And also, how are they right in the middle of the top 400? Isn't that insane? I, that how, was the, how bad are the other 199? You, you think they would be 350 or lower. <laughs> yeah. at, but I guess I can't really name 200. No. Right. Uh, Are there only 300 in any restaurants? <laughs> yeah. It's right. a top 400 list. There's 350 I mean, restaurants. Yeah. Dude. There's 201. <laughs> yep. Oh, my God. Uh, we're gonna, when we when we find the <laughs> motherfucker who did it, we're, gonna, we're all gonna vote for. We're him. gonna we're gonna punish this sick bastard by making him eat every single last <laughs> chocolate gummy bear there is, and then we'll feed him the mangoes. That'll teach him a lesson. <laughs> Potbelly facts. 
Since opening its first shop in Chicago, 1977, Potbelly has expanded to neighborhoods across the country with approximately 427 shops in the United States, including approximately 67 franchised shops in the United States. Uh, fact provided by Potbelly press release regarding second fiscal quarter 2023. That's where the fact came from. That's, that's hilarious. Good. Yeah. Yeah. That's why. I mean, nothing that, funny why about it. It's a fact. Him? Why did you need? I guess four, why do you need facts about the facts? Four hundred and twenty-seven is pretty close to four twenty, and sixty-seven franchise shops is pretty close to sixty-nine. So, if you take some of the four twenty-seven so, and put it to the to the sixty-seven, you're yeah. really getting somewhere. If you there. take, yeah, if and you then you take, have five left over. Yeah, and then you all have them vote for the McCarthy. Again. <laughs> <laughs> but they do it as a joke. You have <laughs> no, the McCarthy votes weren't a joke. It's now it's he only has five votes, uh-huh. but remember Jim Jordan only started with ninety nine. That's true. McCarthy could get his way back he to that two seventeen if he he's wants. Climbing. To. When Jim Jones throws in the towel, uh, Jim Jones. Jim, 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 Jones. Jones. Jim Jones already threw in the towel. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Potbelly Sandwich Shop actually started as an antique store in Chicago six years before becoming a sandwich shop. Owner Peter Hastings sold antiques but would make sandwiches for patrons on an old potbelly stove, which inspired oh. the turn toward food. This is like going to Home Depot only for the hot dog cart out front, and it becomes so popular that normal Home Depot goes out of business, and they just sell hot dogs, but it still smells like sawdust. Gross. Frowny face. Mm-hmm. That would does be gross. Does sawdust smell gross? Uh, I think when you're getting hot dogs, it does. Yeah, in proximity to food, I think it I think it would be unpleasant. And speaking of smells, Potbelly. Oh yeah, has a smell. Mm-hmm. That the store, I, you mean? Like right? Yeah. When we went inside, mm-hmm. it smelled good. Oh right, yeah. Okay. Nick, Nick, hang on. Did, what, what yeah. Real, real quick, Nick just held up Hot Depot. That's what. Yeah. Definitely. That, that was great. That was worth it. Yeah. That was that was worth it. <laughs> they uh, can't all be winners, <laughs> and they're not. I, mean, I was gonna say I'm waiting for one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, no, you heard his feelings. So yeah, sad. come on. He, he's there's had a one, few. There's one side that the we, one about the ship was good. There's one that we made the <laughs> thumbnail that just says nanobots. <laughs> it's pretty that good. just happened. That's, it's pretty good. Um, um, yeah, it smells. It smells good. Yeah, in, in it a way, like food. Yeah, in a, you're right. Like Un, unlike food. Subway. God, yeah, yeah. So it's like the anti-Subway smell. Mm-hmm. It's um, comforting. Yeah, where it makes you want to eat there instead yeah. of uh, get out as fast as possible. Right, and you can't escape it because it's on your clothes forever now. Also, I know we're still in the facts, but uh, the people working there fact. were very nice. And yeah. when we ordered the food, oh, good at their jobs. They like, <laughs> yeah. Instead of Subway going, "What do you want on this?" and you go, "Oh, just the way it comes," and they go, "What the fuck did you say?" To what, me? Is, right. <laughs> what do you? They how did said, you smell that? They said you ordered this. This is what comes standard on it. Is there anything you want to change or anything you want to add? And we all went, this is just what's we standard. Want it. We want it and the way said, God made it. And she said, okay, just so you know, these are all the things that we have, but we can just do. Don't standard. worry about what's going on out there. Yeah, not great. Oh, God. Great. Um, so it was uh, It was people very competent at their job making a very good sandwich. Oh, yeah. it, really, it really uh, slam dunked on all the people that said, uh, you have to know how to make the sandwich when you go to Subway. Yeah, how, how, like it's your how responsibility yeah, you as a customer. Into Subway and not know what you want. Right. I do know what I want. The promotional sandwich you're selling. <laughs> yeah. You should know how to make it. Yeah. I mean, and I'm not from memory. I'm sure you got a piece of paper back there. You know, like, <laughs> exactly. Fucking Google it. I don't know. You work here. I don't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was, uh, it, I was very impressed. It smelled good. Everyone was nice. Yeah. Did you also notice how we came in and they, they were like, hi, would you like to buy something? Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. They noticed us, yeah. spoke to us. <laughs> yeah. Helped that, us. That's, that was a real rare experience. Yeah. It, it, it's it, very rare to get all three. It's not even like, it feels like a very boomer thing to be uh, like, oh, the, the fast food restaurant. Yeah. Ex- like that kind of thing. The yeah. fast food restaurant. Oh. I, it's, it's new not, boomer. Yeah, it's, it's we walked in and twelve people weren't standing around confused waiting for to go <laughs> yes, orders the, as the employees just looked at the ground and didn't talk to anybody. Yes, none of it was like, oh, this is the way things should be. Yeah, it would be great if that's the way things were. But also, like it to me, it was just like, oh, that was nice, and that's it. Right. It was. Oh wow. It was right. everything. Let me. Say, I'm not gonna go make a, a Facebook post about fuck it. Fuck no. <laughs> everything was nice and level headed until you ordered the cookies. Then things got aggressive. What happened? <laughs> they sure did. Now someone's already defensive. Uh huh. All right. So he's he. Uh, Eric grabs 
five of the s'mores cookies. They have the cookies out, and I say, we'll also take five of the s'mores cookies. And Nick, who had already been talking about the peppers that they <laughs> have. about everything he saw. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is day. good. Oh, this is good. Oh, I keep the peppers here. Oh, look, they're on sale. Oh, the peppers <laughs> right here. What have, what have we got them? <laughs> God, I'm going home later. Yeah, it says bring it home. That's where I'm headed. (laughs) Um, So Nick, or Eric gets the cookies, and Nick just under his breath, you're goddamn right. That's (laughs) absolutely how he said it, too. (laughs) To the point I was like... And then Jordan said, calm down. (laughs) Goddamn right. It was... (laughs) It was either... I don't don't know if it was either he was saying it, like, to you, or Mm -hmm. that you got them, or the cookies, and they're going to be eaten. And he's repeating himself now. I was hung. Wait, hangry. hangry. I was hangry, but also you can tell it wasn't hungry because he wasn't ashen. When <laughs> he, 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 wasn't, when he, said it. he wasn't great. That was scary. <laughs> but also, that was like, he's like unwell on that. But day. also, his I was hungry. You're getting a sandwich. Yes, yes. that's the food. <laughs> this is the dessert. I was hangry. Doesn't make any sense. He also said all I've eaten today is a protein bar, and I said, me too. And I. And, that was it. That was the end of the conversation. <laughs> Imagine if Eric ordered the sandwiches and she said, sure, I'll have that right out. And Eric then said, you're goddamn right. <laughs> <laughs> Nick just has a sign that says, I eat a lot. We know. <laughs> we know. Everyone knows. Everyone fucking knows. <laughs> the number one thing about this show, not just with the audience being like, whoa, who knew Nick? It's people that work here. Yeah. <laughs> time and time again that like, d- you know, this is going to blow your mind. People in Face Jam or people outside of Face Jam don't genuinely go, I listen to every single episode. Yeah. So when they see Nick and his element of what he's doing, they're like, what? What's going on? I go, he's been doing this for, for, for like four fucking years, okay? Don't ask questions. This is who he is. This he, is him. He used to hide it because <laughs> yeah. he didn't have an outlet well, for the it. Thing amongst, is, but the thing is, he still does. society. Just not on this show. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so other people do shows with him where he's normal or oh. somewhat normal. On f- face, he What's was that? voted most regular guy. Right. But I mean, that's on f- but face. Yeah, exactly. Also. Exactly. I mean, that was offensive with- because I was there that day. <laughs> <laughs> Gracie, this might come as a shock to you. <laughs> oh, man. Oh we, oh, we should get back to more right, facts. Right. Oh, I is forgot. that what we were doing? We yeah. <laughs> Pop Belly's vow. They have a vow. Yep. Colon. They'll move you through any line in eight minutes. Max. Did that happen for us? It's more likely that we had a weird interaction at the counter with a guy who wants to play cat or gun. That's not at all what happened. No, wow. now we at know why he was all. singing its praises because he knew he was going to be wrong and he wanted to get ahead of yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Right. And now, yeah. now we can hammer him yeah. for it. No, he's hammering himself. In the Can't hammer me. <laughs> Can't hammer me if I hammer myself first. <laughs> dunk, 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 dunk. <laughs> yeah, they were. I feel like they were. They protested this. What you wrote here. Yeah. I think maybe it leaked Supreme Court styles, oh. and they went, we're going to be the nicest motherfuckers ever yeah. to this little rat piece mm-hmm. of shit, because mm-hmm. Norm, we were about to spit in his face, right. <laughs> but now we're going to make him look like a fool, because his fact sheet leaked. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been what happened. In 2019, Potbelly sued two former IT managers for receiving tens of thousands of dollars in kickbacks from communications company... Uh, Nitel, Nitel, yeah. Nitel, to quote, steer Potbelly's telecommunication business to Nitel <laughs> at inflated rates that cost Potbelly hundreds Whoa. of thousands of dollars. This all culminated in Potbelly leaving a RICO, racketeer influenced and corrupt organizations, charge at the former employees, but it was dismissed. Rudy Giuliani is still facing 13 charges in a RICO case involving 19 defendants. That doesn't have anything to do with Potbelly. Just want to remind you what's up with America's mayor. <laughs> <laughs> and he continues to melt. <laughs> he is melting. Yeah. I love that Potbelly was so mad about what happened to them. <laughs> They invoked RICO charges. Right, yeah. <laughs> the thing they get the mob for. Yeah, exactly. They went, well, this was created in the 80s and the 90s to get the mafia to out of New John York. Gotti. Yeah, and so here's what we're doing as a sandwich shop. <laughs> These IT guys have to go. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to level that against Dante here at, at work. I'm going to get him on a RICO case. <laughs> 
I don't know what for yet. I'm still putting it together. Rudy Giuliani style. So when I get yeah. hit with a Rico case first, <laughs> you'll know that it you was all part Rico of the You can't Rico me. I'm Ricoing you. That's right. Wait a second. <laughs> I think... Uh, I think what you're doing, conspiring to uh, oh, no. level oh, Rico charges no. against someone, that could be a Rico charge, oh, Eric. Dante, don't Rico and, me. And guess what? Uh -huh. You've been served. No! <laughs> oh, no! If I run away and I don't take it, that means I'm not served definitely <laughs> and surely. <laughs> this, this is wild. <laughs> this last fact Hit is me crazy. <laughs> yep. Potbelly took out $10 million in PPP loans, then, when everyone found out and got mad at them, returned it all. Quote, we were surprised and disappointed when the fund was quickly exhausted, <laughs> leaving many without help, Potbelly oh, said sure. in a statement Saturday. Uh -huh. Quote, we are returning the PPP loan after further clarification from the Treasury Department. Anyway, have you gotten around to setting up your student loan repayments yet? <laughs> Oh, we thought there'd be Bye. more. <laughs> for it. Yeah, Gracie, how's oh. that going? <laughs> Not good. Bro, it's oh, no. Oh, no. Well, you should be eating at CC's. Yeah. yeah. A little too yeah, classy a little. for you. <laughs> Bro, it's Jover. Sorry, Biden. You, he was going to, um, he's pro union oh, and boy. he's going to shut down. Uh, you having to repay your loans. And anyway, he made those train workers get right back to work and set up your payments, idiot. <laughs> Bro, it's so Jover. He did that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Some brain dead idiot to put an oh, I man. did that Joe Biden sticker on their computer screen <laughs> as they're setting up their repayment <laughs> loan yeah. options. Oh my god. There's there's got to be people who listen to the show who are leaning more right and going like, oh, I hate the face Jim talks about politics. <laughs> I love Biden. <laughs> it's like, you guys are nuts. <laughs> this shit's so funny. Oh, fuck. You guys are nuts.com. <laughs> Wait, hey. no, you're not. Nuts.com is good. D slam it's also it's it's fun because i like laughing at it all uh -huh. it's all fun to laugh and point at and i go goodbye 401k yeah no kidding well, all right i'll do my best when i'm <laughs> destitute later <laughs> yo this speaker nonsense is fucking funny oh it's down how much more today <laughs> shit <laughs> fuck <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You never had you're outlet. being accepted by things like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pointing it there. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, let's learn about Muya right. Burger and see what's up. Our previous Muya episode was released March 28th, 2023, where we ate the hot bacon jam burger. It received an average score of 78.5. High score. Wow. Very high score. Also, can't believe that was so recent. It so recent, Don't and remember I have no all. memory. No, no memory not, of none. it at all. I, I could remember, not believe it was this year. What? I remember. Yeah, Crazy. Being at the restaurant, because mm -hmm. you were just getting into Tonal, and you were talking about it yep. stop the whole time we were I there. Was and you were like, this fat piece of shit's <laughs> never going to exercise. <laughs> I was just like, uh-huh. Yeah, sure you cool, will, buddy. Michael. <laughs> I mean, and then, it's weird, because we got there, and you kicked open the door, and you went, I'm back! <laughs> <laughs> I got a new head. <laughs> and a new face. It's painted. Um, and I remembered the Fruit Loop shake that was there. Like, oh, that was they see that I remember. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that like burger. a flash, like yeah. a traumatic event. Like no, I think we just, loop shake. just the taste. Of I it. think yeah. we ate there. We did, yeah. yeah, which is very rare for a place like this. It's probably well, because it's it was so, so, far. so far. It was so far, yeah, and there so, was so no far. Gracie. Yeah, that's no, true. I mean, there, Gracie was alive, yeah. just not here. I, I Gracie was, was alive. Gracie was in that in between state where she. She in our minds ceased to exist because she, she did not was work existed here. and not existed anymore yeah. when she went. Away. Even though I did still fully work here. Yeah, yeah, she she <laughs> was working for the T-shirt podcast. We yeah, don't, we don't have here, object though. permanence <laughs> when it comes to Face Jam. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's where's everyone it's else? Just <laughs> easier to keep it like it's true. sense in our heads. Yep. Yeah, um, I have no idea where. When Kat was is. that? When were you like? Do you even month? Well, was that last year? I don't even know. What? When, when were you interning? Like on Face What are you talking about? My first internship, yeah. Eric Betrayal, mm -hmm. I have not stopped working here since then. <laughs> right, but when was that, I'm saying? That 20, was 2021. 20, 2021, like Jesus the end? I like, thought It probably would have been That's like that right? whole semester it, of 2021, I think. It was summer. Yeah. Right, yeah. Right. yeah. I yeah. got it in like June because 2021. We, because we were in, since. because when I was betrayed by her, <laughs> right. we, we were, were in, in that other room. Yeah, yeah. that old yeah. room. Uh -huh. We were at <laughs> the whole other... The whole other building, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And so, so after your internship ended, where did you work? 
Because it wasn't here. Because it wasn't here. Yeah, it's yeah. possible. Like, it was here. I was, like, I was, wasn't. There's I no was way. talking to other intern Cat the other day, and I asked her when she was uh -huh. like interning. I was like, because I'll be honest, I was like, if you didn't come back and like you're alive again, yeah, and I'm talking to you now, whatever, that would just be like, yeah, I know we had interns mm -hmm. sometime, and then we didn't. And I would yeah. never, I would never be able to like, in my right. brain already, you weren't a person anymore. You were just like some smoke yeah. <laughs> fading away. But then you came back. I'm like, yeah. right. Oh, yeah. and then it turned yeah. back into a person. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank God. I like, yeah. like, I, like I getting, never like stopped those, working here. Like no, 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 that can't be right. <laughs> yeah, but where did you work? Yeah. Remember, remember the cookies uh -huh. that we got? Mm -hmm. Remember that? Yeah. Remember when they were open? <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was Kat's last episode and we ended up going to Chili's. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. we went. We tried to go to Insomnia Cookies yeah, that was over it. off campus, campus. Okay. and boy, they were closed, and the doors were fucking yeah, locked. Yeah, Eric kept trying all the doors. I thought the they doors. never closed. That's what. Mm, well, they sure did well, when we were there. Didn't they just file for like bankruptcy? I think so. Yeah, no. yeah I think they're like toast. That yeah. no, they're should cookies. Have seen the, <laughs> whoa, should have seen the writing on the wall. So then we ended up going to uh, Chili's, and we just ate at Chili's. But then we, I think, did the whole episode like it was Insomnia Cookies. We just read, like, the fact sheet and everything. <laughs> I read IQ yeah, about Insomnia great. Cookies. <laughs> Next fact. This is a doozy. Okay. Do you do reservations? Ha 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 ha! No, we're not laughing at you. We just thought of something funny. But, clearly, you've never been to Muya. We're way too chill for that stuffy reservation stuff. But, we're happy to accommodate your group once you arrive. If you want to reserve your food ahead of time, you can save time and order online. Click here. I can't click here. Mm -hmm. To get your order in the queue. Uh, and then in quote, uh, parentheses, queue is how Brits say line. Although the word is French in origin, which is strange. Is it? But not as strange as the fact we've suddenly slipped into British colloquial speak. This fact provided by Muya. Fuck this place. <laughs> It goes on forever. <laughs> it also, like, it's not even just them doing that. It's them doing that, but starting with them not even being themselves and being the customer. Uh -huh. oh they play everyone in this. Th they the, play so many people. I hate the idea of a video Re element just, of this podcast, yeah. but I've never wanted it more also, so you can see the look on my face. Jordan, in, like, reading it, they actually went through all the work, though, of, like, putting, like, parentheses and oh, quotations. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, this is inside a thing inside another thing. Yeah. Oh, this it's is all there. Very eighth grade it's humor. It's all there. This is this is how their whole FAQ section is written. I remember the last episode we did had a fact yes. very similar to uh -huh. this, and I also wanted to kill yeah, myself. Yeah, you then. fucking hated it then. Yeah, unalive. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't want us to get demonetized in January of this year. <laughs> Grillo's Pickles sued Wahlburgers, not Whataburger. No. Nope. For their claims of having, quote, fresh and, quote, all natural pickles, despite lab results that show what? the reuse of preservatives to extend shelf life. This fact doesn't have anything to do with Muya. There's not a lot of Muya stuff out there, but aren't pickles pickled specifically <laughs> to extend shelf life? If Mark was on that Wahlburgers with his kids, it wouldn't have went down like it did. Oh, boy. There would have been a lot of blood in that dining area. And then him saying, okay, we're going to eat somewhere safely. Don't worry. Come on, swing it. We'll never pass up an opportunity <laughs> to remind everyone about Mark Wahlberg trying to prevent... Pickles from <laughs> happening. <laughs> there's a there's not oh, a lot man. going on with Muya as far as facts, but boy, they seem like they're pretty young, so they don't have enough lawsuits for They've us. They've been to around talk for a while. Yet. They just kind of like nothing really happens with them. They don't do anything, and they're yeah. just sort of like well, around. I, but Wahlburgers <laughs> is a good one. What the fuck? Would we ever go? Where's a Wahlburgers? Would we ever go there? I don't think there's one around here. We would have to, like, go to Boston, probably. I'm sure there's one there. Yeah, it's certainly not around here. <laughs> no, he said Austin. <laughs> no. Oh. Nearest Wahlburgers. One time I got on a JetBlue flight from Long Beach to Austin, but it was a Red Sox plane. Mm -hmm. And I was like, it's going to Austin, right? <laughs> not, not Boston. Oh. I had to double check. Have you ever got, like, on a wrong flight? No, or never. I'm, I'm, I'm not right, that dumb. Like, it's got to be... If it happened, it's like the plane fucked up. 
Yeah. Like yeah, you got on no the right way. place there's and so they many, took you to the wrong there's place. There's so many barriers there's so in many place to keep you from doing do, that. Well, to keep people paying attention. <laughs> right. It's It seems insane to me. Uh, I got on the wrong flight. I was like, how? Huh? Oh, it was next to it. I like and the, it also departed at a different time. I like the people. And also my seat didn't make sense when I got on the plane. It's like so many signs. I like <laughs> the people who go to the airport a, on the wrong day. Yeah, Either oh, a day early or a day late. Insane. Insane. <laughs> I... I hate traveling <laughs> because I check everything like 150,000 right. yes. yeah. times. And it like me just checking again makes me mad. Every time I get I get mad because it's like I'm paranoid enough and it forces me to check. And then uh -huh. when I see that I didn't have to check, it makes me angrier. Right. And then I check yeah, again like, anyway. Why'd like you check? Minutes. Dummy. Yeah. You don't need to check. And then you check again. It's like still the same the information. I ever fucked. I mean, I did fuck up, but I didn't get fucked. Is flying to Australia. I'm in my seat on the plane, and I'm like, "Oh fuck! I left my laptop at oh, security." Shit. Oh, oh no. shit! And I just I, I run up and I start telling the woman, and she's like, "You have like ten minutes." So like, they let you minutes. get off the plane. Yeah, let me get, get off on. the plane. Wow. wow! I ran to security, and I just started yelling. Has anyone seen a laptop? Because <laughs> it just there's like a hundred million yeah, people there, right. and it's just like. People are like, oh, they're on the walkie talkie. And I'm just like waiting and I'm waiting Whoa. and I'm waiting and I'm waiting. That must be the and, like, worst Australia? feeling. Yeah. yeah. Oh my and, God. And I'm just like, I'm going to have to live for like a week yeah. or something. Yeah. And like, as I'm about to leave, I see on the other side of security, somebody just like walking over <gasps> with it. And like, they got it back shit. to me and I got oh. back on the plane. Wow. That's nuts. That was wild. I'm just like, that just simply doesn't happen. No. Uh, I'm surprised by every part of that story. I know. Yeah, no kidding. I know. <laughs> Honestly, they let me off. I fucking yeah. found it. They let me back on. I, I mean, because I also they were like to another country. Within a couple minutes, they were Wild. just like, "Oh, someone found it," but they took it away to like report it or whatever. Right. But I couldn't go out to get it because then I have to come back then you through security. Come back so through. I'm just on the other side going, "Help! Help! Toss <laughs> it over here! Give me! Give me! Give me! Give me! Give me!" <laughs> the thing that surprises me the most is that you left your laptop. Yeah, yeah. that is so not you. Yeah, at all. Weird. Probably a lot going Must on. Must have been a yeah. little stressful. Uh, yeah. Nearest Wahlburgers, Branson, Missouri, or Memphis, Tennessee. Oh. Okay. Oh, well, I'm not Tennessee. going to Memphis. That place is always under what? construction. Oh. Mizzou? You want to go no, to the zoo? No, I said Memphis. <laughs> yeah, the Memphis Zoo? I'll, I will go to Missouri. The zoo? Yeah, the zoo. Yeah, let's go to the zoo, Missouri. <laughs> All right. Next back. All right. In 2021, Joy Lett. Illinois oh, resident. Back yeah. to Joylet. It's yeah. Joylet. The Joylet Club. Everything happened. Illinois there. resident Dan Davies, cool name, sues <laughs> Muya when he was, quote, caused to trip, stumble, and fall due to a table stand that protruded out in defendant's designated outdoor seating area. What? The incident. That's what it says. The incident <laughs> took place in 2017, but we <laughs> guess Dan tumbled for roughly three and a half years on his way to his lawyer who was asking for $50,000 and this is real and definitely not a scam. Oh no, I tripped too. <laughs> oh, let's bring it a class action. <laughs> that's like the only thing that I could find about Muya that was like, oh, lawsuit. And it's just... A guy sued him because he tripped. What? He kind of tripped in 2017. In in a in an outdoor seating area. So he just went, uh, oh, no, this table tripped me. Portruded? It was Out just. In the fitness <laughs> designated outdoor seating it's area. Just a, it's a table stand, so it's just like a thing on the ground, and he went, mm, $50,000, huh? <laughs> but mental in anguish. a couple of years. Yeah. Yeah. In a yeah. couple of years. Yeah. It's the long game. Ow! Oh! I can't wait for 2021. Ugh! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's gonna stop me. What the fuck's COVID? <laughs> Did he win though? I don't. I could not find a settlement or anything. Wow. Yep. S still in negotiation. I hope that it's still ongoing and he's been in this. He's scheme still litigating for fifty thousand dollars for five years. His loyal lawyer will get to keep all of it. Yeah, absolutely. Jesus Christ. And the final fact, if you can call these facts. In October of this year, Muya ran a campaign with the Kids in Need Foundation to help educators avoid out-of-pocket expenses in classrooms. Muya asked guests to donate one, three, or five dollars to Kinf in Muya's name. On average, a Muya franchise makes ninety-one thousand four hundred dollars profits per year. Thanks for the donation, you schmuck. We'll make sure it finds its way. <laughs> I really like why, why not just why not why not just give the money they said that $150 <laughs> can help a teacher 250 dollars 
can like provide them with everything that they need that would be like an out of pocket expense. And they just went, well, yeah, yeah. how much you give them enough? Yeah. Give you it to us it. and yeah. we'll make sure. A hundred percent. Well, yeah. Do you want to donate to these kids? Yeah, so you can donate to these kids. Sounds like a great tax write-off for you. Yeah. Also, the fact that we need to donate money to teachers for out-of-pocket expenses yep. is great. Yes, but let's don't worry. all supplement it. M- Muya makes so much fucking money. This reminds me of how when you got to pay taxes on like a new car or yeah. something, you make it out to the guy who's like the the commissioner, yep. the treasury commissioner. Mm-hmm. You make it out to his name. Yeah. And it's like, what's stopping this guy from pocketing this money I'm writing a check to? Well, I would definitely say nothing. Yeah. Yeah. But he, but his scruples, And also, how do I get that his job? Scruples. He's, yeah, he's a scruples guy, definitely. <laughs> like yeah. the guy who tripped over the table stamp. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I thought this $10,000 check was for me. Oh, it was made no. out to oh, me. Oh, my gosh. I was so confused. I'm oh, Mr. Moody. You, yeah, but- <laughs> <laughs> you can see how I would make that mistake. Yep. But those are the facts. That's, uh, now you learn some stuff about Muya that you didn't know before, right? Expenses. Yep. Yeah, our previous was Muya our episode. Piece. Shut up. Our previous <laughs> Muya episode was released November 21st, 2022, where we ate the holiday menu and received For an Muya. average score of 93.5. It, it is one of our, y- that's you, a Muya score. <laughs> you guys scored the holiday menu. We were feeling good. And Jordan gave it a high, you gave it like a 92 and you gave it a 95. And Michael, you were like, are we going to give this the highest score in Face Jam history? And I think it is among... I think a lot of it also had to do with the pleasant surprise of PFJ. I think that had from, a lot from to me. do with it. From yeah. yeah, for sure. And y'all loved your waitress, right? Oh, that was the oh, last yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like from Buffalo or Tampa she or had, some shit. She had just transferred through the P.F. Chang's transfer portal. <laughs> <laughs> she was like a college quarterback. <laughs> she's like, I get more playing she's time in, in Louisiana. Yeah, she's in Heisman contention yeah, absolutely. here in Texas. <laughs> For her. Yep. This guy uh, that we had today was nice. He's just brand new. He was. Yeah. Boy, you could tell. And he, also, I'll say this. He was slow and methodical. He though. was. He mm. was like, let me read this. Like, let me read this back to you. And it was like, hey, you know what? I appreciate that. Because it can yeah. go wrong. No, very uh, yeah, methodical. Would... When I asked for the to-go box, he said, well, here's what I'm going to do. Yeah, he yeah, was he like, I'm gonna, he said, yeah. I'm going to clean off. I'm going to clean off the old plates. Uh-huh. I'm going to bring out dessert. You're going to finish dessert. I'm going to clean that plate off. Then... I'll get you your to-go box. Yeah, it was like very taken care of. <laughs> the woman that was training him had, I, she had to be wearing colored contacts. The bluest eyes I really? have oh. ever seen probably in my life. I, I love You give it a thumbs too? up. Yeah. She was like over me. So I, I didn't love yeah. her. Yeah. Yeah. I, I never I look anyone in the to, eyes. Yeah, so. same thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <You're just laughs> yep. If they, if they don't look, look at the ground, yeah. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I just start going, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I do the forehead trick. See a lot of different foreheads. Tell you that. Oh man, <laughs> she she had a very normal forehead. Yeah. Nothing blue about oh, it. Oh good, good job. Like that. That's cool. Yeah, she seemed pretty normal. Yep. All right, hit us with <laughs> the facts. Seems pretty normal. <laughs> All right, fact number one about Muya. Mark nope. Davis, owner of the Las Vegas Raiders, is a longtime PF Chang's fanatic. I don't like PF Chang's anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Eating at the same spot at the bar every day for lunch for years. When the Raiders were not chosen as the Los Angeles relocation team, Davis said, quote, I have lost games before. That's how I live my life. You lose on Saturday. You're pissed. You go to P.F. Chang's on Monday, have lunch, and then you're on to the next week. End quote. He actually said that? Yep. <laughs> Grab a lettuce wrap for your boy, Raider Nation. Oh, I was waiting for God. that to be Eric, nope. but that nope. was still quoted until I was done. So he goes to P.F. Chang's after every game. Uh, he is a P.F. Chang's fanatic. I, I need wow. to show you what Mark Davis looks like because you don't know, oh, and boy. it's about to be very exciting. I don't know how to prepare you for what this you man looks prepared. like. You are prepared. This I want, isn't... I, I want you to remember he's he's a billionaire. He's a billionaire with he, a B. He can do anything he wants with this yeah. look. So? Oh, yeah, I've seen that guy. <laughs> yeah. I've seen that guy's haircut. That's Gracie's like his thing, right? Eyes, really? Biggest sauce. But that's like shit. his thing, right? Yeah. Like he's always getting those bowl cuts. Yeah, he just looks that like shit. is an atrocity. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, there was a that's story. Awesome. <laughs> there was a story that I, I think was just that's like a- kind of <laughs> people that go to P.F. Chang's. Hell yeah. <laughs> I billionaire bowl cut gingers. <laughs> <laughs> there was a story that was going around, and I think it was just a joke from a tweet or whatever, but people had like sort of kept telling the story. Uh, right before Halloween, the Raiders lost, and they had lost very badly. They had a coach, this guy Josh McDaniels. He 
came in on Halloween after losing and dressed like Mark Davis, the owner. Mm -hmm. And everyone went, this huh? is maybe not the vibe. Ha, 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 ha. Yes. Josh. Duh, that's fine. So then he was doing Mark Davis quotes. Did he mention the P.F. Chang? Yeah, did he? Yes. Oh. And then Mark <laughs> Davis came and he was like, this, oh, so funny. That's great. Huh, that's so funny, Josh. Let's go get lunch. And then they go get lunch. Let's go to P.F. Chang's. P.F. Chang's. Whoa. And this and is again, promoted him. again, this is a made up, to, this is a made coach. up story, but I want it to be true so bad. Uh -huh. They eat their whole meal. Okay. <laughs> the fortune cookie comes. Josh McDaniels does open it up. Josh McDaniels opens up the fortune cookie and it says, you're fired, hot shot. So here's the thing. Josh McDaniels really got fired on that day. Mm -hmm. But God, I wanted it to be in that <laughs> in, way. In a PF Chang's. At a PF Chang's. Getting shit canned at a PF Chang's. That's going out on but top. But did he actually dress up as him? Uh, that I don't know. Mm -hmm. it, I, I have a feeling that he didn't dress up and he did not come to the facility because he had already lost the team and the yeah. thing was fucking over. I think he got a call the, like, the night after that game and he went, <laughs> you're done. Yeah. And that was it. Uh, Mark Davis, that's Raider no, Nation. That's bad fortune. Mm, yes. Yes. No, unlike our drink. Good fortune. Which was yeah. called Good Fortune. And then the the three-day-old server. He's not three days old, but he was there for three days. <laughs> yeah, Goo Goo Gaga. Um, <laughs> he said something like when we you were like, we'll get, yeah. we'll get five Good Fortunes. And he was like, that's fortunate. Yeah, he... <laughs> but it was so like, he was like, that's fortunate. He loved his little <laughs> It was like a little, it was joke. like almost robotic. Yeah. And the woman trading him loved it. Clearly, that's like, whoa, okay, yeah. you're yeah. getting yeah. a little yeah. bit of personality. Yeah. 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 She was really supportive Making of his memories. Joke. Yeah, he yeah. was that. It was definitely like, oh, you do. I think it was her looking at him and going, you're capable of being more than just a go guy going, uh, uh, yeah, let me, can I read this back to you? Right. <laughs> he wasn't that nervous. No. He was slow. I will say there was another, uh, <laughs> like, waitress that kept coming by, like, uh -huh. just to bring us stuff and kept going, I'm so nervous. Yeah. I'm, I've never done Lighting this before. I'm going to mess it up. They yeah. just kept Shaking. saying it over yep. and over yep. again. Yep. <laughs> it was very funny. <laughs> Had a great time. It was fun for yep. everyone. Hey, did you know that you'll find a unique mural inside each P.F. Chang's restaurant? It's the same facts from last year. No nope. two are okay. alike. We're hoping the mural in Oakland has Mark Davis's weird-ass haircut slamming down some Kung Pao shrimp while reading the newspaper at 11.30 a.m. after a 38-point loss to the Cleveland Browns. Watch out for the silver and black attack. <laughs> Did I do sports? Oh, yeah, you did a great yeah, job. Those were hey, you see, what, yeah, you see what Draymond Green did? Yeah. Dude, dude I've you, seen it. You tackled that fact like Draymond Green. <laughs> yeah. Triple Rudy Gobert. <laughs> that, that fact was Rudy Gobert going down the court, and boy, you got it in a headlock. <laughs> Shouldn't have been standing there. <laughs> Shouldn't have been standing there trying to break up a fight. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Help? Go to some fucking hell. <laughs> you, <laughs> you showed that clip uh -huh. like... A while, not even just before this podcast, mm -hmm. many f filmings ago. Yeah. First thing this morning. Uh, it's been a face jam day, which is maybe even more why this was like off the rails oh, yeah. because we've been jamming for a few yeah. hours yep. and then went to PF Chang's. <laughs> but you were showing this footage and not only did you replay it a bunch, but then what you were playing had replays mm -hmm. and it like punched in. And every time you would narrate the clip, you're like, oh, they're like, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Die. I'll kill you. <laughs> he said it like nine times. Like, Eric <laughs> reenacted it over and over. Draymond and over Green and attacking. And over again. Like, hey, well, like, Die. I'll, I'll kill you. you. I'll kill you. <laughs> Draymond Green's like my favorite basketball player because he's a maniac and he doesn't give a fuck. And the league goes, You can't do that. It's fine if you do that. Yeah, it's fine. Keep it's doing fine. it. Keep it's doing great it. entertainment. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Grabbing Rudy Gobert. Oh, yeah. Big it's the money. only reason I watched anything from this, like, in-season tournament. Oh, yeah. Oh, and where we looked at the courts and our eyes melted? Yeah. yeah. Fucking incredible. Love it. Hey. Yeah. It's not all good news at P.F. Chang's, oh, no. though, because oh, no. former employees are suing P.F. Chang's. This is crazy. A lawsuit in the facts? Crazy. Never. Wild. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> former employees are suing P.F. Chang's and their HR contractor, UKG, for wage and hour violations stemming from mishandled record keeping of all hours worked. Coincidentally, P.F. Chang's sued UKG in December of last year for losing all employee records and data. When reached for comment, UKG said, quote, shrug emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that being read as, <laughs> how as an HR company do you just go, 
yeah, so we like everything's gone. <laughs> and then and then as a company, you go, yes, that's fine. <laughs> anyway, we're getting sued for this also. They lost everything. That's insane. Did, did you lose it or never have it's it? It's the data. I think that it it's was, never- <laughs> I, I have a feeling it was a mixture of like, Oh, our record keeping's fucked. Oh, all the day our uh, server. There go our servers God, all, all of a sudden. Why? Is there a flood? Yeah, <laughs> we got. Oops, who yeah. emptied the pool? Hacked. We got hacked by uh, uh, Thor. He's in that movie. movie. Those boxes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a shame. I mm-hmm. hope that works out for them. Mm, probably not. <laughs> well, shit. In October 2019, this is the last fact, everyone. In October 2019, a class action lawsuit was leveled at P.F. Chang's claiming their food contains, quote, crab mix. Crab with, with no, a K. With, yeah, correct. With no actual crab with a C. The suit was thrown out in 2021 with the court stating no reasonable person would assume there is a crab with a C in the crab mix with a K. Oh, Yeah. Then why was the monkey slamming fists and whooping about how good the crab with a C was during our lunch, huh? Wait. Checkmate, Judge. <laughs> how did you know? <laughs> he he was very saw, complimentary about saw it coming from a mile away. <laughs> What's the thing that Nick is gonna love? This thing has crab. Oh, yeah, I love this crab. (laughs) This crab is so good, he said about five times. Over, you got to try this crab. Michael, you got to try this crab. Michael, Michael, I know you don't like seafood. You got to try this crab. And I did by accident. (laughs) (laughs) Also, to his point, the the crab was pretty good. It was pretty good. Like, I don't don't even. I'm so ridiculous. You you ruined Nick's day. (laughs) No, no, he didn't. <laughs> Trust I'm me. Good. No, he doesn't care. I'm feeling good. He doesn't care. We know what Nick knows. What's important? And it's not Eric's words. It's what goes inside him. <laughs> he can't take that away from him. <laughs> and those are all the Muya facts. Oh man. Oh Muya. All right, let's get into some Dairy Queen facts. Mm-hmm. Our previous Dairy Queen episode was released May 9th. 2022, where we ate the cheesy dude and steak fingers. It received an average score of 15. <laughs> My what? God. We didn't like him. <laughs> oh, man. That's, I have no that memory away. of the cheesy dude. Me, me neither. It must have been terrible. I think I remember going to that Dairy Queen, but yes. I don't remember what we ate. Yeah. Now, remember, that was the game. <laughs> like, that was... A, all oh, of no. it's just a weird trip, but Michael was the one who rated it lower than Jordan. On on this Prob- one, yeah, it, it probably yeah. I I you know I probably was going on about how Dairy Queen sucks and it's overrated. I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, it was. I think you were pretty upset about how uncheesy the cheesy dude was and how the steak oh, fingers man. just weren't anything. If that happened, if the cheesy dude wasn't cheesy, yeah, this tracks. Yeah, so average score 100%. fifteen, rough one, rough outing. All right. On our last Dairy Queen episode, we introduced the world to Chipley. What is Chipley up to? Did he destroy Dennis the Menace? That was... uh, At one point, I want to say that was that long ago, but also that was that recent. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? (laughs) The Chipley stuff was... Ah, Chipley! Yeah. I was convinced Chipley was going to be the next thing to, like, sweep the globe, like Mm -hmm. Bluey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, uh... You you thought Chipley was the new Bluey? Dude. Yeah. We botched that. Yeah, he just never came back. No, I think what happened is that precocious rambunctious children are not mm-hmm. in vogue anymore and so chipley never uh, really had a chance you know if it was 82 i think that chipley would have had like some real 1882 if it was 1882 me- oi prof and then it's chipley <laughs> <laughs> selling <laughs> Can we can we reimagine Chipley now as as a little 18, cockney 18. boy <laughs> yeah he's a little street urchin maybe he oh. <laughs> on the Right on the, the, the turn of the Industrial Revolution. <laughs> he's got he's got like coal smudges all over his face. Mm-hmm. He wears a little hat. It's got oh. like a hole in it that's been patched, but then he has like a little dog. The dog also wears the hat, like the same kind of hat with the hole in it. Um, they're on the streets of merry old England. It, uh, this all makes sense. That's cool. Mm-hmm. I think that's what Chipley could be up to. A little time travel oh. kind of situation. Oh, oh wait. Wow. Guys, guys. Yeah. Guys, the input sensitivity was too high. Oh, that's what happened. Check it. 
No? Damn. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Wait, how about this? Okay. Let me change this. See if this no. breaks everything. No, okay. don't do it. Did that break everything? Can you... Does it sound we, weird? We hear you. How about that? Nope. Alright, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> too much, too much work. <laughs> Back to the car! Alright! <laughs> In June of last year, Dairy Queen lost a lawsuit against WB Mason Co. period, for their use of the term blizzard on bottle water. Oh. Bottle water? Bottle water. Yep. On bottle water. A judge found that bottled water, now we've put the D in place, and ice cream treats are not competitors, and no consumer would be reasonably confused when seeing the two items. Oh, yeah? Then why did I hold my bottle water upside down, and it went everywhere? Checkmate, judge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Isn't that what Gracie did? <laughs> <laughs> uh, when you got your ice cream today, did they hold it upside down? No, they didn't offer, yeah. and I didn't ask. <laughs> they did mine. Really? Who wow. but W.B. Mason? Is that what the fuck that you just wrote? That's what their uh, logo is, or their... Slogan. Slogan. You shouldn't have helped them. Do you think that any of us know what W.B. Mason is? <laughs> right. No. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> no, I have no idea. <laughs> I just realized you guys don't watch the Phillies. <laughs> uh, no. Oops. Absolutely not. Uh, there you have it. He's confident about what their slogan is, but he can't tell you what Texas <laughs> toast is. <laughs> no, he can tell you what Texas toast is, but if you ask a, a clarifying question, it all falls apart. No. There's... Okay. Yeah. Um, when I got our ice creams, Jordan, the guy held them upside down and tried to hand them to me, and I went, do you... Upside down? He, well, he, he went, oh, he turned upside down. And then he turned another one upside down and then went to hand them to me. And I grabbed them and I went, do you have like a holder or something? And he went, right, oh, because right. You have four. And I went, yeah. right. And so I had to hand them back to him. Oh my God. I should have turned them upside down. I should have fucking turned them upside down. <laughs> and he just went, do you want lids? And I said, yeah. Oh, hang see, on. I didn't get lids. Hang, hang on. Hang on. He put lids on the first two, and the, the little door is closed, so he can't hear me. I can see him. He can see me, whatever. He's not doing this for me, just letting you know. He puts lids on the first two, and then the two he hasn't flipped over yet, he's not looking at me or anything. He picks one up, and he turns it upside down. He oh puts God. it back, and then he puts a lid on it. <laughs> yeah, the he had to hit it to the last one <laughs> and put the lid on it. Again, not for me. Just for himself, and he went okay. And then, well, what do you think they're okay. telling him? In so there? he checks. <laughs> they're probably like, if you don't flip this, and we, if somebody comes back and finds out you hadn't flipped this, it's like selling liquor to someone underage. <laughs> I think <laughs> you think you think that's what it's like at Dairy Queen. Yeah, dude, a Texas institution like that. Absolutely. If you don't flip it, it's not a blizzard. Hey, let's hear that sample. <laughs> I thought you were it, I'm talking to the listeners now. Oh, okay. no, I'm done trying to get it to for you guys to hear, but I'm still going to play them. Oh. It's just going to be this is just a sample heavy episode of Face Jam. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Nick, Nick just, made his own samples. Just, <laughs> just a bunch of copyrighted Nick is my noises. soundboard. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want? Yeah, what do you want him to do? I'll All right, let you here know. we go. What I want is I'm going to read this next fact. In June of this year, that's 2023, Mall of America sued its only Dairy Queen store for $75,000 in unpaid rent, causing the store to shutter. That's all it took? Yep. Now, yeah, now that there's <laughs> space, please welcome our new concept Face Jam store, where we just have a space in the mall, don't pay for it, and leave consequence free. I think we should just have a store in the Mall of America. They're not using it. They're out seventy five thousand. Why not just let Squatters us squatters' rights? You know, if we just start yeah. taking up that space in the, the mall of America, can just stay there. Now, here's the thing: you're assuming they left when it says shuttered. Do we know they weren't just shivering? You know, I assume they weren't hey, just hey, shivering as they were. Thank you, Nick. <laughs> Nick, yeah. Nick. Nick did it again. He's a soundboard, <laughs> but also he acted it out, and now his head is in his hands. <laughs> He shuddered like Dairy Queen. <laughs> he shuddered to think. 
<laughs> oh, dude, we're talking about Big Ken Paxton? All right, oh, final oh, fact. You fucking know it. Let's do it. Final fact. Uh, not guilty. Dodged it all. Texas <laughs> Attorney all. General Ken Paxton, who has been facing trials and impeachment for like a decade now, received 100,000 shares of stock from the CEO of Servergy, a McKinney-based software company that courted Paxton as a partner. The CEO says that, quote, God had directed him, end quote, at a Dairy Queen to give Paxton the stock, but it came out that the stock was not a gift, but was instead for services. If God ever directs you to do anything, hopefully it's to give money to Face Jam because you can't impeach us. We're a podcast and we want to be rich, but also you can't impeach him either. That's right. <laughs> All right. You can Boom. try. Consider this. You can you also try, can't motherfucker. Ken, Ken, Ken Paxton. Um, Everyone can agree that they should do it, and then they go ahead and do it, and then when they comes time to do it, they decide not to do not it. Not feeling it. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking about impeaching Ken Paxton, and then the vote came, and then uh, God directed me <laughs> at a Dairy Queen not to impeach Ken Paxton. There we have it. <laughs> hey, let's learn about IHOP. <clears throat> Our previous IHOP episode was released July 18th, 2023, where we ate the pancake tacos. It received an average score of 86.5. Can't believe how recent that was. And, and yeah. can you believe that the score was that high? That I can believe. I can believe because I remember those. I remember when we saw the 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 Choco Tacos, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. Chacos. I today, had high hopes for those. Today. I was like, oh, didn't we do something la like that last time? Because again, right on the edge of my July. Ooh, yep. I'm starting to forget. Yep. <laughs> uh, here's the, here's and the I thing. Went, and they were good. And they were. Like, yeah. And the thing that we kept talking about was it was better than going to Stubbs, which we had just done oh, also wow. Oh, wow. for RTS. Which yes. sucked ass. Stubbs fucking sucked. And so a lot of our episode where we're talking about how good this is is how bad Stubbs was. <laughs> yeah. <I> don't <laughs> which remember is that. Fucking great. It was really, really good. Um, yeah, I remember us really liking the savory ones over the sweet ones, Yeah, too. remember? Because we kept saying, get the chicken ones. Like, yeah, the, the chicken, chicken ones were yeah. really good. So, little... Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe it should have been a bit of a red flag that the ones on the Wonka menu <sighs> were chocolate pancakes with chocolate inside and chocolate chips. Gracie refused chocolate. to eat one. Yeah. Gracie, this is the most bite? defiant nope. I've ever no seen. Yes. Yes. No bite. Yes. It's the well, most defiant and disgust that I've seen. Yes, in one over day. food that you would think she would go insane I would for. Think. Uh, but You're then wrong. she said, Oh, I don't like. It's she my said, fatal flaw. I don't like chocolate. I don't like, she's like, I don't like sweets. And Michael went, you eat candy <laughs> all the time. And she went, no, sour candy. It's like, yeah, <laughs> she eats sours. She doesn't eat sweets. <laughs> she's eating toxic waste. Yes. yes. I'm burning my. Yeah, I, I, I don't yeah. like sweet. I like citric acid only. Ooh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so she didn't even try that? No. That tracks. Mm hmm. But Let's I did try 100% chocolate <clears throat> recently. What? In Wait, what? Hang Gavin on. made me eat it. What did you think of the 100% oh, chocolate? That, it was like licking tires or it's drinking tar. Bad. It's bad, but it's not that bad. I hate it. It just it tastes was. like poo. It's go it goes like this. It just ah. tastes like poo. Yeah, it did. But it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Everybody makes it. That's true. Okay. Real quick, Gracie, can you do your mouse real quick? Yeah. Okay. If you want to figure out how you can betray her. You know, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, why are you laughing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right, let's keep learning. In the fall of 2021, I call that the long ago. Yes. A Florida woman sued IHOP after she stepped on a deteriorated step, oh. fell, and broke all three bones in her ankle. The case settled this September with IHOP paying the woman over $8 million Whoa. due to ongoing mobility issues so she can't hop, but she can <laughs> run to the bank, folks. <laughs> he, Eric got his arms open <laughs> wide, <laughs> accepting silent applause. <laughs> well, it's, it's all the people at home going... <laughs> yeah, everyone who paused the yeah. podcast so that he can stand up and applaud. I mean, I think she'd be able to get there by... I mean, that was over two years ago. She, so... She's like in her mid forties. She broke the three bones in her ankle, and mm -hmm. the doctor said that is it's one of the worst breaks that you can have Oof. because when it heals, you still have mobility issues, and for the rest of her life, she'll probably have. Oh. Did so, you, didn't so, you fuck up your ankle? I've been run over by a car. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. Did, Did you, you fuck up your ankle? Though? Though? I was the listening question. to Face Jam. I got run over by a car. <laughs> oh shit! No, he was the one driving. <laughs> That's right. BB coming through. <laughs> Don't listen to the score. You gotta go for the people that aren't listening. Um, they're in the hospital. <laughs> give them something to do. 
<laughs> they wake up in a hospital bed yep. with a sign that says, listen to Face Jam. Yeah. And what's that? We, we salute the jammer who got run over by a car while listening to Face Jam. Thank and you so much. And did not die. No, didn't die. Um, Thank you for your noble sacrifice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do it again. So uh, <laughs> she broke her ankle and, and the doctor said that she would have mobility issues, whatever. But then it went on to read like, and she won't be able to enjoy simple, uh, uh, simple joys in life, like walking on the beach oh. or or playing basketball with her sons. And it was oh. like, I just went, uh, they, the, those part, those are made up. No, I believe those- it. And my heart's breaking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready to give her $8 million. Eight, she, she got eight, over 8 million. Good for her. Yeah. That's, I'll take a little tumble if that means. This is the first time I feel tumble. like one of these cases is justified. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. The, her lawyer probably got seven point yeah, nine that, million million. That's about, that's about right. Yeah. Wow, cool she hundred thousand. She probably got fifty grand. You're welcome. <laughs> she actually lost money. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> that's, she'll break the other ankle. Get rich again. <laughs> Indian education technology giant Baiju is under fire for hiding five hundred and thirty-three million dollars in a hedge fund whose Whoa. primary address is a Miami <laughs> IHOP. The elusive hedge fund has claimed other addresses such as. Lionel Messi's residence <laughs> and a Cayman Islands address. So we here at Face Jam are going to allow this hedge fund <laughs> to operate out of our address for a mere eleven million, seven million, whatever it takes. Nick is willing to go to jail for this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, he'll take the fall, no problem. Yep. Well, the monkey will take the fall, and they won't be able to prove who that is. <laughs> so He's got the mask on. It'll be five hundred and thirty-three million is sixty-six broken ankles. Yeah. Wow. We got to start breaking some ankles. Yeah. Okay. So they hid all this money in this hedge fund, but the hedge fund isn't like a real, it's right. like a made up thing. And they asked people. at All the, hedge funds are made up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they asked people at the IHOP. So where's this hedge fund? And the people at the IHOP went, what? And it's like, why did you even ask them? <laughs> right. Right. Why what did you expect what happened? Oh, it's right back there. Hot, hot waiter Ben doesn't know anything about the hedge fund. <laughs> I don't even out understand, but it, they're, it's a $533 million operation. They just can't like rent an apartment. They just, or something. Right. I don't they even understand. They just, just picked an existing uh-huh. address yeah. where the business operates. Yeah. They just started like <laughs> filing papers and they went like, we are here. And they went, and I hop. And they went, oh, sorry, this one. And he's like, this is where Lionel Messi lives. We live above the IHOP. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I live in the attic of the IHOP. This yeah. is a hedge fund. $533 million. I live, I live in Messi's garage. Yeah. <laughs> it's messy. The Cayman Islands is like. Of course. Like, that's That's standard. the one that makes sense. Yeah. Start there. What? Start there. <laughs> yeah. Why did somebody just went, well, no, we got to keep it in the U.S. <laughs> well, what's the address? Well, I work at the IHOP. And it, okay, cool. Oh, also, if you're starting a business. You corporate in Delaware. That's like there's there's buildings that are dedicated to being the address for any number of companies. Mm-hmm. Like they're not a physical thing. It's just it's it's a um, it's a building that's like full of boxes, and that's the address. Yeah, like, and their mail goes in the box. Easy done. Do you think the Cayman Islands is where they make Cayman Jacks? Yes. Which came first, Cayman Jack or Cayman Island? Well, probably a tie. I yeah. think Cayman Jack established Cayman Islands, but he was just Jack, and he said, these are my islands, the Cayman Islands, mm-hmm. and I'm Cayman Jack. Here's and another then, question. And then, ksh, here's a Moscow yeah. mule I made. <laughs> <laughs> and then somebody got a billion dollar yeah. idea. A $533 million <laughs> idea. I'm Travis Scott, and I need your help. <laughs> In 2019, a uh-huh. Georgia man was accused of making terroristic threats at an IHOP and was then punched tased, and arrested by officers. After a video of the arrest went viral, the Marietta Police Department dropped the charges, then released a statement stating that they didn't agree with dropping the charges, (laughs) and the arresting officer no longer works for the department, but not because of this incident. What the fuck? (laughs) (laughs) What kind of terroristic threats are you making at an (laughs) IHOP? Well, it's international. Oh, oh, so, oh shit. Oh, no, That's probably I'll, crash, I'll crash this plane. I'll crash this plane. <laughs> he, he thought he could say whatever he yeah, wanted. He, he thought yeah, he was I'm an international Interpol's waters. after him. <laughs> yeah. The guy that's chasing Lupin the Third. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's an international incident. It's absolutely yeah. true. Uh, so this guy is a pirate. <laughs> Damn you, Lupin! <laughs> Later, pops. Uh, the this guy was making terroristic threats or whatever, and, and he was upset in an IHOP. And then cops beat the fucking shit out of him. And then twenty one months later, yeah. after pushing back and hiring lawyers and all this stuff, the police department was like, 
fine. We're dropping charges, but we shouldn't have to. And also, this guy doesn't even work here anymore, but it's not even because of this thing. <laughs> so don't even ask. Yeah, and it was that. And it was like, <laughs> what? Wait, what are you talking about? It was some other incident. Yeah. <laughs> he beat the shit out of somebody else. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Not your client. Who yeah. could have seen this coming? Huh? I don't know. He had such a good, solid D average in high school. (laughs) And the final fact, Mm -hmm. in 2017, an Alabama woman claimed she choked on a condom in her French toast (laughs) at IHOP. Don't laugh. She choked, Gracie. (laughs) IHOP's lawyers immediately shot back. We absolutely deny this claim. It's total fabrication. Come, he wrote. I can't even see this. Come on, IHOP. Show some spunk <laughs> and own up to this load. <laughs> Discharge the employee that planted the seed of doubt in this grandmother's throat. Oh my god. This is what you were doing at 1130. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that this was like the craziest <laughs> bunch of sentences I've ever heard at once. So stupid. Those are, the, those, are, those are all the facts. Own up to this load. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I can't believe that happened. I, I can't believe they wrote that. They are. I can't believe she choked on a condom. Pro- I, 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 I hope also can't, can't believe can't that either. either. <laughs> Nice try, lady. Why don't you fall down the stairs? <laughs> like everybody else. I don't know. I'm very sympathetic. I don't I I don't tend to believe that somebody's just trying to get something out of just saying stuff, you know? I think if there's a I'm, thing to I, say somebody will say something and I'll just believe them. Yeah. I choked on a condom, such a crazy thing. <laughs> I don't need to hear the other side of the story. I don't, <laughs> no. I'm with them. I'm with them blindly hundred percent. I've seen what they do at a Denny's and I just assume they also do something similar. I've, seen, to I've seen that too. They don't use condoms. <laughs> Yeah, Michael, it's in the French toast. <laughs> okay, oh. okay, but we're at a French toast. <laughs> do I even want to ask what they do at Denny's? Gracie, there's a video that you should not. Gracie, there's a video that you should not look up about a waiter receiving a tip at a Denny's. Got it. Yeah, I'm good. Uh huh. Yeah, and it was more than just the tip. <laughs> <laughs> that was Jordan. That wasn't yeah, even me. It, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's the guy going, what? Yeah, he was <laughs> so fucking funny. And looking around and going, <laughs> twist yeah, my arm. Yeah. <laughs> well, what are they going to do? Fucking fire me from Denny's? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Should we talk about this Panera drink? Oh, man. Oh, yeah. What? So we haven't had it yet. Uh, yeah. We're not going to. What do you mean? Why not? I mean, you, you're oh, more you're than welcome. talking about supercharged? Yeah, we got to oh, get the charged absolutely. lemonade. Charged charged lemonade. lemonade. We got to get charged the charged up. lemonade. I ate a little bit of sugar just now, and my heart is at 130. Does it have a lot of minute. sugar, though? I will die if I... Know, the caffeine and sugar, I'm sure, is... Oh, I know the, the caffeine's through the roof. I it's just, definitely I, got I sugar. I don't it's know lemonade. how they It's definitely got sugar in it. Okay. Yeah. We'll do it, though. We should go do it. Yeah. Don't have to be right now. No. I'm I'll I'll do it today. I'm so sensitive to caffeine that like if I have w- two cups of coffee, yeah. I'm like shaking. I'm really afraid of what it would do to me. <laughs> I'm, I'm <laughs> also very afraid of the kind of person. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't drink. I don't drink caffeine at all. I don't drink yeah. coffee. I don't drink Whoa. anything. You drink yeah. Dr Pepper. Yeah. You're a DP what is that, girly. Like, yeah. <laughs> founded in 1977, Chuck E. Cheese Pizza Time Theater was created by Noah Bushnell, the inventor of Pong and one of the founders of Atari. Did you know that? What in the world? That's fucking crazy. The original parent company of Chuck E. Cheese is a is Atari. I'm not that surprised when I think about it because this does sound like somebody's third best idea. Yes, absolutely. It's a very, uh-huh. that's, a good way, that's really a good way to put it. Uh, okay, so I've invented it's it's like ping pong, but digitally you play on your on your computer like your TV. Wow! I'm gonna start a whole company where we make games like that. Wow! So I'm thinking about a restaurant where the rat <laughs> makes the pizza for you. And they're kind of just like, not your best work, but you haven't let us wrong yet. I mean, I guess <laughs> your worst yeah. work could still be much better than others' best. Yes, it's true. So. I mean, it's still around. Yes. It's still around. It's yep. pretty, well, it's around. It's around. Michael, that's me. 
mm-hmm. was tricked into buying this pizza during COVID, and now they've tricked me, Eric, the ultimate, the ultimate producer, producer, into thinking you, you can sure buy. You, hold on, dude. you sure you want to go yeah, with that? Dude, <laughs> today? What it says? Yeah, did you? Like, he wrote that before we that went was to the wrong place. The incident. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, let me take it back. Me, Eric, the ultimate producer, into thinking you can buy their grown-up menu pizzas online? Did we eat this pizza from Rat Casino? That's a fact. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, we talked about it before, but during the pandemic, there was Pasquale's. Right. And Michael bought the Pasquale's pizza. And it's a very distinct box that it serves you in with the giant fucking rat face on the front. I hate it. Look at him. He's looking, I hate him. He's looking right at me. He's got one of those uh, gimmicks rat, rat where like, no matter where you yeah. go, he's looking yeah. at you. He also, this is the worst iteration of Charles Entertainment. Oh, yeah. yeah, he looks like a fucking idiot. I, like, even in like the 90s when he wore like a skate helmet, he looks like a shithead. He looks like an idiot. Yeah. But then you go back further and he's smoking a cigar. Go back. Yeah, he kind of fucking. He has me Chuck yeah, E. Cheese. Hey, welcome to the Chuck E. Cheese Entertainment Pizza Parlor. <laughs> like that's what I want. Like it's anti-Italian discrimination. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy Cullets is gonna <laughs> lead the Giants all the way. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese was Tommy DeVito's oh, yeah. agent, agent before yeah. mm-hmm. the other guy. We well, got too young. Yeah. He, now he's cool and he skateboards or whatever. Boring. Now he talks like this. Yeah. Probably. Probably. Go in ahead, 1979, Michael. no, I was good. <laughs> it was perfectly winding down. In 1979, head engineers, because there's some that aren't head engineers, yes. just regular engineers. These but are the ones at the top. I'm surprised there are engineers anyway. Head mm-hmm. engineers at Chuck E. Cheese split from the company and created Showbiz Pizza Company. Yep. They were immediately sued. Then Chuck E. Cheese went public in 1981. Lost $15 million, filed for bankruptcy in 1984, and was bought by Showbiz Pizza Company in 1985. Who's laughing now, rat? What the fuck? <laughs> that is awesome. Isn't that crazy? So, so this really was Bushnell's third best uh-huh. idea. Yep. Whoa. <laughs> so uh, the head engineers were the guys who were like the animatronic creation sure. guys or whatever. Yeah. And they're like, oh, you know, we don't really want to do what you're doing. We're going to do like our own thing. And then their own thing was Chuck E. Cheese with different animals. Sure. <laughs> if you've ever looked up showbiz pizza, whatever, uh, it's like a bear that plays a banjo. Oh, hell and yeah. Some other stuff. Uh, yeah. the, that rock of fire explosion banjo? stuff. Yeah. It, it's I, those I, things. I Is there a kazooie? Yeah. There's a kazooie and a banjo. Uh, Holy so shit. they said, oh, we're going to split. And then they sued them. And then within five years, they just went, oh, oh look who has the opportunity this. to just become Ooh, Chuck E. Cheese. So what, what do they think of the company now? Because there's no animatronics there. Because, but they merged them again. all together in like through like the 80s where Showbiz mm-hmm. and Chuck E. Cheese became one thing. Mm-hmm. And then they picked up Peter Piper pizza along the way. And then it all just became sort of this bland yeah. thing that it is now. It's not really. Mm-mm. Not really anything. You got, yeah, you I'm tripping try- over there. No. You got a lot of burps coming out. They're little <laughs> ones, but you just keep... That's it. Okay. That's the last one. That was a super tiny it's one. It's little. Well, you're saying if there's anything left. Uh, so that's Showbiz Pizza. Fucking crazy. Take that, Atari. Oof. Much like Burger King, Chuck E. Cheese expanded internationally to Australia, but changed its name from Chuck because it means puke. <laughs> Charles I mean, Cheese's, that means that here. Yes. Charles <laughs> Cheese's Pizza Playhouse operated two locations in Australia until the mid-80s, and to this day, we can't figure out why Puke Rat Pizza never took off in Queensland. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. It, that was the reasoning specifically given, like, oh, yeah, in Australia, Chuck means to throw up. You say up Chuck here. Right, and it's like— Yeah, mm-hmm. but it's— it's still not like I wouldn't say the most common way to say. I it here. I, I bet in Australia, it's in Australia, not, yeah. I bet it's not the most common way to say. Oh, see, I don't know. See, I bet it's not the most common way to say. Puke. Hey, if you're Australian and listening to this, do you say chunder more than chuck or what? <laughs> uh, like, what is the most common way to say like I mean, puke? A, uh, based on what I know about Australians, I feel like puke rat pizza would do way better. Puke rat pizza feels like it would be a thing where if he had a mohawk and it was called puke rat pizza, <laughs> yeah. they would be he would be the Dude, most successful. <laughs> Guy in Australia, he would be. He would drive a U. Yeah, uh-huh. and like, yep. uh, he would go to the shorts Servo all the time. Every day. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That's. I think we figured out what to do in Australia. We need to open a puke rat pizza. I you should hire the. On. You should hire the engineers. Wherever well, they're at now, I think the plan is me and Jordan are going to start it, and then he's going to split off, and then right. I'm going to go bankrupt, and he's going to buy me, and then right. sell the whole thing. <laughs> so I'm destitute. <laughs> You ever see the social network? It'll be like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's awesome. 
Okay, this is the last fact. Let's do it. After COVID, y'all remember that? Mm -hmm. Remember COVID? Mm -hmm. So long Jordan? ago. Still not happening. Okay. It's over. CEC Entertainment, parent company of Chuck E. Cheese, is estimated to be $1 to $2 billion in debt and filed for bankruptcy Again? in 2020. So we at Face Jam may step up to buy this company and rebrand it Monkey Sauce, Ooh. where you can see Nick perform with an animatronic band nightly, Get Sauced, Go Ape. Monkey Sauce. That's, That's pretty, pretty good. good. Like and it. then think about like... We go into Australia, call it Puke Rat Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> uh, get Sauced, Go Ape feels like Pretty good slogan. Go ape for yeah. the kids, but you know, you gotta have beer. Chuck E. Cheese sells beer now. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. So you can you have, Oh, that's why there's so many fights that happen there. Now. Oh, Remember yeah, yeah. that was like that was popping up all over the place. It was right after the pandemic and mm -hmm. things were opening up again and parents were taking their kids to Chuck E. Cheese, getting sauce, Ooh, and why? then getting in fights. Where's our beer? <laughs> Clamoring for Chuck E. This Cheese. This guy. Yeah. In the back of the car uh -huh. after after the incident, which uh -huh. incident? Um, All of them. <laughs> while while you guys were helping Gracie, I was in the the car with him, and he was like, "Look at me, I'm shaking." And he was like, <laughs> what? He Why was, were you shaking? He was, was he like, hungry? "I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of like uh, freaked out about this." And I go, "Oh yeah, it's okay." He goes, "We should we should get beer when we get back." <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my laughs> God. Christ. We needed to calm his nerves. Yeah, <laughs> we need to get drunk. Good lord, good lord, man. <laughs> Oh my <laughs> God, dude! We're just trying to prepare you Gra for your kid, man. Gracie's the one like who got in an accident. Yeah. And next back, they're like, I don't know, man. I might not make it. <laughs> <laughs> he starts doing puke rat pizza in the back seat. I'm, I'm pretty shook up. <laughs> can, can you ask Gracie's dad to call me? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Can I go back real quick to yeah. the the Burger King comment yeah. in Australia? Um, I was always under the impression that somebody started their own Burger King ripoff. Yes. Called it Hungry Jack so that they could no. use the iconography. No. So there is already a Burger King in Australia. Okay. Burger King wanted to expand Australia, tried to open Burger King, and got sued. Okay. And when that happened, they went, well, fuck, we have to name it something else. So they went, uh, Hungry Jacks. So okay. Hungry Jacks is the name of Burger Hungry King Jacks down there. Are, but That's a very good Australian twist. I think name. that now Hungry Jacks is split from Burger King, uh, and I think it's its own thing. I think. So that might like be wrong, where the engineers work. Aren't, That's right. <laughs> aren't Hardee's and Carl's Jr. technically two different companies? They are. They are. were. Carl's Jr. bought Hardee's. Yeah. And uh, so now that that's why Carl's Jr. is a West Coast thing, and Hardee's an East Coast thing. And I want to say, like, St. Louis is, like, the Where's market. the nearest? We've done Carl's Jr., right? Oh, yeah. The nearest Carl's Jr. is Cedar Park. No, oh, die. Remember, oh, that's we right. Yeah, we <laughs> die. <laughs> God. I mean, if we get in the car, we might. Yeah. Because we ended up. So I do we've done remember episodes, doing an episode up there. We've that done was episodes the up there. Park one yes. or something. So we ate up there and then came back and recorded. And then there was another one where we ate in, in the parking lot and recorded in the parking lot there. I think that's where we came up with the monkey. The, 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 the yeah. I oh, seem that's right. I seem to. It's, it was a parking lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some things are visions to me, much like where your small wife yeah. got her arm exploded yes. where I was just like I feel like it's over there <laughs> I remember just kind of sitting in a car staring out a window in a parking lot going yeah. we should make Nick a mascot <laughs> <laughs> like I just remember the place ish yep and it really worked uh, it worked great yeah it worked great I finally got to uh, tell his wife oh yeah that I always had wanted to buy so many of them and so the joke was just going to be, he he's going to be a different just animal. Just, just, just yeah. he'd have to keep them all somewhere yep. at his house. Uh -huh. And he would just keep coming home with these fucking animal heads. <laughs> uh -huh. And he would say, I have to keep them for work. <laughs> I'm glad the monkey worked out, but I still, in another timeline that yep. happened. Yeah, he's, got, he's, he's, he's not he's just a monkey. He's a monkey. He's a horse. He's, he's a panda. Yeah, yeah. He's a horse. He's a, yeah. co he's a cobra, but he Dude, put his just flaps happened to be, in. Just happened to be the first Can one he? I bought. <laughs> Can he, Eric? Can he put yeah, his slaps you in? Got it. You got it, seriously. Like, how did you walk into that wall again? You already knew you were wrong. I just wrong, think there's only one forgot, kind of cobra that you can do it now. It's not like, a real I, That thing. surprised me that he was still arguing. I know. It. I thought it was settled. It was law. settled. Well, no, it's settled <laughs> That's where why I'm when right, you're going, there's, you're arguing. there's no arguing. Right. It's real. Yeah. And he keeps saying it isn't. Here's it's one video of one cobra doing it one time. Okay. <laughs> Say what? You, you need more evidence. <laughs> Do your that, own research. That cobra could just be fucked up. I should just start. I'm just gonna start. To, hey, Jordan, I'm right. Do hey, do your own research and look at it. Or you tell him. You tell him it's not my job to educate. That's you. right. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. another go to. Yeah. Or or when press was, why don't you just tell me what sources you have? We go. Just look them up. Yeah, just look them up. Call my. So All right. let's learn Dude, about we're, Sonic. We're getting there.
Our previous Sonic Burger episode. Sonic Burger? Was, that's what he wrote, dude. Yeah. Was released December 20th, 2021. What the fuck? That's the last time we were there? Was it over two years ago? It was a long time ago. That's wild. Isn't that crazy? I don't even really remember. I don't remember. believe it. I, I don't remember it. this one because the one it. I always remember is the, mm-hmm. what, the last one we did before we had to go remote oh. for yeah. COVID. Yep. Like Sonic was the last place we went. It, Does Jambulance yeah. count? No. We had a thing? No, absolutely not. Yeah, just, <laughs> absolutely how, not. Honestly, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> We should watch that again. Yeah. But not even like as a content, just as friends. Yeah. I think we should watch Beekeeper. With our shirts off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe hey. become a Beekeeper. Well, we can't do it until the prototype of the disposable sports bras ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it. true. Um, where we ate. Anyway, uh, December 20th, 2021, where we ate the Fritos chili cheese wrap and garlic butter bacon burger. It received an average score of 65.5. Man, <laughs> those were high times. Yeah. Yeah. to be something. High yeah. times. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sounds mid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on here. Vector is technically the oldest Sonic Sonic character behind Eggman and Sonic, predating Tails, Knuckles, and Amy. He was going to be a member of Sonic's band, but was scrapped. See, this is why you specific Sonic Burger. Oh shit! <laughs> everyone is confused now. Also, yeah, Charlie everyone. B debuted in a manga as a friend of Amy Rose. <laughs> It'd be confusing now. <laughs> you do hair? <laughs> oh, oh, hair. You big Charmy B fan, Grace? Jesus. Do you know any what was that? There? Do you know any of that? <laughs> those, are, those are Sonic characters from the Sonic. Video game. Sonic. No, I, yeah. See, yeah. I'm familiar yeah. with him. But, but see how, that's, but see how, see how you had to was. specify. Right. But I don't. Well, I'm you made it confusing. Not very though. familiar with Vector. I'm sure. Eggman. I'm sure no one is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. well, I'm pretty sure you made that up. He's the main guy. He's the. He's Jim Carrey. Oh, I'm pretty sure Charmy B will be in the third movie. Is it Charmy B or Charmy? Wait, there's two. Yes. Oh, I only know there's one. Wow, not a big Shadow the Hedgehog fan, huh? No. Post credit scene. It is unfortunately still impossible to go inside a Sonic Burger. Lie. Sad day. No, it is we impossible to go inside a Sonic lie. Burger. You can go inside the Sonic. It. You can't go inside. See, no. Now you remember. Can't. Now remember. It's important to specific. Yeah. Because <laughs> you, right. Let's specific here. You, <laughs> they do inside go and out come. I saw them whole In time. Go, man, out come man and food and food. What? Happen, I go. So he not being specific. <laughs> In August of last year, two South Carolina Sonic franchises were fined sixty one thousand dollars and twelve cents. Nope. <laughs> sixty one thousand sixty one thousand and twelve dollars. Mm. There you go. I'm. You know what? I'm glad you put the twelve in. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. You should have put dot zero zero. It was a little confusing. Mm. Sorry. They were fined sixty one thousand and twelve dollars. After the U.S. Department of Labor found child labor violations involving 36, 14, and 15-year-olds working outside legal hours. Oh boy. Mm. We at Face Jam believe that if a 14-year-old wants to make our cheesy tots at 12.30 a.m. on a Wednesday, we, as a nation, should allow them because we don't care if they're late for homeroom tomorrow. We're drunk and hungry now. <laughs> no one wants to work anymore. Except these kids. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, they dude. go, oh, I love being at Sonic Burger. This is the only time I get to be inside and of you it. you know what? And I speak from experience, too. I'm putting myself in this. Uh, mm-hmm. Camp odds are too. You're, you're not letting that kid work late shift so he can go to school. Once he graduates, he's working full time at Sonic. Oh yeah, you've done nothing but keep him from earning money for an extra three or four years. <laughs> that's all you've done. He's at Sonic and will continue to be at Sonic, and that's where he will remain. School is temporary. Sonic is forever. <laughs> <laughs> I think Sonic Burger is also very temporary. There was there was another one. It wasn't Sonic. It was McDonald's, and they had ten year olds on the grill what at the two fuck? at two in the morning. What the fuck, <laughs> dude? That's a real wild west. That's fucking, oh my god, that's fucking. Odd. That's like that's that's my brothers did that. Uh, my oldest brother got hired at a deli, mm-hmm. like small, like you know, East Coast deli. It was like mom and pop shop, and they like the owners, and then like one person worked there. They hired him at like. 15 to like work their work there yeah. he was already like he's like maybe 15 16 like right on the line of like you're like using the slicer yeah. and cutting uh-huh. and all that yeah. shit it's like whatever but then they also hired my other brother who was 13 what? and they're like yeah you do it too and my parents are like I don't give a fuck you have a job you have a job like it wasn't ours it was just like I don't care like they just have to do stupid shit that's a store run by two people not a franchise, not a McDonald's no, franchise. No, no, no. Yeah. How not, you, a, not a conglomerate. It's so 
It's so high level. I don't understand. Well, now you think you're going to get away with that. The lack of oversight that it has over their franchisees. But the thing is, like, the 10-year-old needs to have, like, a social security number so they can, like, cut a check. Right. (laughs) And, like, put in the system (laughs) and get, like, a 1099. Your brothers were paid in cash and sandwiches. Under the table. Under the table. They they didn't work there. Uh -uh. No. No, No, of course not. It was, they hired my my brother, my little Uh brother, and it was like, what a get. You know anybody else? Yeah. (laughs) Anybody else that we can pay? Tell your friends. (laughs) Tell your friends. My my brother's a year away from (laughs) being in high school, and he can work here also. Jesus he did. Christ. Ten year olds in a McDonald's. Yeah, he was like yeah. in eighth or ninth grade, probably. Fucking crazy. Man. Wow. Oh, one more fact. One more fact. The final one. Mm-hmm. In June 2023, a new Mexico Sonic employee was arrested after he accidentally put his baggie of cocaine in a customer's footlong coney. Uh-oh. That's why Gracie wanted it. <laughs> <laughs> Authorities charged the employee with possession of a controlled substance, but this should be easy to throw out because he clearly wasn't in possession of it at all. The customer was. The cops should arrest that customer, right? We should also go to New Mexico and order a bunch of hot dogs, right? Like right now, the monkey needs his fix. <laughs> Dude. Oh my god. Dude, Dude last I'm, time we I'm went for a glizzy. <laughs> <laughs> last time we went to um New Mexico, Michael got weird. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like oh, now it he's was, gonna get weirder. We moved through like the time zones. That's what I just referenced in today. times. Yeah. I referenced that today when when I said I'll be I'll try to get there. Be and there you said, physically. You said, right. you said you'll get here when you get here, uh-huh. and I said I'll try to get there a little bit <laughs> earlier than when I get there. And you said get here after you get here. <laughs> and I immediately thought of my my mind separating through the time zones. <laughs> we went. We were moving west, and we went through. We like left Texas into New Mexico, and we went in from like Central Time to Mountain Time. And Michael was like weird it got weird for a while we don't know what happened it was cool i had a mullet (laughs) it was cool dude it was buzz mullet aside looked exactly the same Mm -hmm. (laughs) oh yeah oh it's like i'm getting angry for (laughs) something's being taken from me <clears throat> Our previous Applebee's episode was released November 22nd, 2021, where we ate the Cheetos boneless wings and Cheetos cheese bites. It received an average score of 34.5. That was a long time ago. That was a long time I ago. I can't believe, can't ago? believe that was. Yep. That's when it was Mormon time? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Holy moly. I remember that specifically uh-huh. because, and as uh, some people may know, we'll have another video coming out with uh, Gremlin Larry. Mm-hmm. We dropped off some... some uh, wings and shit for him some double order and he <laughs> was he was fiending over the uh the cheetos dust yeah and that's when because he kept saying he was morbid over it yeah so oh that's, yeah, that's right yeah, that's yeah. how i know yeah. the movie was out he took them he just kept saying i'm morbid for these and he even went on to explain because in the movie he's got there's like the good blood but then there's like the yeah. fake shitty blood good morb, and he, bad morb? and he was like and he was like doing shitty more blood like knockoff shit uh-huh. to try and get the taste of the cheeto dust but it wasn't as good and he's like i'm he over need- here using the shitty more but i need the good more <laughs> this fucking I was like larry i just kept saying larry lose my numbers <laughs> this is like not on slack this is him texting me after work <laughs> it's uh, larry it's 3 a.m yeah. please you gotta fucking stop he was doing a thing where when this was out applebee's you know they would deliver but they wouldn't deliver to his apartment so he was having delivered to like a friend's place or like down the street so he could get it did he know you could home. just get delivered to the applebee's what yeah. the fuck yeah yeah he was moving zones so he could get the Cheetos I've delivered done that. to him. I've done that. He, we, <laughs> we brought him. So I've done that for like, like, um, there's something that, good. There's, <laughs> that, <laughs> there's that app GoPuff, and I was out of the zone, and not for that. Oh. Well, some people do it for that, but like they were, they were one of the only places uh, during the pandemic that were like delivering COVID tests. Yeah. So I had it delivered to the office and I just, it was closed. The office was closed, but I just camped out and waited for them to drop it off. And I picked it up and left. Awesome. That's pretty cool. Uh, when we drop, if you go to facejampod.com, you can watch this video later of us dropping off food to Larry. And food drop. on the way there, it was who he's going to ask where the Cheeto dust is. He's going to ask where the Cheeto right. dust is. We dropped it off and he's like, oh, yeah, awesome. He starts eating it and he's like, oh. Yeah, he was very excited about Applebee's. And then went. Oh no, Cheeto dust. I and mean, it, I mean, like, like, not that he expected it, but he yeah. had to joke. Oh yeah, because it's <laughs> his favorite. Uh-huh. Imagine, uh-huh. I called that one pretty well. Oh yeah, that was pretty all good. right.
After high turnover in the 90s into the 2000s, Applebee's turned to, quote, gamification and leaderboards to increase employee retention. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. Having servers earn badges for upselling items or cooks earn points for taking a quiz about what? when they should wash their hands. What? what? We're going to test... We're going to test a similar system here at Face Jam, but we really expect the hand washing question to trip up the monkey on the regular. So, really, this is anyone's game. Let's play. <laughs> Why'd you capitalize the P? <laughs> He's just playing. I I love uh, the I love that it's it's for servers to upsell items, but they need to include like the right. back of house what people. Can, can we get so the they're like, to do? um, when do you wash your hands? And they go. And went all the time, and they go, uh, "Great, you earned some. You're Never. on the leaderboard. Yeah. Never. <laughs> you, get, you get a gold star. Fuck. Uh, do you think that helped with the uh, retention and the turnover? Oh, probably, probably not. That's probably the next fact. It worked great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Dollarita Steve, who broke the internet after quote slamming Dollaritas during an earthquake in the city last week, has partnered up what? with Applebee's, the restaurant chain announced on Monday. I think this is my magnum opus, said Dollarita Steve. I don't know what any of this means. I'm glad because <laughs> I'm rereading it I'm as Michael says dude, it too. Dude, I know, right? And I'm reading it like this guy's, I'm reading it out loud going, this guy's reading it wrong. But those are the words on there in the order that they were meant to be read. Jordan, just, Jordan, and the commas Jordan, never stopped. Jordan Hold on. has sat up Hold on. and is leaning forward to further My, investigate. Michael, Michael, let me try. Okay. Go for it. Dollarita Steve, who broke the internet after, quote, slamming Dollaritas during an earthquake in the city last week has partnered up with Applebee's, the restaurant chain announced on Monday. I think this is my magnum opus, said Dollarita Steve. <laughs> no, it's not any... Right? Yeah, I feel, like, I feel like you tackled it a little bit better than me, but you had heard it once. Where's, the commas where's just the keep coming. <laughs> the commas just keep coming. I'm like, how many commas deep are we? I know. You keep thinking the sentence is going to end, but there's just more commas. <laughs> and then another sentence is just going. Did, did Applebee's announce earthquake. that there was an earthquake Who, in the city? Did Applebee's create an earthquake? <laughs> like, what is... Do we have... An earthquake machine? <laughs> who is Dollarita? Dude, who, dude, who is? Dude, I, I started wondering on the that. Internet. And once I got to the earthquakes, I was like, I'm not even going to ask. I'm just going to keep going. That's kind of when I perked up. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that's when I started slinking in my chair. <laughs> okay, this one's super relevant because let me tell you this. Yep. It says a week ago, but in our timeline, this was yesterday. I caught wind of this minutes before it happened. Yep. Just a week ago, you know, when you're listening to this, mm. Applebee's launched their date night pass, a 52-use pass that has a $30 credit on it to be used weekly. The pass cost $200, and Applebee's sold out of them in 30 seconds, 30 seconds, crashing the site and leaving customers upset. We have not received word from Pasta Pete on if he bought the pass, and we will have to change his name, but we're thinking it would be <laughs> Applebee. Imagine eating an Applebee's once a week for a year. Tony tried to buy one. Surprise. But even he didn't get one. He didn't get one. Okay. I heard, I, heard out of, I heard about this at 10.58 yesterday, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it went on sale at 11. And I was like, oh, my God. There were like three people in that room that pulled it up on their computers. And the second it went live, it was sold out. Yep. Uh, this Insane. second. And so I was like, they they could not have sold more than a few hundred. Yeah. I refuse to believe it. We, like, I right, understand yeah. people like buy shit immediately. I mean, all they did was. It's all, not a PS5. It's promotion. Yeah. It, you know? It exactly. was. It was seconds. Mm -hmm. I was so upset because I so wanted to come in today and have the Apple Beast oh, pass yeah. and go, guess what? 30 right. bucks off. Every week we're going. Dude, you, you can use you it get 52 take... times. It's like a, it's like slightly over $1,500 yeah. if you used it every single week. It only costs 200 the only but, pro but The only problem is you got to use that. The Apple problem is you have to live with the consequences yeah. of your actions. <laughs> yeah. Both. I mean, we just went there once and we're like, I know. Which, if you, were, if you watch Ride Along after this, it'll come out tomorrow. It's Michael trying to explain that to Gracie. Like the consequences of your actions. She's like, I feel so bad. And Michael was explaining, right, because you are normal and you are feeling bad. Right, right, right. But imagine that you feel bad all the time. Then that's what your that's normal, what normal is. is. And so it You still feel be. bad, but you forget what feeling not bad was exactly. like. Exactly. 
Yep. And that's where Nick lives. Taco Pass on steroids. And that's why every time when Nick goes, oh, I don't feel so good, I, I just, I don't care. Yeah. Because he lives in the bad and he makes it bad every day. He makes bad decisions every day. Yeah. Okay, and so this is funny. You also it. in the ride along, as I was explaining to yeah. Gracie about living in that pit of despair, and sometimes like if you feel bad now, just keep eating more bad things. It won't get better, but your brain will trick you into thinking yeah. it got better because you'll forget what it was like to not feel like this, mm -hmm. which is terrible. And don't ever let up either, because if you never start feeling let good up. again, then never well, let up. I thought your analogy was right. Of you're underwater the whole time, and if you come up for air, <laughs> you, that's not good right. for you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's bad because you're going back. Down. That's bad. Yeah, you're, you're going, going back, back down. Under. You're going back and then, under, and you'll remember what it was like to breathe. And then that's, and that's when, not good. And then somewhere in there, Nick started talking about how that brownie he didn't want, and I ordered it for him. And yeah. I said you are responsible for what you put in your own <laughs> mouth. You are right? a grown man. You are a grown-ass man. Nick ate everything. He ate the yep. pretzel. He, oh, all he, he ate, could eat it. He ate three <laughs> offering, all three offerings on the all-you-can-eat yep. menu. He definitely took it No as a dessert challenge. left behind. No right. one thinks there's going right. to be a right. dessert left behind. You, here's how it doesn't get left behind. I don't want that. I don't, I don't, yeah. And then it's not ordered. Yeah. No, then thank it's never you. made. Right. And so it's yeah. never left behind. Did you see the part where I said I don't want this pretzel and then I didn't eat any pretzels? It's like that. Yeah, but when you said no pretzel, we had to you made us order two. <laughs> I didn't make anyone do anything. You did. Yeah. You did. Kind of like a Rube Goldberg. And you made Grace of. eat three, actually. That's what yeah, well, Rube Goldberg. That's oh, we right. haven't even gotten that's a ham ringer. Right. Yeah. Um yeah. Oh, there's time. Let me let me uh, we got one more for the last fact. fact. I know oh, what in there, guys. Face jam date pass? Uh, we, oh, do you think that's a good idea? We're going to do something. Yeah, how can we do it? What though? kind of stipend should we give the I bugs? was thinking like we sell like a little card or something. Mm -hmm. And it's like, if you ever see Nick in public, mm -hmm. he, he has to let you wear the mask. Okay. Uh, and you also got to take a picture with him. <laughs> yeah. Or you get to. Like we could sell that <laughs> uh -huh. for, you know, $500. Right. And that doesn't get you an appointment with Nick. Oh, no. But if you happen to see him mm -hmm. and own this pass, and it's good for yep. one year. Also, <laughs> we only sell like two of them, so yeah. it sells out in two seconds. Yeah, and right. people go, and, I want it, and, and Tony bought one. Yeah, right. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> All right. Hi, I'm here. <laughs> oh, great. Let's, uh, this last fact. In okay. 2012, the year the world ended, <laughs> Applebee's instituted a bees late night campaign to offer half price apps and drinks after 9 p.m., but a Central Florida Applebee's took the idea to the next level, creating Club Bees, a Whoa. nightclub within Applebee's, complete with club lighting and full DJ sets. Since Applebee's corporate quickly shut it down, which Ooh. fast casual chain do you think is best suited for Tuesday night body shots and a Dollarita wet t-shirt contest? Maybe like a Pluckers? Or maybe we can do it at an Arby's. Someone died at the Arby's in a freezer. Is that something for this? You gotta think about it. What could it be? Um, I have... A list of candidates. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I have a... Um, Let me tell you, that bathroom few, smells like they turned it into a, a fucking A few club. photos from the Applebee's Club Bees Whoa, event. I like that photo. Oh. They're I in have, a polycule. There's this. Cool. There's that. Well, life. These are, cool. let's, these, let's and then, this and then place. it turns into a nightclub. <laughs> let's go to there. Let's, Central Florida Club Bees. Um, did they, did they just use the, that was cool, the dining area for this? Yeah, well, Florida, yeah, they moved yeah, the tables, not, they didn't add on Florida to it. used to be a lot more purple. That's right. I wouldn't fly now. Yep. Mm -mm. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. <laughs> uh, yeah, so they move. All, you Family know, like values. the like all like the high tops get moved and stuff, and then it becomes Club B's. Wow, I'm just glad that DeSantis can get back to being governor. Me, Bo Ron. I'm Don't glad he say that about him. <laughs> the boots are off, so he can yeah, walk normal he can style. Take those boots shoes are off. off. <laughs> the boots and the body armor are coming God. off. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. Oh. He never shook the meatball run thing. It's so good. It's fucking meatball Ron. It's fucking perfect. Meatball Ron. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> you could just call anyone a meatball. Like not the good. fucking nicknames don't meatball. make any sense, but they're 
like they're they are death polit- politically devastating because they're because they're, they're, they're so nuclear. dumb they're from the mind of a fucking moron oh yeah and the morons the sanctimonious yeah they're like oh, let me ball yeah ron de sanctimonious <laughs> was too big it's so many syllables it's so many so then yeah. he went meatball that's why it's not clever time. say that dude are you a fucking <laughs> idiot what me? Our previous Applebee's <laughs> episode was released August 4th, 2020, where we ate the barbecue rib sandwich uh-huh. and received an average score of 14. <laughs> That's crazy. We ate that at Applebee's. Fucking hell, dude. <laughs> it must have been like something happened with like the letters, I guess. <laughs> you know, A P P L E B. No, Gracie, I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> They're all right next to the subway they, keys. Well, what happened is I was typing subway and it like autocorrected, I think. Oh, <laughs> did you mean Applebee's? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, you went to Applebee's last time. You must mean Applebee's again. Oh, man. Oh, Ooh, Google Word or whatever. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> I feel like we've been to Applebee's much more recently than August 4th, no, 2020. Can, now, here's the thing. The last time we went to Subway, and we talked about this on the way, it was a spit and silly episode. That's we true. Had, we did do that. We had the uh, the pepperoni. The or like horrible the, the pizza. marinara salad. Yes, the oh, pizza salad. It's still, I can still taste it. But, that was terrible. But Just like that, I can hear Gracie scream. <laughs> but that was a lot more joyous. But the last uh, time we sure. ate for the show was 2020. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That's Early. Uh, three and a half years ago. Mm-hmm. Nuts, so. And 14? That sounds right. Yeah, it, it, it was definitely right. <laughs> Damn, dude. Although they were spotted in mid-2023, the sidekick menu items haven't been available widely until January because they spent a year, quote, perfecting the recipe. Yeah, yeah, so, that's what I would say too. Well, so when you take a bite out of that churro you got from the subway in the gas station, know that people who make more money than you put their heart and soul into making sure the person who works at the gas station subway microwaves it for the right amount of time. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> and also that they burn the fuck out of their hands over and over and over. It really, it really is something when it's just ah, it's just ah, three fuck, guys going, shit. fuck out. God shit. Damn it. Uh-huh. Over it. Did you see what it was they like more it. than one of them at the thing and they were doing it and they were just burning their you grab, you grab that side. Like, fuck. Oh, this side's hot too. Fuck. <laughs> they do it hundreds of times oh, a day. Man, it's so good. In 2017, a woman sued Subway because their tuna contained non tuna elements, but the soup was thrown out last year after being DNA tested and found there was at least some tuna in the tuna. <laughs> Congratulations, Subway, on having some tuna in your tuna. This is truly a victory for the little guy. God bless. This is going to be a theme. <laughs> I can see. Oh, I, I, another quick fact here Jared Fogel still in jail. Sorry, Sauce Monkey. God bless. Um, <laughs> and then the, the final fact. Wow, we're just flying to the facts, dude. Uh, the the I stop talking. The non tuna tuna is a thing that went back from 2017 till the middle of last year, they where finally they finally resolved back it? and forth and back and forth. They had different DNA experts. They sent it away to these people, and they went, "Well, there's." There's no tuna. This is all pork and beef. And then Subway was like, no, we'll send it to our people. Oh, well, And they went back and forth and back and forth. And then finally it was thrown out. The woman said that she didn't want to do it anymore because she got pregnant. And then she was like, I feel like I can't be a plaintiff in this thing. I have morning sickness. I have like, oh, oh I have like pregnancy Every, stuff. Everyone's I have to deal talking with. about food yeah, constantly. And, and Subway is going like, no, <laughs> we have to you be must. vindicated. <laughs> yep. And so I finally got thrown out. The story reminds me real quick of how I believe it's in Ireland mm-hmm. that Subway's bread is no longer considered bread it's because it does not good. meet the threshold of their definition of it. I, it has like too much sugar in it. It has too it. much sugar in yeah. it and it's not qual- it's qualified as like a dessert. Yes. Yeah. And, and so- that's just their bread. Mm-hmm. Their bread is a dessert in yeah. Ireland. And that is uh that's sub- so get a non-tuna tuna melt on Dessert, dessert bread. bread. Yep. On a and sweet then, roll. And then uh, <laughs> just lick some icing off a cupcake you don't want. <laughs> As of 2023, Subway is the largest single brand restaurant chain and has the second most stores in the world coming in just behind McDonald's. But ahead of Starbucks, although second place is tough, Subway remains the destination for people who are hungry while working a booth at a convention but can't spare losing more than one person at a time. So one guy has to go get six sandwiches and then the booth smells like Subway all day. Sorry if we signed your poster and your room smelled like Subway forever after that. We should have washed our hands, dude. God bless. <laughs> Pax? Where's, where's, yeah, where's the nearest Subway to the San Diego Convention Oh, ju- just a couple blocks up. Is it just yeah. over the uh, the rail? Yeah, yeah, uh, you get the on tracks? the other side of the, the railroad tracks, yeah. it's there. At Pax. 
Max. Uh, it's upstairs where the convention center is. Oh, that's almost too yeah. convenient. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, that really was the convention food, and it was man being like. 23. Who draws the short straw to have to go into the subway and order six sandwiches Gar- for people? Garrett, because you would order the fish one and no, none of us wanted to fucking smell it. It's not even fish. That's what we're saying! <laughs> it's not even bread. Is that- <laughs> 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 what's your uh, what's your regular subway order? Um, I don't think I have a regular one. I ordered, I just went with turkey. They have like the ones listed yeah. and I don't know why it's all football themed. Yeah. Uh, the, the turkey titan was on there uh-huh. um, but I just told him I want turkey on wheat bread please mm-hmm. and then I just put some stuff on it actually I put some stuff on it yeah <laughs> and then I put the and stuff I wanted on, stuff it. on top of it the guy unwrapped it Again, he was about to he, pick he, the stuff he, off dude, he was about to but he was staring at it going oh my god and Do Jordan, I have Jordan to? goes I'm gonna make your life easier you can leave that he stuff on he literally said that yeah <laughs> yeah verbatim so I'm just gonna put stuff uh, uh, I, d- I didn't want that stuff but uh-huh. I'll I'll take care of it. Yep. I'll, you know, <laughs> <laughs> when you're lucky. Uh, do you guys want to learn about Taco yeah, Bell? Yeah, let's learn, dude. I don't know a goddamn thing. Well, about. Let good. me tell you right now yep. from the floor in my fort, but legs out now. It's true. He's, it's different. Yeah. It's I'm using my chair now, like the top of my chair, like an ottoman. Yeah, this is good. We're going to get like fort looks like a lot of like fort look posts. And mm-hmm. you know what's funny? I can throw an added bonus. This, as I mentioned, this is the second fort I made today. Yeah. I'll give you the pictures of the first fort oh, I yeah, made. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do your first fort. It's much better. Yeah, your first fort It's much rocks. comfier, and it's a secret nap spot yep. where no one will know where I am. And so when I don't want to work and I hide, and people will go, did he go home? Well, his car's still here. They'll never find me. They'll never find so him. So we'll put those in wherever Good. Eric was saying on <laughs> the internet. Our previous Taco Bell episode was released June 6, 2023, where we ate the Taco Bell Enchirito. And Chili Verde Fries, oh, yeah. it received an average score of 52.5. That's not a terrible score. No, it's a pretty good score for something called the Inchirito. Mm-hmm. Have you ever had an Inchirito, Gracie? No. I don't really remember it. I don't know. Either. It was a little black tub, So right? it was in a black tub, yeah. and it had, like, the red sauce, and mm-hmm. we ate it, and we're like, this is a very soft food. That's mm-hmm. right. I remember that. Oh, it looks it was foul. It, well, it's a very old- The cheese looks like hair. Okay. Well, it's not hair. <laughs> uh, it's not hair. It's, it's just cheese. cheese. That is a very- monster. So, yeah, you can- <laughs> So the last time that we had Taco Bell, Gracie, it was- It was June 6, item, 2023. I just said that. That item was a- You weren't working here yet. They they brought it. <laughs> You're just getting. Your I can't go down license. this rabbit hole again. They brought it back because ah. it was like an item from like 1990 or something. It's like a very very old quote unquote beloved item. And I think that was Taco Bell's thing for a minute, where they're like, we're gonna bring back Mexican pizza. We're gonna yeah, bring back the Chorito. We're gonna try the quote these classics. old things, which is a big change from what they're doing now. But we ate it, and it was just like, this tastes like 1992. Oh, like yeah. it tastes the way that Diet Pepsi yeah. used to look. Like it just. <laughs> it tastes like how. Taco Bell used yeah, to look in yeah, the yeah. 90s. Gross, weird, yeah. like, why did they do it Kind of like flat. This? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Kind of yeah. flat. Mm-hmm. Like Michael. But that was last Like time. me, yeah. yeah it's, it's much different now. <laughs> now, let's get to this. Let's do it. This incredible uh, food device we're eating today. Yep. Food Inspired device. by the classic empanada, the cheesy chicken crispanada offers a portable delight designed for easy enjoyment anywhere, maybe even the floor, Anytime and perfect for fans seeking a convenient bite with a unique twist. Oh no. And then they have in parentheses face from no! Taco Bell.com. Right? Let's be fact. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fact for Taco Bell.com. Uh, like we got you face jam on the brain, man. You uh, know? Inspired by the classic empanada, this empanada right. is something we make. They basically <laughs> call it an empanada. It's what it is. They have not innovated at all on it. Uh, no, it is. It's. It's stolen valor. I would it say it's not bigger than any empanada I've ever really had, unless yeah. you get like mini empanadas. It is less full than most empanadas <laughs> I've ever had. Empanadas usually come packed. Mm-hmm. You um, just shove that shit in there. It felt. Yeah, we're we'll talk about the food in a little bit. It Don't you weird. dare talk about the close. food. Sorry, it that was close. close. Pull, rain it in. Luckily, you, it was it was handheld and portable. Yeah, yeah. you need to maybe Hooray. get on the floor to control yourself. Oh, sorry, I'm, in, I'm okay right now. In, are we all going to end up on the floor <laughs> no, before this episode ends? Yeah, you will. <laughs> Probably. Either, either by choice or not. <laughs> <laughs> by choice. In August of last year, New York resident Frank Siragusa noticed his pizza didn't look as filling as the photos he'd seen in advertisements. So he sued Taco Bell for false advertising. 
The lawsuit claims these practices are, quote, unfair and deceptive. Hang on. And are especially concerning amid rising food prices. Mm. We think they should be sued for calling it pizza to begin with, but y'all not ready for that <laughs> conversation. And what is this emoji? Oh, it's the little it's the painting nails now. emoji. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's the one you do where you're like, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> well, anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn. That, uh, the... <laughs> This is How'd part of. Is it still ongoing? It's still ongoing. Yeah. yeah so this, this is part year. of a thing that we talked about before, where people are starting to sue fast food places and going like, "What you're showing us and what you're giving us are too dissimilar." <laughs> and and speaking of that, I think this is a great time to bring up the Taco Bell direct. The Taco oh, yes. Bell. Yeah. Keynote. Oh my god. So let's they, talk they, about it a little crazy. bit, and we get to the rest of the facts. This yeah. is so. This is the new direction that Taco Bell is going in. They are doing they're an Apple-style Apple. keynote. Yep. This, <laughs> All of us. They're doing an Apple-style keynote. You look like the bad guy um, from yeah. Madam Web. Did you just I, jump? <laughs> we must defeat these women. Wow. Was that pretty Perfect. good? ADR army. We, uh, we have got to defeat them. <laughs> we have to find the spider for me. If you had a vision of when you You have to find the spider for me. But his lips only I'm a Yarl once from Skyrim. That's, yeah, that's kind of what it was. His mouth opens one one time and he goes, I can't believe they got away. Uh, so Taco Bell Direct, they said, here's everything we're doing this year for Taco, Taco Bell. Taco Bell Direct is going to be their new streaming service. Wow. Sign me up. Subscribe to Taco Bell Plus. Can't wait to subscribe to Taco Bell. Um, they really like laid a lot out. Were there any highlights for you guys or things that stood out to you for the yeah, Taco Bell? Yeah, but there's so much I can't even remember it all. Gracie? I didn't write it down. Uh, Gracie, that's you. You're Gracie. I know. Give me a minute. <laughs> No, I'm big. I know I'm crazy. I think just the audience interaction overall. Yeah, because okay, I've never been a Marvel. Uh huh. I guess it doesn't entice me at all. This one was this your Marvel? What are you saying? Yeah, right now? it solidified my this? disinterest. Oh, in that whole. In Marvel or, Gracie, or we're talking in about Taco, Taco Bell, Bell Direct. What the hell Wait, are you talking sorry, about? Wait, sorry, I thought we were still talking about Madam Web. Gracie, you blacked out again. No, the Madam Web. We got- <laughs> what the? Fuck? Wait, when did Gracie. we switch? Gracie, Gracie. <laughs> Gracie we've been talking- oh, no. We're talking about the the Taco Bell <laughs> keynote where the guy was on stage <laughs> talking about all the new Taco Bell foods, and you're talking about the movie. <laughs> Gracie, the Madam <laughs> Web. The Madam Web review is later. No, no, I, can, I, see, I see the confusion here. I see the confusion here. We started talking about the keynote, and Jordan said it reminded him of the guy. Right, right. Yeah. Or Eric, right. one of you, one of you Madam people. Web. Remind you of the guy. Again. And then we went back to Taco Bell. What do you think I said, oh, fuck, we're back on Madam Web. I thought, cool. I, I thought what I, great, I, after I this Gracie, Taco Bell keynote, I'm not interested in Taco Bell keynotes anymore. Right. I thought Gracie, so, me on the whole thing. I thought she was about to explain that now she knows how Marvel fans feel because she's such a Taco also, Bell fan. Also, Madam Web, like, not a Marvel movie. Yeah. Okay. Not a Marvel movie. In association. Wow. That's where she is. Oh, I see. Right. I'm really off my rocker oh today. Oh, my God. You really are. <laughs> you just described how you didn't listen to them talk about Skyrim <laughs> and your brain went elsewhere oh and then you God. just did it again. And it did it again. <laughs> okay, well, Jack's so, going off. Now that I know what we're so this, talking he's this waking like, up. This is like phase four Ugh. Taco Bell that made me sweat. MCU. Ugh. Um, <laughs> what made you sweat? This just whole realizing thing. that Getting I wasn't caught? present for like five minutes. <laughs> oh. Yeah, talk about keynotes kind of like it's Here's my marble. Thing. It made sense in the beginning. Woo. It made sense in the beginning because you were talking about the audience. Yes. And yeah. I thought she was talking about the audience yes. from the yeah. keynote. Yeah. Me too. And, no, then, right. and then she's like, oh, right. but. And then she kept saying Marvel, yeah. and you kept going, um. You what? were like, what do you what do you mean, Marvel? <laughs> Okay, no, now that I know what we're talking about. Uh-huh. Did you look at that thing? Hoop, somebody I put sent that in it. Slack. Like, I was no, the one who was really one. excited about she it. Michael, this information. is why I teed I her up to talk uh, about yeah. the thing I've... that she wanted to talk about. And then she went, I don't watch Marvel movies. <laughs> <laughs> you were okay. like, what was your favorite part? And she was thinking of parts from the movie. <laughs> no, I literally was racking my brain. And I was like, uh, <laughs> it was like probably this Fuck. right here. Because you also were talking about this book. I mean, we <laughs> were. Long You're right. We were. And then we weren't. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, the guy who clips out all of the fact sections and puts them He's together, compiles them on YouTube, leave all this in. Yeah. This is all in the fact section. Sorry. 
Harvey. These are all facts. <laughs> Uh, okay, so anyway, cheese it crunch wrap, huh? I can't fucking do yeah, that's what I was asking. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay. <laughs> that's all we needed you to say. Yeah. <laughs> I was honestly knees deep in this jam's getting <laughs> menu right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so my they're just too busy, Madam Webbing, and being yeah. in the future. Right, yeah. You can't be, you need in three be now. You need to be here crazy. now, otherwise Maybe Mike Epps is gonna die. They're they're also doing <laughs> you have they to announced that they're doing chicken nuggets. That's stupid. They announced yeah. that they're doing the Baja Blast gelato. That one got my interest. Peaked. Yeah. They're Unless doing it tastes like this one. Yeah. Well, yeah. Churro chillers. I don't know what that is, so I don't know how so to feel. It is like cold. Like a milkshake. I That's think it's like feel. a milkshakey type with thing. cinnamon sugar or something. Yeah. <laughs> so I think they're probably gonna do it with like their coffee one and then like a couple other flavors. Cheesy street <laughs> chalupa. You have what? just said three words. There's what so many, I'm gonna be honest, that? there's so many things where I'm like, this is insane. Yep. That like all crazy weird shit. Why is it yep. on the street? I feel like everything at Taco Bell is the exact same thing, it just is. in a different shape. It yeah, is. It, it definitely That's is. Correct. The the cheesy like, chicken crisp like panada is slightly different from other things. But then it's you true. get into weird stuff like it's the dulce de leche, dulce de leche cinnabon delights. Mm-hmm. Haven't they what? had those? This is part of a trend I'm no, noticing too, where Cinnabon is is truly Madam Webbing. Yes. Into every fast food restaurant. Mm-hmm. Subway. Taco Bell. I saw somewhere else that I think Wendy's. they're going to Wendy's. Yeah. It's a Wendy's Cinnabon yeah. thing. Yep. They got that Taco they got. Bell. They you got the coffee. The it's Cinnabon yeah, coffee at Taco me. Bell. Yep. I got it yesterday. It's weird. It's weird. A lot coming out from Taco Bell. I've eaten Taco Bell two days in a row now. Wow. Incredible when, do stuff. Do we have release dates for all of them? Or no? No. Give no us this the is all dates. through 2024. Give us the dates. Uh, tell us guy. now. Tell, tell us, us now, Madam Webb. Tell us now, Madam <laughs> Webb. Spider Man guy. The until summertime. Tell us. I fear. I fear. I fear. I shall not have. Why does the everybody gelato? think that's so? Every time I say my I fear, my friends are like, "You fear." I, that, that's like a Honestly, thing. Honestly, it, it's because that's it sounds thing. like a line from Skyrim. It does. It really does. <laughs> I fear the dragon will come. <laughs> I fear I will not have the gelato until summertime. <laughs> I fear the Jarl may be assassinated. <laughs> 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 Only the Dova King can I think a Jarl is kind of like the Starks. They're like, you're not king, but you're kind of in charge of this. Hey, you gotta you're be like careful, a, or I'm, I'm like a regent guy. We gotta move on to the next fact. I'm Grace getting confused. Right. We gotta go to the next fact. Right. <laughs> Just so you know, about five minutes ago, I was laughing my ass off because I saw the last fact, but okay, we'll get cool. to that. Oh, cool. <laughs> a new Taco Bell cantina was set to open in Indianapolis late last year, but a lawsuit from a neighboring <gasps> mall based Taco Bell tried to prevent it. Yep. Taco Bell corporate said that the two locations would not compete with each other, so they went ahead with the opening. <gasps> the locations are literally across the street <laughs> from one another, so come on down to the Taco Bell in the mall, which is definitely just as good as the new Taco Bell you can get drunk at. Case dismissed. Nick, <laughs> hit the table. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. The talk, There's a Taco Bell cantina, another one, and they serve alcohol. I don't know why this one didn't. Yeah, we always, we kept yeah. getting stiff. And then it went out of business. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Why would you Long go gone. in a mall when you could not go in a mall? That's exactly. So Doesn't the thing that they said, they're like, well, this won't compete. And they said, well, why will. wouldn't it compete? And they said, already in because the, the Taco Bell in the mall is what we call, <laughs> I think they called it entrapment. Excellent. Patrons, I hope so. which what? is like at an airport right. or something where it's like, right. you can't is, it. people right. still go to the airport. Yes. You're not going to leave <laughs> the mall to go to the one across the street. Uh-huh. You're right. in the mall already in the food court. Except and- in 2024, no one's in the mall. Yep. So That's no one's true. going there. <laughs> Unless yep. you live in the mall. Like <laughs> TikToks I've been seeing. Attackman. That's right. It's like Taco Bell. <laughs> oh. All right. Uh, let's, get on to let's, get, let's get on to the last fact. Yep. It's a roller coaster. All right. A New Jersey woman claimed she was beaten senseless <laughs> by three Taco Bell employees after she complained about a burrito. When the woman mm-hmm. tried to exchange the burrito, workers said they didn't have the ingredients for a new one that came around the corner and beat her up. We at Face Jam definitely side with this woman because this story sounds very solid and not like it's missing any parts at all. Award this woman as many burritos as she wants. Oh, you're out of ingredients? Lady, run. <laughs> That's insane. The way. 
by the way, by the way, Dude. by the way, beaten senseless is in quotations. <laughs> that, right, that, those is are that her in words. the lawsuit. Yes. Beaten yes. senseless. Uh, she, so. Your Honor, I have no more sense. <laughs> They're beating it out of me. <laughs> Which is why I can't remember all of the, the pertinent details She's, of what happened. She said she got this burrito. <laughs> um, excuse me, uh, fine <laughs> workers, I fear my burrito. <laughs> Not this time, lady! Get her! Oh, why? <laughs> She said that she went, got this burrito. She said that there was oh stuff my God. wrong with it and then was oh like, okay, I'm going to go ask for another one. She went and asked for an exchange. They said, we don't have the ingredients for that. And then she said that she started walking away and they came around the <laughs> counter and beat her up. Uh -huh. And I'm like, there's no uh -huh. fucking chance that everything no. you just said is the way it happened. Something happened in between. Yeah, there. So no. There was some or missing footage and happened. then she got beat up. Right. Security Dude, cameras blip for a don't, minute. Don't downplay this. She wasn't beaten up. She, <laughs> she was beaten up. <laughs> she was beaten up. <laughs> the, woman, the woman now has to go through the rest of her life without sense. Okay. Can you understand what a handicap that is? I Just the idea. No more sense. She's lacking of sense forever. <laughs> The I, it's it's the way All people tell stories where they're the hero or the victim, and this woman was just yeah. like, and then they kicked my ass, and they just kept, <laughs> yeah, they just kept doing this for no reason, <laughs> they, no reason whatsoever, dude. and it kept happening to me, and I, and I, I don't know, know why, and, and I, I can't and I won't smell. tell you. I bought a one wheel, and I was beaten senseless. Uh, like I, uh, going I, uh, eighteen miles an hour downhill when I fell off. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking crazy! Yeah, and there was no one else. At the Taco Bell. To watch no one around. Yeah. And the cameras mm. were disabled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and those are the facts. Yeah. Jesus those Christ. are the floor facts. Michael, next time you go to New Jersey, you should try. Find this woman and beat yeah. her some more. <laughs> yes. 